uh, we are a group of college students studying tabletop RPG design. This is our campaign called The Western Isles. Um, we're sort of conducting an experiment on the way that RPGs across multimedia exist and on structural changes to the way that RPGs are played. The Western Isles, as the title implies, is an experimental style D&D 5e game modeled after the West Marches, which was designed by Ben Robbins back in about 2000. In addition to its unique structure from a gameplay perspective, the Western Isles also uses a number of homebrew rules focused around like wilderness survival and exploration and that kind of thing. Um, the purpose of our stream, in some part, is to garner feedback. Our goal is to iterate on the systems that we use and so that we can eventually publish them in a released format for public consumption in your home games. Um, if you're watching this, you're effectively a, a beta tester for our stream. Um, we would love people to keep watching the stream and to spectate us on Discord, which you can check in links and also to uh, experience the expanded rules that we're using as soon as possible. Um, so a little bit about our game. Uh, our game is played with a roster of 13 players with one DM, that's me. My name is Sam Sorensen, I am Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> so, damn. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Each session is individually scheduled and is played with a select number of adventurers to form a party. They leave the safety of the last chance in and tap room and they venture out into the wilderness of the Western Isles. Where they go, and what they do, and how it goes, is wholly up to the party. Our game is tracked in real time, um, so each day that passes in-game effectively signifies one day that's passing out of game. When a group like this one here is out on a mission for five days, they won't return for five days in real time. Um, missions are broadcast here, as you can see, and we do stream at irregular times, but we always post a couple days in advance on our Twitter page, which is also linked in the boxes below. Um, while the group is out, the remaining patrons of The Last Chance, the other adventurers, the other party members, they don't know what's happening. They don't watch these streams, and so they just see something. Who knows? Or nothing, more likely. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, though, they, they sit in The Last Chance, and they talk, and they joke, and they make stories, that kind of thing. Um, in our public Discord channel, which is linked below, as I mentioned, you can follow the goings on in The Last Chance at the same time that this stream is happening. Um, Obviously, if you're as excited about this as we are, you can follow us on Twitter, you can check out our, our Reddit page, you can check our wiki out on wikia.com slash the hyphen western hyphen isles. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. Type out hyphen. The link's in the, in below. Yeah. yeah. Uh, looking at our stream, Dom, it looks like we're still hosting Geek and Sundry. Oh no, this is an ad. This is an ad? I'm confused. <laughs> it's all good. Don't pay attention to that. Okay. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Um, we're getting from our from our uh, our crew that we're getting some echo. We have a crew. We do have a crew. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna talk. I guess I'm gonna. Uh, okay, you do that. Okay, give me a second. Um, if I talk a little quieter, does that help solve the problem of echoing? We can we can test. We can try. These sorts of technical kinks and issues are probably going to be fairly common within our first couple of streams. This is only our second stream. In fact, the first one we we didn't even record because we're terrible at Twitch. Um, we only recorded it, but we didn't get the VOD of it. Normally, the VODs will be up for a little while afterwards, usually about two weeks. Um, there'll be some changes potentially that in the future, but we'll get to those when the time comes. Um, I'm just going to keep talking so Patrick, our crew member, can can keep testing for uh, for audio and for echoing that kind of thing. In the meantime, still echoing. I'm good. Sam's echoing. I mean, say that makes it tough, yeah. We'll tilt that more that way. Yeah. I'm going to keep talking, keep testing, keep trying. Um, this is the Western Isles. It's a it's a cool and breezy day. The sky is, is blue. Big, puffy white clouds scattered this way and that. Dom, I saw those eyebrow twitches. Oh, you haven't seen shit. Doesn't make the sound watches the VOD. What? <laughs> you think I'm going to watch your VODs? I actually am going to have to for the for part of, part of the experiment we're doing is I'm doing research. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to watch a lot of these VODs. And then uh, they encode them, which is going to be a fun time, let me tell you, viewers and audience members. I have no idea how many people are going to watch right now. Hopefully our, our, our uh, I don't know. One. Yeah. <laughs> our crew member is one. Nine. Nine people. Do we have any reports hey, on the echoes coming? Is any better? We love Still like We appreciate you. We watch you. It's hard. We keep watching. Okay. Okay. Um, why don't we, despite the echo, uh, go around and introduce ourselves and say what character we're playing with a brief description of that kind of thing. Okay. You, so you should start. Hello. Um, my name's Dom. I play Kenneth of Rootmeyer, also known as Kay, um, the Illusion Wizard. Yeah, is that it? Sure, sure. yeah. Great. <laughs> my name is also Sam. Uh, I play Willivor Vond, the Half-Elf Bard. Uh, my name 
is uh, Caleb, I play Antaeus Aurelius. He is a paladin. What kind of paladin? <laughs> a paladin of undisclosed <laughs> race. Uh, an Earth, uh, Earth Genasi paladin of Gaia. Who are you? I'm Allie. I play uh, Crimson, a tiefling druid. Crimson, no last name. No last name. Just, just Crimson. Just Crimson. Edgy AF. <laughs> if you're playing a tiefling, you gotta be edgy. Come on. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> These are DD rules. Accurate. Uh, I am Brayden. I am playing Wavon Sandstrider, a uh, sea elf, sun soul monk. And Sam, I'm going to need you to repeat the whole spiel from the beginning because I was not paying attention. You don't, you know all the things we just explained. <laughs> Are you sure? Nine, we have nine viewers. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm basically God. Let me just jump off the cliff. Hold on a second. I'm told I dropped it in over the last 24 hours to about 300 people. What? I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be that. Access to 300 people. What? How do you access to 300 people? I'm in charge of two discords that have combined 300 people. Wow, okay. It's, it's not like unlistenable, but. Huh. Is your gain up at all on the mic? On my gain? Yeah. Is it all the way down? It's like on the back of the mic. There's a knob. It's all on one side. Uh, guys, guys, we, we have, have 13 viewers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it. Alright, I turned down the gain on that mic, which is the one that's probably picking that up. So let's see how it is now. <laughs> not unlistenable, interesting opinion. <laughs> It's which our roast. Who's Citrus Red? That was David. David. I thought that was David. David is Hey, there's K as well. Oh, K is watching too. Interesting. It's Thank still bad, according to David. Else in our game for watching our stream. <laughs> <laughs> David's answering me in the chat. Oh my god. <laughs> David, are you just upstairs? It's what, is it? what does it look like on there? Oh, that's so so it's still just hosting games in the group, right? Oh, okay, here we go. Never mind. I can see the chat. Here we go. Um, um, welcome to Twitch tutorials. <laughs> welcome to Twitch tutorials for the Western Isles. Okay, get out. <laughs> Did you guys try and fix the yeah. anything else? Right. It, we'll just go, go around once and say something. Hello, that I'm Sam Sorensen. I'm the Dungeon Master. I kill players. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Hi, I don't know how my character isn't fucking dead yet. Me neither. Right? <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, I wish his character had fucking died. <laughs> I feel like there are many situations where his character probably should have died, but... Yeah, I meant that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I say what Caleb says in better ways. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, cinnamon buns! Cinnamon buns! <laughs> I think you guys are good now. Great. Great. So, uh, the K, okay K concurs, one. sounds better. How yeah, we, uh, we just got the okay from our crew. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because we don't have a crew. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what did you tweet that we started? Uh, no bones at the table, actually. 16 yeah. viewers! Dumb. What are Stop, it. Stop <laughs> looking at the phone! Dumb, just tweet it out, would you? It's, 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 we're breaking it's the uncouth. illusion. We're breaking the illusion. Guys. I see viewers means it's more than just us. I know, right? I know one person who's watching. Your friend Connor is watching. Oh, he is watching. I need to look at like the actual. I'm thing. glad, yeah, because I know he something. he had said that Dom and he'd overheard Dom mention it, and he was yeah. just like, "Hey, are you guys streaming?" I was like, "Oh yeah, I was about to go and post a link to everyone in the chat." So okay, I'm cool. Glad he's actually able um, to anyway, yeah. So the party today is uh, setting out to um, a mysterious. Well, not a mysterious chasm. It's a very large chasm between two islands. Um, there is a great bridge that spans the top of it, and they're headed to a number or. At least a couple of these smaller aisles within the chasm proper. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so right now it's will wait. nine o'clock in the morning. The sun has just risen. Do you guys have any last minute purchases or anything you need to do in the last chance before we head out? I think we have everything. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Do do any of us want to snag that ring of water walking? Oh, did no one take that? I have it. Oh, you have it. Oh, you do. Oh, the cool. one we got from the hack. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's on my yep. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, that might be useful. <laughs> I am Earth, and water cannot defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> You're Earth, and therefore, obviously, as it affects all Sam, of Genasi, you can't question. actually fall into water. Lion statue can't be used for a week. Is yes. that like to the hour, or is that like a day to the day? Because uh, I used it last Wednesday. You use a, you, then you can't use it today. Okay. You gotta wait until like, it's seven days. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. So what do you do? We're heading up due west, correct? Due west. We're gonna. Check on the on the no fort because Morn maybe is there, hopefully. Do we know what's going on with him? Yeah, we can pull it It's kind of a long story, but 
If he's there, I'll let him explain. Okay. All right. Well, so what do you do? Are we just going to do west? Is yep. the Knoll Fort right, right near the lake? Or is yeah, it's, okay. it's right off the lake. Mm-hmm. Right on the, the other side. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to find the lake. Then. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll head uh, west by northwest. West by northwest? Okay. Who's navigating? I will navigate. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can have it. You have proficiency, right? I do. Yeah. So you so can, I assist. can assist. Okay. In what are we doing? In case it's relevant, by the way, I read Xanathar's apparently cartographer's tools include a compass. Or actually, two compasses. That is absurd. <laughs> right? I don't know. It just says two. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a joke. I'm not kidding. It's a joke. It's not broken. Uh, I would like to search for food. <laughs> okay. Make your uh, foraging rolls. And Crimson, you can make I your s- will, navigation rules. I assume we chug water at the last yeah. chance and then refill. All right. Um, you're also doing food? Yep. Uh, oh, wait, we have snow. Oh, wait, that just gives a advantage. Advantage on forging for water. I'll do water. Okay. Classic. Survival or just wisdom, right? Sure. Uh, 13. That's a success. What'd Four. you get on food? That'd be a solid 10. It's a failure? I failed as well. What? I failed. You're not mapping? What? You're not mapping? No. Oh, okay. Oh, do you want to show up the map? Oh, it's not going to be visible. Got that fat Dom is really good at drawing. He draws really pretty maps. I'm a good drawer. <laughs> <laughs> pretty shitty artist, though. Um, it's D6 plus with mod gallons, this is right? Sort of what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Show it to the other. Let's wisdom sixty. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like. Hopefully, we'll get it scanned in, in a place where you cannot see it. I can just hear Will in the distance, just being like, "Your map sucks." <laughs> That sucks, you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is, of course, referencing Will, who plays Cassandra, who was on the last stream that I don't think anyone saw. But <laughs> it's Cassandra. Or, excuse me, Cassandra. Oh, it is Cassandra. It's Cass. Okay. <laughs> I, I could see Cassie becoming a real thing. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to wait for the knife in my throat. <laughs> so you wait, you walk uh, west by northwest for the full watch? Yeah, so yeah. So we can yeah. see the, like... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So you walk for uh, about an hour, then two hours, through uh, narrow gray pine trees, many of which are, are missing their needles. The, the, the earth is covered in snow, easily three, four, even five feet in places. There's a mixture of earth and pine needles within. Uh, there's the scent of, of musty, ancient pine that hangs in the air, along with the sort of muffled coldness of snow filling your nostrils. Yes? So, just like to confirm, in the past we have uh, water walking lets you walk above snow. Yeah. Correct? That's an. That's okay. Rules as mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm wearing the ring of water walking <laughs> okay. and just. Oh. I mean, the snow here is fairly packed down, but as you all sink, you know, an inch or two to the snow, you see Antaeus clad in armor and towering over you, basically just like skipping across the top of the snow. I'm just imagining Legolas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my my stag, is, or my elk rather, is still low. <laughs> yeah, the elk is, uh, elk is give struggling. the elk the ring. Just put it all over the antler nose. Acteon is, is having a rough time. Uh, Acteon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so stag I thought was an elk. It is an elk. I keep mistakenly saying stag. Elk are better in winter. <laughs> is a male elk not called a stag? It's a buck. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buck. Elk is a totally different animal. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, so after about two and a half hours, uh, you find yourself leaving the narrow gray trees behind and begin to thin out, and you find yourself now in a wide open snowy plain. You can see in the distance, maybe two or three miles away, there is a sort of a large uh, chunk missing from the snow. There's some snow on it, but it's really more of this large swath of sort of reflective green substance, almost like a lake that's been frozen. Can we see the, the <sighs> dark form on the other side of it? Make a perception roll. Okay. Natural. <laughs> okay, indeed, it's it's in the far side, there is a sort of now not that dark given the snow, but a somewhat uh, collapsed structure on the far side of it. Even from here, you can tell it was once fairly large, and now it's since mostly worn away. Um, it's really the details are fuzzy at this point, but you can definitely see it. He'll point it out to the group and say, "I suggest we hang around the right side of the lake and uh, head right over there." Uh, okay. I've not been to these uh, lands yet. What dwells here? Like, what should we look out for? Hopefully nothing. It used to belong to gnolls. They were set up in there uh, a while back, but they are long since gone. Gone where? I don't know. It depends on what you believe. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, take a wild guess, my friend. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fair. We haven't been sitting on our hands the entire time we're out here. Don't you only have one hand? 
It's an expression. <laughs> I didn't want to make the joke, Sam. Sure. <laughs> Take the low-hanging fruit. The low-hanging fruit. So let's go. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you, uh, it takes about an hour to cross the plains to reach the edge of what you can now tell is indeed a large frozen lake, green and murky despite it being frozen solid. Um, on the far side, you can see kind of the remains of a snowed-in, now mildewing and half-frozen wooden palisade surrounding a sort of crumbling stone structure on the far side of this lake. Um, as you uh, as you circle around the lake, um, you notice that here and there, sunk into the snow, are uh, stakes, atop which sit the uh, scrubbed mostly. In some places you can see there's still flecks of uh, remnant. Um, various heads of creatures with um, sort of humanoid-sized skulls, but the large jaws and sort of uh, ears of more like a like a jackal or hyena. Were these here last time? <laughs> I can't recall. How long have they been here? Make a, mes- make a medicine roll. Okay, sis. Sure. Oof. Um, that is an 11. With the snow and the ice damage, you would guess maybe a few weeks, potentially, but it's a little unclear. Yeah. Still not right. <laughs> How long have the nose been gone exactly? Longer than that. Wonderful. Can I see any other sign of recent like passage through this area? <coughs> or steps in the snow or Um as you scan this way and that, make me a perception roll. Uh seven. Seven. You get you get a chunk of, of snow, catches you in the face, blown up, and you, you bat your eyes this way and that for a while. Um, your eyes are watery and running by the time you click get your senses and the group has moved on. That's <laughs> nice. nice. Um how close are we to the structure at this point? Um, you're circling around the lakes maybe a mile away. Perfect. When we get closer, I'd like to check for the life signs Okay. In the actual structure. So. Okay. Um, as you'll approach, you can see now outside of where the palisade once stood, there are these sort of like mounds within the snow. They obviously are sort of, the, the snow is sort of bunched up against the side of the palisade, but they're also scattered here and there, these sort of like rises, almost like like uh, low moguls or hills. Question, mm-hmm. should we be approaching stealthily? Just in case. We don't even know what's in there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Probably a good idea. Alright. Okay. If you're watching something, I need everyone to make me stealth checks. Uh, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Yeah, that's a small. Okay. Okay. Twenty. Sorry. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Um, yeah, as you all duck down into the snow, brushing it over your head, crawling through icy chunks of snow, very quietly, very sneakily, very stealthily. As you get closer and closer, you can see that there are occasionally sticking out of the snow. There are bits of bone or other sort of matter, but it looks ancient. This has clearly been long abandoned. Um, I'd like to activate a divine sense. Okay. As you uh, ping your divine sense... There are faint traces of undead and fiends, just like, like you know when you have a banana sitting in your car for too long, and then you take it out, and there's that like faint after scent? It's so like that. How long do you keep bananas in it's your car? It's my sister's car. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep your bananas in other people's cars? <laughs> it's her banana. <laughs> yeah, you just see Antaeus breathe in deeply, the it smells foul, but nothing immediate danger. Getting fiendish overtones and is that banana? <laughs> <laughs> um, a fine a reach. Should we go in? No. Warren said he'd meet us here. I know, might as well already. Like, I don't think much is that is in there we couldn't handle. To be okay. It's probably best to not just be sitting around near something that might be dangerous, right? Right. We're right. waiting for the door. Are we just sitting around here? Or are we gonna move away? If he's not in there already, I'll send for him. And I honestly, I'd rather if there's something posted up in there in the time that we've been that we haven't been back, I'd rather we be the ones to tackle it as opposed to Morin. <laughs> yes, absolutely true. Let's go in there and have a look. We will enter. Okay. <laughs> as you all walk through, what you can tell was still stealthily, right? <laughs> as you all follow Antaeus <laughs> through the uh, through what was once the, the gates of this palisade. At this point, really, you can see there's kind of like bits of bent and broken wood sticking up out of the snow. But really, this whole area has been thoroughly devastated. Um, 
As you enter into sort of the uh, bailey of this fort proper... Um, Wait, can I check for traps? <laughs> sure, make an investigation roll. Despite those several feet of snow on the ground. Like the, yeah. well, Casey's this slight I'll, rise I'll in the snow try. of a single string. Uh, it's a 16 on the die, so that's a 27. Jesus. No, sorry, 28. Jesus. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> Old <laughs> prodigy <laughs> feet. Um... <laughs> Yes, yeah, snow, what snow? <laughs> as you uh, rifle your way through the snow, <laughs> there are no traps to be found. You do ever notice, well actually you wouldn't notice because you're busy staring at the snow. The rest of you can see that uh, sitting on the rooftop of this crumbling stone structure is a familiar reddish-orange haired armored dwarf. Oh, just get... <laughs> so it's top it. Get Who are you? <laughs> get out. Hey, who said the crew could play? Uh, uh, who said the crew could play? <laughs> we let our crew play sometimes. <laughs> It's a, uh... It, you know, it helps because they don't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> we pay you in Dungeons and Dragons. Experience. As Holy God man. intended. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you, uh, describe to us who you are, mysterious so, crew member. I am playing Morin, the Dwarven Forge Clerk. What's your name, Patrick? Oh, yeah, my name is Patrick Sam. <laughs> Patrick oh, yeah. Sam? I assume most people watching the stream are either... Us or people that know us. We can't assume. There might be random people who just That's happen true. to tune into our Dungeons Dragons. Matt Mercer is many? watching us right now. <laughs> Matt Mercer. How many viewers do we have? No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we have a running joke no, about we don't. Just <laughs> drop it. Vehement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about this after the camera stop rolling. You know this joke. Do I? Yeah. Yes. I, I have big dumbass energy. Come on. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll just tweet it to him. It's fine. Cool. Okay. He looks up. Hey! Uh, good to see you. Hey. Still in one piece? You mind coming down? <laughs> well, I'm not sure I can get down. I was going to say, how'd you get up there? Here, come, come on, on, come on. <laughs> come on, let me come down. All right. You're going to jump off? <laughs> let me. Oh, can I just like, like, can like, like this? How, how high up is it? It's like two stories less, a little less, like 15 feet. It's How'd fine. you get up there? Are there stairs? Just go down the... <laughs> yeah, I'll scramble down however I got up here. Make me your bags roll. <laughs> <Can I see, laughs> I'm looking for fairies to catch him. I fought. <laughs> that is, uh, that is uh, acrobatics, you said? Yeah. Well, that sucks a lot more than athletics. <laughs> um, that's a seven. It's a seven, okay. Morin, Morin attempts to scramble down, but the uh, the, the frozen frozen sides of this stone wall and Morin's heavy armor weigh him down. Can I attempt to cushion this fall? Uh, With your face. How, how are you doing this as the metal clad dwarf falls off a roof? Uh, I activate the flank missiles. <laughs> not really a missile, an enemy's not really firing at you. <laughs> how much does Wavon weigh? Uh, well, I do have 21 strength currently. Sure, but how much does Wavon weigh? Like 120 pounds. My stuff weighs more than you. <laughs> I'm yoked. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I'll have the arms to catch me. Voice. Also weighs more than you. <laughs> See, that's amazing. That's, that's a dense, dense boy. boy. He is. You're missing two limbs. That's fair. Plus, I did lose yeah, like true. fucking. What is that? Thirty pounds. Well, two limbs probably yeah, weighs like thirty yeah, pounds ish. Yeah. All right, you can fall. Some more, and you suffer a huge <laughs> six Long points of damage. King. Six. Six points of damage as you plummet into the snow face first. <laughs> he had a real big fight with some gnolls before we got here. Am I missing any spells? He put all their heads on stakes. Sorry. Am I missing any spell slots or anything? Probably down like a first and second level slot. Sure. Sure. Um, I'm getting reports from our our uh, crew. <laughs> um, Braden. Well, there's a slight echo. Braden, you're a little overly uh, loud. Yeah. And people at the ends of the table, I think that's you, Sam, and you, Caleb, should speak up a little bit, just so the mics can pick you up a little better. Should I just, like, swap yeah. places with Caleb? Interesting. What? Should I swap places with Caleb? No, oh, we're fine as we are, I think. <laughs> just, <laughs> just do I need to be. Practice some restraint. Yeah. <laughs> also, you should know that every once I start talking, I will be loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fair. I'm just quiet. <laughs> also, who, who wants to step? Who calling me loud? Kay, that you? I'll fuck you up. <laughs> You're just loud, Red. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. I say it's from our crew, it's just from me. <laughs> Quick, everyone, let's go back to the tap room. Tori did text me that about, oh my god, Brayden's laugh, so. <laughs> is Morin looking okay? Yeah, boy. Is Tori watching the stream? Yeah, she is. Patrick's girlfriend is apparently watching the stream. Hi, Tori! <laughs> what, a, what a devoted and loving girlfriend, wow. <laughs> Caleb's gonna do this, I'm just not. Ooh. Is Morin looking okay? Ooh. Right now? Yeah. What? 
Or more. Does Warren look okay right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's full of snow, but otherwise. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, and he's well, you know, since yeah. he makes me food magically. Yeah. <laughs> Planned, but sure. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, been better. Fucking cold out here. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yes. Any luck dealing with what you had to deal with? Well, somewhat, I suppose, but Goku told me that there was a solution, so I suppose I'm gonna find it. Fair so enough. The solution to what? The problem. What is the problem? This is business. Come on. I had an encounter with something old and spooky. I wouldn't have pressed you about your business back in the tap room, but at this point it affects us. I now listen, Cassandra I'm might be so spooky, but I don't know if, know if I call it old. Levon <laughs> 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 holds up a hand for high five. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, anyone? anyone? You that. Boom! <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> being loud. Sorry. I felt, I felt that in the table. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. Okay, I felt it in the air. So <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're shaming you, so you <laughs> put a sign on me. Do it. I blew out the mics with just being too loud. Well, anyway, there is um in the lake we went to, the hardest at the bottom of it, there was a skull, as you might or might not have heard, and uh, there was something in it. And it decided and it wanted a piece of me. And, you know, I'm already serving. <laughs> Sorry. Already serving the good news, so, you know, keen on sharing that. So we're going to bring in that thing you lost? Mm. Or something to cast a spell to return it? The latter. More like. Oh, oh hang on. on. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting reports from viewers that our echo is still happening. Interesting. On who? Mm. Um, I think just the entire table. Also, don't slap the table. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just looks at Brayden. Yeah. I'm sorry. Also, the dice rolling is fine. Yeah. I mean, we have paper towels if you want to roll on those, or just roll on your sheets or something. If you want Would you like to my share my dry thing? thing? I was going to say, you can roll on my book if you want. I don't know if that would be any better, but... If you roll on a dry thing, Caleb and Gordon did for me. This guy? Yeah. Up. That's like, like so it's for, right? <laughs> it's like, it's uh, on technology. camera for you. Yeah. That. That's the challenge. Sweet and tangy. You just need to put it like on the side. Not you, it's my deal. Oh no, I know that. Uh, yeah. Just more yeah. of the content that uh, you're actually saying. That's the confusing yeah. part. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if that is affecting me. I don't, I think, I think it's, I think it's the U6 that are causing the problems, not me. <laughs> and that's just the story <laughs> of our lives, isn't it? That's just how they would strive this. Sorry, viewers, we are, as I mentioned, still experiencing a little bit of uh, second-time issues with our stream. We're not audio specialists, nor are we streamers, nor are we video producers, really. Nor I think we confident in general? I think we've taken, like, I think between the entirety of the taproom, we've taken, like, three film classes. <laughs> and those were, like, film theory. I'm not even a school major. Well, you don't have to be a game designer to play D&D. You just have to be a game designer if you want to be good at D&D. Ooh. I was a theater tech in high school. <laughs> That's true. Jake wasn't me. Well. <laughs> Patrick, unwrap that elsewhere. Yeah, you feel? <laughs> 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 I have some waters. I desperately want to see what kids are doing. I love me some uh, Jake. 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 I love me some uh, shortbread cookies let's, with let's chocolate. Let's back up in the street. <laughs> I like some elongated oblong cookies. He's gonna play the string. Stop playing me. This is the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just play. Please, please. Somebody says they're here for you, Brayden, but you're not. But they're not your girlfriend yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is. is it I Kay? have some guesses. <laughs> What's the username? Uh, Funky Man Two Three. Hi, Dan. <laughs> All right. Can we, can we, from the collective viewers, just get a little, a little reporting the audio? Or it says. It says the table is still bad in terms of echo. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure? Sam, very, disbelieve very as you sure. viewers. Maybe we should like actually talk. So we can yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Like we're, we're like, hey guys, can you help us with the echo? And then we sit here all silent. Yeah, <laughs> so, oh, uh, uh, fucking Connor says that it's Sam. I just moved the mic. All right, some people are saying it sounds fine now. So, sorry. Sorry. awesome. Uh, yeah, Ooh. Awesome. Dewey Iggy Zuki says audio equals good. Hi, DJ. <laughs> All right, cool. I like Call you that know that. every <laughs> single person. I use the same usernames for everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, if you want emotes, follow the stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, though, like, we need, we that, have some we need 50. Emotes. 
We actually do. Tom, <laughs> should be the talented of... Matt is also a talented emo 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 sure. Emo. <laughs> Dom, let's be honest. Dom creates roughly eighty percent of the content on this channel. <laughs> Well, you, see the so. you, you say that as if is Sam he? is not creating this entire campaign for us. Like, Wait, Sam's the other point for pictures on music. Exactly. Or like, the moats are actually more important than the actual. All right, DVD. continuing with the story, you all stand inside a, a former ruined fortress in the snow next to a giant frozen green lake somewhere on a snowy plain. In the distance, you can see mountains rising. <coughs> To your right are hills and forests in the distance, cliff sides. To your left, you can see a river snaking through the plains, followed by forests. What do you do? We're into a chasm, right? Night. Yes. Uh, do we? Should we, we just, just head do south? Because we need to get down somehow. Um, I suppose we could yeah, just follow. Just let us follow. Could we? Alternatively, oh, we could just follow ourselves. if we wanted. We could teleport to the circle. We've done it before. That's fine. Chasm. You brought the pendant? I did. Can we use the pendant to teleport to any circle we set up? Oh shit. Three equal left. Three equal left. What? Do you have an arcane law? No. You didn't learn that? No, we didn't. Didn't you copy it? You no, spent I about a couple of days copying down spells. I had some, some more important spells to, to copy. This is one we specifically talked about. We copied them all. This is how I feel when y'all talk. Start talking to Sylvan. I'll get all mad. You're just disappointed. We can, if it makes you feel better, I can seal it shut. Like, permanently. <laughs> Well, really. And then we can <laughs> unseal it when we get back. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Like oh, no. saying, no uh, setting up a structure That's around the teleportation idea. circle so it just Probably can't be destroyed by anyone who by it. So it's As a brief bit of exposition, the party fairly recently acquired um, a few items that can set down teleportation circles and a few items that can then cast teleport circle. Uh, Kenny has a high enough level to just cast teleport circle anyway now, but for the rest of the people it's... Have that. <laughs> but for the everyone else, there are a couple of lockets they have, which can cast Teleport Circle once every three days. And they have five objects to set down Teleportation Circles, one of which they've used thus far. Just for clarity on what's happened. Continue, players of mine. Perhaps we should go south anyway, if we wanted to go to the southern Isle. I mean, the chasm of the whole way, we just find it above and up down. We'll have to conduct reconnaissance from one side of the chasm, I feel like. Right. That'll be the most. Yeah. Keep uh, on west then? Well, well I, I think, think we should tell circle. circle. I think we just don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. If you guys don't think we'll need the spell for the next few days. Probably not. Alright. I trust you. Case. How long an hour? Yeah. So. Not exactly useful in a pinch. Well, yeah, but we're using it to get back. Die. Yeah, he's saying there's no worth the point in saving it if it takes an hour to cast it, because if we need it in a, like, a bad situation, we probably won't have an hour in a bad situation. Yeah. Okay. I'll toss it. Ready? I don't know. Do I have to wear it? Or? Yeah. We have to, we have to eat it. Just, just, just make a okay. conversation <laughs> that will be kept at some level. Okay. Um, so as as you hold the locket in, everyone don't just hold it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially you utter a command take, word. I take eight. off the helmet. Did you just make sure you're under four feet or so? Feet tall. Just <laughs> maybe sit on the ground. Yeah, yeah. we all <laughs> sit crisscross. <laughs> okay, as, as you circle. hold hands, sing. that's not how this spell works. You're thinking you're you're thinking plain shit. That's not what he says. You don't get to decide the command word of this item. As you cast command word, a glowing circle rooms begin to appear on the ground and they pulse with light. After a few seconds, a doorway seemingly opens in the floor itself, expanding outwards. You can see through it is a darkened stone chamber. All right, go, go, go. Doesn't last for long. As you all pile through the uh, circle, <clears throat> you find yourself now standing in a uh, fairly small stone chamber. It's about five feet high, about ten feet by ten feet. Um, you can see there's sort of a, like a, almost like a set of saloon doors, but there's a, a stone doorway leading out into some sort of exterior area where the sun is shining. It's rather cramped in here, it's rather dark. Oh my You're all suddenly standing there as the circle beneath you fades and you can just see in the stones beneath you are carved runes again in a circle with two circles, concentric circles between them. It doesn't look like anything's been here since we were last here, does it? Uh, make an investigation roll. You're gonna help with that. Well, you fine, guys. You know not what you do. <laughs> Alright, we're hitting 30. Go, go. Skirt. Uh, that's 15 plus. 27. 27. As you as you thoroughly investigated with Will of Orr's help and Warren's <laughs> guidance. Ten area flat <laughs> uh, no one has been here. Great. Um, 
So we'll head out um, and then uh, we'll go towards the river. I assume we can just follow the sound of the waterfall from here. Um, we'll have to cross it, uh, but the, the chasm's only about a mile away on the other side of the river. That's simple enough to cross. Yeah. Okay. No, it is. All right. We As you cross further away from the waterfall, too. Yeah. That way we don't get swept over. Sure. As you all exit the small stone box room, uh, stepping out, you can smell fresh pine, snow, the uh, scent of earth and mountainside. You can hear the rush of a nearby river flowing. So we'll head towards the. the Yeah, as you walk a short distance and you find yourself now on the banks of a fast flowing, not particularly deep, uh, wide river, about 80 feet across and at most maybe five or six feet deep. Um, It's cold, you can see occasional chunks of ice float by, but it's fast flowing. So how are we doing this? You want to water walk us? Okay. Spend ten minutes. What do the rest of you do for ten minutes? While I walk on the water while he casts water walking. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get a ring of water walking just to float on the party character who has water walking? Oh my god. What does Anteus do for the ten minutes while he's standing on the other side oh, of the river? Oh, exactly what I'm doing. He just flies just limb right. <laughs> <laughs> like you hear like a scale now like jingling against itself. Oh. <laughs> I ran out of things that real people do. <laughs> Shadow boxing. Oh my god. And the rest of you? He's stepping on ice. Uh, I'm getting a new round of compensum. I haven't been here before. Okay. Um, oh, I'll accompany you all. So you clambering up a tree? Or just I'm staring just look, around? I'm just looking around. This side doesn't seem that different. It's sort of big stony granite mountainsides, <coughs> lots of pine trees, lots of sort of sort of uh, evergreen undergrowth sort of thing of mixtures of pines and rhododendrons, that kind of thing, clustered to the side of the mountains here. Um, the soil is stony and steep. Uh, the river is fast flowing and very cold to the touch. Um, it's, it's a huge snowy mountain range. That's where you are right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you weren't there when uh, when we went down south, were you? Down south where? When we found the Yonti temple? No. The soil's different down there. I think they're corrupting it somehow. It's black. The water is black. The water is black. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even sort of. Black soil is not bad. Heavily yeah. infused with magic, too. Mm-hmm. I all the It's, it's surprisingly filled with life as well. It's yeah, warm it's and teeming. Teeming. I want to wear Or just stop there at some point. I want to handle that at some point soon as well. There's an interesting stuff about what's being kept in their temple. Really? Really? I heard there's a powerful staff in there. Okay. In the, in the temple of the snake people. Yeah, I've heard it's the same staff. Wait, where Lilavore looks at his snake look staff? Look at my staff. Staff. <laughs> and stroke it's just <laughs> lovely. People in the boat talk a lot. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen yeah, this. You lovingly stroke your staff. I was going to say, your, your, your <laughs> snake staff. <laughs> that's, that's how you see it. This is a, 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 a PG <laughs> stream. <laughs> what the no. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Not see the last one. Guys, we only get one fuck. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there another very powerful staff somewhere here? That's up north. Logs? Oh, in the north. The Gene Temple. Master Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember that when we were in logs. Wait, Yonti yeah. Temple is south of. Yeah. In Kansas? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Southern huh. So it's a thunder bar. Well, have you encountered. looked at the map? <laughs> it was the very first thing we encountered uh, when we came into the castle. Huh. Bunch of Yanti ambushed us tonight. That was fun. I watched Ethan Souls. We're far away. We should get to the chasm and walk. My, my, my plan, or whatever we can do, whatever we need to do, but we should probably uh, utilize the skills of those of us who can fly in one way or another to do some reconnaissance on the islands. Fly? Do you have fly? I do. Okay, cool. I have can you as well? I can't, but I can make him invisible. I does not I can change someone into a bird. Oh, I can also do that. And you can as well? Right? And giant eagles are actually like pretty similar, yeah. but they're also conspicuous. So. Perhaps you could uh, cast a fly on Acteon and two of you small folk could, you know. Acteon? <laughs> The elk. That is the he best gestures I have large elks ever. I don't know how uh, prepared that thing's going to be to fly. It might be a bit of a surreal it experience. Very smart. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he did manage to, to 
can't get out of the, the five foot ceiling of the teleportation room. So. With difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> With the sub five foot door. So we finished casting one off? Uh, yeah. At which point you all step out onto the river. You can feel still occasionally there's an inch or two of water that will rush across your boots, but just beneath it feels like solid earth. Somewhat uneven, given that it's river, but but uh, quite solid nonetheless. And now you're following the river downstream? I okay. Well, we're crossing and then walking oh, along yeah. it. We're not walking on the river for a while. Okay. So you, uh, you cross the river and just keep walking in that same direction? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, who's navigating? Just, okay. Do we need that? You don't really have a landmark to go off of. We're walking next to the river. Oh, are you following the river? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going perpendicular. Yeah, are, are I'm we confused going where you're going. Chasm first. I thought we. I guess oh we're wait, going. are we at? We're at the waterfall. Yeah. Uh, you were on a river. Okay. Really. We're a mile up. So where are we going? Do we want to head to the chasm first, or walk the long Let's just go south. Way? We'll go southeast, we'll hit the bench. That's some Kai logic right there. (laughs) (laughs) Kai, for reference, was Allie's first character months ago. A (laughs) ranger who was famous for two things. Well, three things, really. One of them was doing insane quantities of damage. One of them was losing her bows. You went through four bows? Uh, yeah, I think I would die with my four bows. The, well. the Quiver of Alana would have been so good for Kai. <laughs> and the other one was getting incredibly lost repeatedly. Mm-hmm. Despite having, like, plus, what, six to survival or something? I think I didn't was actually have proficiency numbers? in survival, and that was yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the big issue. So I have, like, a massive whiz bonus, but it still didn't help at all to where Wolford was able to navigate better than me. Wait, you can navigate without proficiency in survival? You can navigate, you, you can navigate, you can't assist. one out, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're walking southeast? Yes. Navigator, you're rolling? Guidance. Uh, Guidance. I'm assisting. Cool. What Guidance are the rest of you doing? This is second watch? Uh, yeah, more or less. Food. Uh, I got eight gallons of water. I'm on math now. Okay. <laughs> That's a 17 on navigation. Okay. Um, All the herbs. Okay, sure. <laughs> Give me that. PC 30. <laughs> Sam, herbs. <laughs> I'm just going to shamelessly shill for a second here, which is, if you're curious about any of the navigation, survival, role, or exploration rules we use, you can find them in a, a product in the DM's Guild called Tulvano's Guide to the Wild. It's pay what you want. It's free, effectively. But you should pay for it, because I made it, and I want money. <laughs> he says she was not listening to of his players. <laughs> you guys can buy it, too! <laughs> <laughs> I'll write it every time I murder. If I buy it, can I erotate it? have a few friends watch. Can you what? Can I erotate it? Sure. <laughs> if you buy it, you can use them for whatever purpose you want. You can buy it and use it as toilet paper. I don't care. <laughs> yes, I will enjoy using your PDF. Deploy <laughs> my digital ad. <laughs> 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 All right, so you walk uh, southeast. Um, it's slow going through the mountains. Uh, after the better part of about three and a half hours, more or less, uh, as the mountains first are, are forested and, and very much ups and downs and they grow sharper and steeper, the trees begin to disappear, there becomes increasingly large quantities of ice and snow and sheer cliff faces up and down. You uh, finally find yourself emerging between two of the jagged peaks and looking down is an enormous chasm beneath you. Thousands of feet below you can see water crashing. A short distance away, maybe a few thousand feet at most, you can see another equally enormous mountain range and cliffside plummeting downwards, the uh, the cliff wall of the chasm beneath you. Um, you can see to your left, maybe a mile or two away, at the narrowest point of this chasm, where it sort of bends inwards, you can see is a huge stone bridge spanning the chasm, easily a thousand feet across. Um, far beneath you in the chasm, you can see to your left side, maybe four or five miles away, there is a an island of sorts, and then to your right, maybe five or six or seven miles away, you can see there are two islands. One larger and closer, and closer to your side of, of the chasm, and one much farther away, maybe almost ten miles away, uh, which is much smaller and closer to the far side. Is that all relatively clear? Yeah. I'm sorry. You are left, there's how far away is the bridge? The bridge is about a mile or two away. Okay, and then, I should say. Sure, and then, so this... The island to the left was five or six miles away? Less than that, maybe four or five. So, 
Uh, this over this, here. This guy, this, this Sphinx Island, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And so these guys are there. Cool. Okay, cool. I assume this is the bridge. Sort of right. <laughs> Scornog bridge. Yeah, that's okay. that. Scornog was a dragon that plagued the party for a long time. It ripped the arm and eye and ear off of Avos, a now dead party member. Rest in peace. Um, uh, it that. plagued this bridge and was generally a huge problem. However, how long was it? Like a month and a half, two months ago? Yeah, December. 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 This semester, so. No, no it was last semester. semester. It was our last session, last semester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A band of eight, nine of you? How many was it? I think it was eight. It was eight of you exactly. set out and defeated Scornog in a crazy battle which involved falling off a cliffside and fighting Scornog in his life. Mid-air dragon battle. Yeah. <laughs> Two things that are supposed to kill you. Falling off a cliff and fighting a dragon. And neither did their job. It's probably enough of the double negative. <laughs> we, we beat Scornog in midair, in free fall, in less than 30 seconds. It wasn't quite free fall. You were feather falled. It's, mm -hmm. it's free fall because <laughs> you fly as fast as you can fall and feather fall. What's the terminal velocity of the feather fall? Who cares? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60 feet per second. Like. Which is half of normal. Yeah, normally you fall about 120 feet per second. So, or 120 feet per round. So. Yeah, it's the same, exactly. same thing. So, um, 10, 10, 10 so I, I think we'll just follow the... Down. Okay. You only have about an hour left to travel today. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now. We can make I fix up my boots. You fix I don't up know your about boots. There, <laughs> but um, I I have religiously watched every second of you fixing people's boots and replicated it just for one of my legs. I'm gonna need you to make me fourteen intelligence. <laughs> 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 so you walk for about an hour following the mountainside. The, 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 the chasm here grows steadily wider um, as you weave away through mountains. It's equally slow going here. Lots of ups and downs, sheer cliff sides, and narrow gullies and crags that need to be navigated. As the sun sets, you find yourself growing even more tired. And uh, by about 5 o'clock, you reach the end of your travel for today, and the sun is just barely set past the horizon. The sky is still streaked with orange. <laughs> there was a pretty sharp breeze blowing at this point. Um, it gives a cold sting to the air. Find a good space for the tiny hut. Maybe like find a uh, somewhat secluded area if I can nearby. As I wait. <laughs> As I wait. Sam, somebody is wishing you happy birthday. Uh, which? What's the name? Is uh, Ace Gamer nine six three four. Yeah, I know that. That's okay. Is it your birthday? Is it your no, there's a running joke between my friend group where they wish me happy birthday every single day except my birthday. Happy birthday, Sam! Happy birthday! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was a mistake going to explain that. This has been around since freshman year of high school. <laughs> you fool. You and Kate. What the question? You fell for one of those classes. I looked for the first time I secluded spot if I could find one. Maybe it's a rabble roll. Guidance? Okay. Uh, 17. 17, yeah. So you find a spot, it's it's a spot where um, it's a little ways up a small cliff face, it's about, you know, five or six feet up, and then there's sort of this, like, flat outcropping that sticks right on the side of the mountain, and the mountain keeps going upwards. It's just big enough for your hut. Can I stone shape it to be, you know, just a little bit nicer and wider? Um, you want to stone shape it, like, out? You want to increase the size of, like, the lip of this stone? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Put it up. Literally, none of us are going to stand on that. <laughs> what, co what color are you going with? Uh, wait, it's the surrounding area. Is it still covered with snow? Maybe? Yeah, it's mostly gray and white. Okay, match the surrounding color. Sure. Um, as Wilbur sits down, can you sit mm -hmm. down right next to him? Can't stop as well. Why? So we have two pups. <laughs> you know, in the exact like a Venn diagram. No, in the exact same who has two I mean, you can't cast spots. from the exact well, same spot. So one of them is gray and one of them is white. That way they work out. Right. It's you Arctic just, camera. Like, they're just, awesome. like, dithering between each other? Yeah, it's Arctic camera. <laughs> It's just Z fighting like he is. <laughs> so spell effects, can't, spell effects can't go through Lehman's? Yeah, it's not going through it. <laughs> you can't, I don't think you what can get the skull off instantaneously at the yeah. same millisecond as the other person. Well, I should be able to sit in the center of the hut and pass it. But then your walls would like hit the edge of those walls and stop. That's fine. Dude, that's so fine. You, would, you wouldn't have two huts. Only the most engaging content here in Western Isles. <laughs> Doubly thick hot though. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? How many hours? Yeah. If someone were to dispel the outer hut. The but spell effects can't. If you could make a, a one foot smaller tiny hut, you could do that. Sam, but because tiny hut must be the exact it's always the same size, you can't have two just instantly laid on top of each other. Why can't we have the double spell bus? <laughs> That's a six <laughs> level spell bus. Liam and double spell hut. That's fine. I don't think anyone's going to find this. I can dispel this. Yes, I have to copyright. 
They'll alarm the surrounding area, though. Okay. Neurotically. Okay. Um, so you're going off this, like, little cliff outcropping thing? Yeah. Okay. Down into any, any areas that are more easily traversable will okay. be alarmed. Okay. Yeah, what are the rest of you doing in the yeah. several while? Well, while my loot would start continuing to work on that sign. I've been tinkering it for a couple of days. It's got, okay. like, dwarvish undertones to it. Do you speak dwarvish? Oh. <laughs> he translates some songs for me. So I wrote a, like, couple, down a couple of songs in dwarvish with, like, common translations and really poorly written guides to how it So I'm spending, like, days translating this into a good song. <laughs> Okay. In sure. Comics. In comics. Sure. sure. Why not? Anything else the rest of you doing? Crimson casts good berry. Each one of her berries holds the other nine of them. Tyro. The clouds will something other than berries. That'd be fun with berries. More than berries. Do you want berries as well? I like them. All right then. Berries it is. Please, please. Are you just, are you just making a bunch of berries? berries. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of berries. Usually I make stew as well. Yeah, I go for some like rabbit stew. Berries in it. What's this? Rabbit stew with it tastes, dried berries in it. Uh, <laughs> it, it tastes yeah. sweet, almost like a, a, a strawberry in a way. Um, no. Sort of like a mix of a strawberry and a cherry, almost. You can only over it whisper to you. Yes. Uh, I mean, it looks like the berries are good, but what else do you have? Some rabbit stew. I would very much like some rabbit stew. Rabbit stew, all right. Food and water. Rabbit okay. stew and berries. Okay, you just create uh, crates full of just either rabbit stew just or <laughs> just berries of mixed variety? No, it's, it's all grapes. Okay. Yeah. Crates all aren't berries. <laughs> I mean, don't they all taste bland as shit? Yes. <laughs> so they're all blueberries, is what you're saying. Blueberries are harsh. You're just not eating the right blueberries. <laughs> That's what I've heard from everybody who ever said that. So, right, you're objectively wrong. Like, little fish. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Some yeah. Form of so you all settle down in the hut with your uh, bland berries and bland rabbit stew. Chewing away. It's probably about 6 o'clock by the time all those things are shut down. Which means, what time are you all going to sleep tonight? Oh, we're setting up watches. <laughs> Only got the 1L. Five the of you. Yeah. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'll go first. Watch, so we need to set two two-hour watches, which means three. Not two. Four hours. Well, no, because, because, because it extends. Watch has to sleep eight hours. Yeah. yeah. This, this is why it sucks. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So watch has to sleep eight three two-hour watches. All right. Who wants a ledge and a level of exhaustion? Because that's easier than. <laughs> do you guys need me to do the math for you? Yeah. No, it's we're, we're, a formula for If it, I'm so. not mistaken, we're going to be sleeping for uh, ten, hours. For 10 hours, correct? Yeah. Hours. Or, no, I, we wouldn't necessarily need to because he's only trancing for four hours. So we, four. No, because no, they would still have to sleep for the eight hours. So yeah, we'd have to go for it's 10 hours. hours. Yeah. yeah. Is it not? Right. No. <laughs> What's the math? It's eight hours and like 40 ish minutes, right? Oh, come on. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's that's, that's five, five like, people. So it means five people have to cover four hours is what it shakes out to. Oh, okay. yeah, uh, yeah, oh, I yeah, I think we were optimizing. Yeah, I was just, I didn't think we were optimizing. Okay. I think we were so just you can do it really simply and just say each of you takes one hour watch, which means yeah. you have to go for nine hours. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. That'd so with that in mind, and the sun rises at 9 a.m., what time are you going to sleep? Good. Okay. I have an incredibly cruel and barbarous practice, which is when my party sits around doing nothing, I make them role play with each other. One minute for every one hour that passes of them doing effectively nothing. So that means if it's six o'clock right now and they're going to bed at midnight, they have a brutal, crushing, awful six minutes of role playing with each other with minimal interference. Oh, what? making us role play in this role playing game? Come on. How <laughs> dare I? Look at you, need dumb cry. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the timer now. Is it like 30 minutes of role playing? What? We do not have that time. <laughs> I was gonna say, Pause that timer. Like, that's fair. Morning. Can you tell us exactly what happened? You like? Yes, I'm very interested. I walked up the wall for a ways, and I walked along the cliff for a ways, and I was up to the hotel. Sure. And I, you know, using my neck to keep myself alive, I kind of made myself a little hobby. Set myself up a fire, stared into it for a while, you know, reached out the bubble, and um, saw a vision of him in the place. He told me we need to find some stuff. 
passion feel for goals dead goals line uh, dead goals I you know the Sashin oil and you mentioned some other place where goals yeah. were dead I was going to say, I don't recall the Sphinx saying anything about dead gods on this island. I think we asked about it. Oh, either way, there is another option that we need to check here first, because the other options we are should, less savory. We don't even know what's here, and I can guarantee that the other options is much less. What's the other option? I'd better like to know. Um, the Draconic Council told us about a uh, place where the Scorched Lord Nagreth is imprisoned underneath the Ashen Battlefield where oh, well, that's it. something happened a long time ago. Huh. Between well, that's it. Well, I, 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 they were, it was in the log, yes. That kind of tracks with what Agamemnon mentioned about the Ashen Isle. Yeah. So, I don't think there's, there's something beneath this Ashen Field that I'll have to kill. There's a coal in his heart that I can use to kill one of those what makes you so <laughs> sure that this Isle of Ash is not the Ashen Battlefield? Um, the, the Draconic Council indicated that the prison of Negret is past uh, Toronto in the west. Um, so I assume they're not the same. Let's start there. We could find a clue, and we can hope against hope that it's what we're looking for, because I, for one, do not want to tackle that for as long as we can hold out on it. The alternative is fighting a gigantic, mostly insane dragon. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Say again? It's, uh, it's, uh, what color is he? Red. 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 It's, it's the fucker we have to kill. Tenereth's father. Tenereth is the... Yeah. the Herald of the, the council, as far as we could tell, anyway. When you said Cole, like, I uh, assume it's, it's him. Uh, Hopefully not. not. So, got to kill him. Yeah. It's Cole out of the start. That might take a bit. Let's talk, talk about that. Always hope that it's something we can, we can We can talk about it when it gets to that point, but yeah. there are certain <laughs> implications that accompany that sort of a connection. I Didn't you agree with the dragons to go and release save him. that one? Can't exactly kill it. You're not trying to so fight a bunch of dragons. The only way to save someone is to put him down. Put him on the mercy. Yeah, if we attack him, we fight the rest of the dragons. It did seem like the other members of the council. I cast a spell that let me understand what they were talking about or understand their their language before we went into the council room. So if they decided to have a private conversation, I'd be able to hear what they were talking about. Um, but it seemed like the other members of the council were very averse to freeing the Scorch Lord. So that might give us leverage against Tenereth, but these are all questions that I just hope we don't have to answer. So hold on, Tenereth and the Scorch Lord, which one has the coal in the heart? The Scorch Lord. Scorch Lord, Lord. most likely. Okay. And Tenereth the Dragon. She was presenting as human. They all were, but... Tenereth is... you not read the logs? No. Come on, the logs. That was a pretty important one. Yeah, that was a big one. Even Goldie over here <laughs> read the logs. Yeah, it makes it feel better. Mm-hmm. I didn't read it either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I... I just trust these all to tell us. They all know better than I do. <laughs> I could read it and not understand half what happened. So you're just out here going through the motions, not knowing anything that happens? I mean, I know what's happening around me, and I know what's happening to you two, or you all. And to be frank, that's what matters to me. It's a cultural thing. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, you you come from a lineage of nomads. That's sort of. You see, being racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, my parents were, but right. I don't your know. Family is nomadic. You wander around, go with. Does it go past your parents? You to go. Or did you not know? Never asked. Oh. I'm sorry if I offended you. Well, no, it's, it's more just that, um, actually, you know what, that does kind of make sense. Uh, kind of used to verbal memory, so to speak. You know, word of mouth, pass that down. Experiential, too. Yeah. Makes sense to me. 
<laughs> Alright, sorry, just didn't catch drift. No, I can understand that. We were all priests. I came from, we didn't write much anything down, mm. except for sacred texts and silk and things mm. that stream. Really? Yes. How do you remember things? I mean, how do you remember things? I, what if you long memory. forgot something, is what I mean. Like, there was only someone around remembered. who remembered. What if they misremembered? Then that is the way. Okay. Even information that gets translated into text can be misinterpreted. That's true. There's but no system you can do that will completely avoid that. Let me demonstrate something for you. Okay. Morning. Whisper a phrase in my ear. All right. <laughs> oh, that's where I like where this is going. <laughs> Just anything. Why are we doing this on stream? <laughs> it's <laughs> role play. Choose it. Choose anything. What'd you hear? Choose anything. What'd you say? Just anything. You know, I hate, uh, just out of character, I hate that there's no name for this because that game is called Telephone. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fucking exist. It's called Long Range Message it's Repeated. It's called Sending. <laughs> it's called Sending. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, like, uh, hold on. Juan pulls out like a piece of paper and a, and a quill from his cartographer's kit. He like scrawls something in what is basically calligraphy. What does this say to you? It. it I'm not gonna draw it. <laughs> it's. It looks like basically just scribbles. It's. No spells. Aesthetic quality. I wouldn't say that it means anything linguistically to me. But some people would interpret this, interpret this as saying true. Others would hear it would read it as the. Okay. It means nothing to me. Exactly. Yeah, but to me, it means something else. Are you proficient in calligraphers tools? Calligraphers? No. Then you might actually just be drawing scribbles. That's <laughs> cool. So you mean it's just a different language? I'm just saying the text can be misinterpreted just as easily as words can. Okay. Besides, what happens if somebody wants to edit the text? What happens if somebody wants to edit the sacred text? I have no idea. <laughs> Say no. Sacred texts don't necessarily sound like the type of thing that change exactly. very often. Yeah, I get the feeling they're probably kept under lock and key, so to speak. So to speak. <laughs> lock and tree? No. That is far closer. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you all settle in for the evening, I take it? Uh, before we go to bed, uh, Jay will cast fly on himself. Okay. Um, it is dark right now, correct? Yes. Um, he's just going to fly straight up from our campsite. Okay. And look out. Does he see any lights? Lights. Okay, T poses that sends through the air. Um, do you see any lights? Context of this man. In, like robes with a black skull oh, mask oh rising God. and surveying <laughs> for <laughs> any signs of life. I forget <laughs> every time. Yeah. Sorry, really. sorry. Just the, the, the black skull mask. It's hard to tell. Have we actually done any surveillance? No, not yet. Or we should probably do that. Aesthetically, We'll have to start um, adding, like, rotating descriptions. If you'd like to learn data. more about the physical descriptions of our characters, check out the wiki. Oh, actually, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably a better idea. idea. Well, we if need to get, we, look, um, look at our, yeah, we just need graphics part. from the stream that use our pictures. Yeah, yeah. Real it's all in the Dom, why can't you make the stream better? <laughs> I'm, I'm so hard. The temptation <laughs> to just take my mini and just, Not like, slowly bring it to the camera. That's my you're incorrect. You're incorrect. Listen. Yeah, it's got two for the That's rough. Anyways. Um, sure. oh, sure. <gasps> I didn't forget my Oh it's my, my god, are we doing this? <laughs> Don't do this on stream. Um, yes, yes, yes. You only like to see, you see. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Um, really? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> down. Um, Information. Sort of thing, which way you guys are oriented. So yeah. I, I know where the river is, presumably. Like, you know where the chasm is. Okay, that's um, okay, So, careless. like. Head and to your right. Head you're facing the castle? Yeah, if you're facing, okay. well, facing the direction you were traveling in. Sure. Um, head and to your right, you're like two o'clock roughly. Uh, you can see there are a number of small pinpricks of light somewhere far, far beneath you. Dozens of them easily. Mm -hmm. Beneath you, yeah. Oh, 
Like, I mean, you're right up in the air. Everything's going to be in. Yeah. Far, far. Got how many? Seconds? Dozens, okay. easily. Dozens. Tiny pinpricks of light, yeah. Okay. He'll come back down. Okay. Dozens of pinpricks of light, probably, on that island. Which one? Presumably, the not burned to shit one. Probably acting followers, then? Yeah. It would make sense, that whole thing was gilded. Dozens. Yeah. And then sending rain. Okay. Give me one moment. I was wondering, Rain is an NPC. <laughs> uh, so we should actually briefly explain who Rain is. Uh, yeah. Rain is one of our players, uh, played by our friend Kay. Um, they are currently away on co-op, working in Boston, and we are all in New York. And so while Kay is a, is a member of the game, and Rain is a character who exists in the tap room, they don't go out on missions very often. And that's why, they're, uh, that's why their, their title is Scratch, rather than Adventurer in the tap room, if you check our Discord, which you can see in, in the panels below. Um, so they are sort of a, a sending answering machine and an identify bot and a face to a confidant, I guess you might say, but one who does not go out on missions very often at all, unfortunately. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and they interact with the game far more than some other people in the tap room. True. Also true. Uh, today is the 13th, yeah? Correct. Correct. Yeah. And you'll be sending yes. it at about midnight? Valentine's Day, officially. Hell yeah. Uh, Rain just gets a sending. Oh my god! Like, oh my god! Oh, actually, oh, sure. sure. I will call it. Ten. <laughs> I cannot express how little I care. <laughs> Lauren to Rain. I have someone who likes these words. What is your message? Found the It's a joke. Safely. That's on. Like Starcraft. Hush up! Shut up for a second. Found the group safely on Fear Auto. Headed to the island. Starcraft isn't a joke. Headed to the island. Do you mean diva place, sir? Oh my god. Um, you hear a reply. Oh! Alright. So glad to hear it. Great. Stay safe. That wasn't what they actually said. <laughs> so, due uh, to the. For 26 due to the, uh, the non linear nature of this, or rather, the. It is linear, it's the. Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Asyn the asynchronous. Asynchronous, asynchronous yes. yes. Due to the asynchronicity of our game. Um, when you send someone who's in the tap room ahead of the time it is in real life, I just usually come up with some kind of generic affirmative response, unless they've had some specific plan response ahead of time. So while Rain, you know, I didn't just like message Rain right now or something, I just made up what Rain said, it's more or less what Rain would probably say to hear good news. Because currently it's midnight in game, but only 5.30 here. So, you know. We'll have to draw a chart for the next Sorry? We'll have to draw a chart just to explain it. I'm sure one of the fans will come up with it for us. It's pretty intuitive, honestly. Do you think we should say our level at the beginning of the streams? No. Yeah, we should just. No, I, think just I think it's more, no, more suspenseful no, if no, nobody knows who's been dropped dead at the moment. It's cool to like, figure out people's We should do physical descriptions, I think. It's just like more influence. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's, do you want to do this right now? Just round us for group descriptions? Sure. So, start. Morin is four feet tall. He's got plate mail that's got like dwarvish carvings almost on it. He's just got wild mane of red hair. Um, and a pretty happy year. Um, Kay is uh, 18. Uh, he has uh, kind of really close cropped, uh, dyed black hair. Um, he's about five, six. Uh, he looks extremely skinny, um, even for, he's a scrawny kid, I'll say that much. Um, and uh, he, he wears a uh, um, a mask, uh, one around the wilds. Um, it's kind of made of black iron and just has two horns that curl back off the top of it. Um, and then he also wears. A what? It's. White you should color. clarify. It's a skull mask. It's just, yeah. Oh yeah. The front is skull, by the way. Um, and and just a, a long white uh, cloak that sort of comes up and, and sort of a, like a, like that guy in Naruto, the bug guy. Like, she like yeah. 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 Um, I got your Naruto yeah, character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Willivore is a bit of a slight build. He's 5'7". Um, he's 26. He has jet black hair that's a little spiked in the front. During the winter months, he has a short black beard, uh, fairly well kept. Um, he also wears a cloak that's very colorful. It's uh, light blue, purple, pink, um, otherwise pretty standard gear. He has a loop on his back at all times, pretty much. Uh, and Teus is a big boy. <laughs> 
Uh, he is uh, six four. He's a, he's an Earth uh, Genasi, and his hair is like a like a coal black. He tries to keep like relatively neat. Every once in a while, though, you see like dust come off of it. Um, his skin is like a like a like a like a dark like earthy brown, covered with like cracks and fissures that emanate like a faint golden light. And he's clad in a uh, gleaming scale mail that never seems to get dirty. Um, and his helm is adorned with uh, antlers. <laughs> Does he have actual hair, or is it just like really thin rock tentacles? I suppose you would have to touch it to find out now, wouldn't you? Oh boy. Or yeah, stroke it lovingly, whichever you prefer. Valentine's Day! <laughs> yes, yes, we can confirm. So, uh, Dom does character portraits for many of these characters. The ones, you can see a lot of them on the Discord, they're a little dated, some of them. Um, uh, but Antaeus is. You haven't updated yours yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like a shrub. Yeah. Is there an update? It's, 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 it's on the wiki. Oh, if you check the wiki, right. you can see Antaeus is hot. <laughs> yeah, check right see it on the wiki. It's like the original Evan picture. Yeah, that would be awesome. Hot. <laughs> 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 also on We're the just talking about hot men, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're totally into it right now. So Crimson is young. She's 16 years old, stands at about 5 feet tall. She has scraggy, uh, messy black hair that goes back around her ram horns that curl underneath her ears. Uh, she has a deep crimson red skin and her eyes are just complete pools of a, a, an orangish yellow color. Um, she wears long oversized brownish black robes, uh, one with a little split in the back for her tail to go and come out of, and underneath she wears uh, armor made of hide and furs. All of her clothing seems to be covered in dirt. Uh, she is wearing her boots that Morin has specifically made for her. <laughs> Though specifically when she is in the tap room, she does not wear the boots and she That's just fine. loosely wraps That's her That's fine. Feet. We can avoid a Theodwin situation. Yes. Lovingly crafted by Grandpa. Well, Theodwin is a wizard of Fearbolg who you made him shoes that then he proceeded to wear for strength for like three months. Yeah, they were <laughs> gross. Yeah. Oh my God. So they were burned and I made a new one and made him promise to. I feel that, but also. What does Wivon look like? Uh, Wivon has deep teal skin, uh, sun bleached blonde hair that goes to about a little bit past shoulder length. Um, he is missing his left arm from above the shoulder and his right leg from above the knee. Uh, a, pros a rudimentary prosthetic replaces it. It's essentially just a peg leg with a hinge. Um, he His clothing is mostly like wrapped bandages which seem to be pretty clean for the most part uh they wrap all around his his left side of his torso around the, his midriff and down basically down to where the knees would be um he his actual clothes are uh loose fitting white white shirt sort of leonardo dicaprio in, in titanic style uh <laughs> and uh a sort of seafoam green sash that he that he wears around the waist you mentioned what color your skin and hair are right Yes. Okay. Deep teal. So oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> the word teal doesn't register to me as like a color. I'm like, teal. It's like steel. <laughs> um, Sam's just playing word association in his mind. Yeah. And I'm Sam. As you can tell, I'm just gorgeous. Uh, okay. So the party settles in for the evening. Let's see what happens tonight. Oh, boy. Uh, watch order? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to go first? Mm. Are we all taking watches? Yeah, all of you us take the right? I have Driftblade. Okay. With what? The Driftblade. Oh, okay. And the inside of the hut is always well lit. Yeah. Are you taking the first but four hours? Expands. Um, I don't care where I go. I'd like to go before or after K. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the night passes more or less without incident, unless you have a conversation or something you'd like to do. I would like to have a brief conversation you with Kane. You should stab Kane in the throat. Yes. Yeah. With the knives that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. Um, so, yeah, so... Knives try. So, yes. as Kane wakes you up for your for your watch... Are you... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry. It's very small. Hey, uh, just want to mention it. Um, I trust you. Don't mean to give the wrong impression. No, I trust you too. Okay. Uh, the whole <laughs> thing that happened in the tap room, right? No, I, I understand. I understand. Care about your safety and your well-being. <laughs> but I also trust you, and I know you know this 
sort of thing far better than I do. So. Promise I won't do anything stupid. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. All right. Get some rest. Thanks. So the rest of the night passed that incident. As you all rise as the uh, sun begins to peak above the horizon. What do you do? So I'm just well, saying, what we yes. could do is we could cast Water Walk, and then we could just jump off a cliff. That was what I thought was going to happen. I think we so should we're trying to kill each other. How comfortable are you with Little Lord's Cup? It's actually really fun. Uh, seeing what he did when we were fighting the, the Banshee before, I did don't want to see a lot. Not my fault. So, yes, you also jumped off of a cliff and you didn't look underneath for the dragon. But we did look under the bridge. But we did live and we did kill a dragon. I mean, we did look under the bridge, to be fair. It was just after we the dragon saw us. Yes, that seems a bit of a side. I think who's the flying animals you can control a little bit? Aye, and then he says, oh, look at that, that's familiar. Let's go eat the people on top of the bridge. And then you would know that there was a dragon under the bridge. I was yeah. not smart enough. It all worked out. It worked out It worked way out, but it doesn't necessarily mean it was smart. Alright, well this time there's no bridge for a dragon. Yeah, there you go. What's gonna happen? That said, thank you for bringing that familiar. It's a terrible because thing. We'll I think that we'll we find. should send uh, we should we should send anyone who can down to, to do some reconnaissance first. That's we, probably a good idea. How much more spells do you want to use up before we go into the fight? Well, I mean, that depends on who we send, what we send. Sure. You can just yeet Carl out of the Carl in this case is familiar. Uh, uh, usually, a small kind of scrapyard dog. Currently, he is a sparrow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought we were just. I also thought we were just throwing dogs. Watch as he goes. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just imagining Kay just throwing Carl off, snapping him back to the black dimension, summoning him again, throwing him off again. Carl is. He's, he's a just trust just fall. Carl is the most massive trust issue. Carl okay. loves him unconditionally. Because uh, that's part of the spell. Yeah. It's required. And he's a dog. Uh, <laughs> he's a sparrow. Uh, well, now he's yeah. Dead. Which so I guess it doesn't. Look like it's a weird looking dog. Because so I can he pops Carl into existence. It's just like if, if, if a if a sparrow could be scruffy, this one is. Um, it's ruffled, just, like, just like a gray. gray yeah, yeah, its feathers are a lot of wax and a little ruffled and yeah. distorted. Yeah. Um, kind of just sits on his on, on his gauntlet finger. Okay. Oh yeah, gauntlet. Yeah. Um, so I can send Carl down. Seems like a good plan. It's small. Does anyone else want to maybe take a look for themselves, or I'd rather we keep all the resources. True. We all are we just checking, checking out the Feldstone, um, or are we checking out the? Well, well, where are we going first? We all yeah. walk closer to the That's very good. How far down is the chasm? Oh, it's a few thousand feet. Oh. So we can reduce that. Wait, which, which one are we going to first, though? I didn't say by how much. We can stop. Yeah, yeah. We'll so we'll we'll, 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 we'll walk down. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll walk down. Um, so we're even with the with the Ash Island. Sure. And we'll send Carl down here. Uh, you can also have Carl see the one we're walking. Sure. That's a good idea. So what is Carl doing? Carl is um, <laughs> flying <laughs> down, translate from Sparrow, uh, sweep, sweeping over the, the Ash Islands. Okay. Uh, and then jump back. Okay. Should take Carl a while to do that. Yeah. So we'll be walking. Okay, we're going to keep following the chasm. Yeah. Okay. We'll be walking in, so we're like, even with the, <coughs> the, the Ash Islands, I believe. Even? Yeah. Okay. Like, we get so to our. Perpendicular. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would prefer the term orthogonal. Thank I prefer perpendicular. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, wow. Just <laughs> turn that PG thirteen to PGMA. What's PGMA? I don't know. Right, we're guiding martial arts. <laughs> you think I think about the things that come out of my mouth? Um, okay. So I've never thought started. about a single thing. You begin walking through the mountains, uh, up and down the uh, jagged, narrow cliff sides of the chasm, or rather, on the sides of the chasm, the tops of the chasm, uh, working way up and that is slow going. You're above the tree line, there's snow everywhere, 
Occasionally you can see in the distance for the unknowns just like huge snowdrifts forming avalanches on the way down. Um, you're very near the tops of these peaks, so you managed to avoid a lot of that. Um, but it is still slow going. After about four hours, so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Carl returns to you. That's good. Don't act so surprised, Dom. <laughs> it's never happened before. Though. Yeah, it has. No, no, you no, use Carl times. to scout the entirety of... of the room rock level two dungeon. Yeah, not level not level I was going to say. And, and, and the Savagin castle. Never yeah, because they can't fly. Alright, what is he saying? <laughs> uh, so he explains that um, the Ashen Island is uh, covered in ruined, burned out trees, snow and frost and ash beneath it. He says in the center there's a huge silver spike that rises like 50 feet into the air with a bowl atop it, sort of. Um, he explains that the, uh, the, uh, the other island is uh, inhabited, there's people who live there. Um, it's sort of a mixture of forest and arable land. There's like small villages and stuff on it. It's only about a couple miles across with a large sort of like temple structure in the center. Does the Ashen Island have snow on it? Yeah. Okay. But it's still ashy. Yeah, I mean he explains like the trees are ashy, like oh, you, like beneath sorry. beneath the snow, like says you can see the ash underneath it. Did you get a good look at uh, how many people about? He so he explains that uh, as soon as he got close, they started looking at him weird, and so he took off. Thanks, man. Okay. I think we should go to the Ashen Island. Okay. Are we even with Ashen Island, or are no. we still walking? No, you're no. still walking. Dumb. Um, not but. Can we pass the other island? That wasn't nope. You have not even come even with that one yet. It is slow moving your mountains. Don't, don't, don't we walk on the water to make it faster? Or walk on the... I mean, it, the the snow is equally vertical here. The snow is not really the problem. It's more the verticality and steepness of terrain. Yeah, and then we have no one to sleep when we're in a really trash down there. There's the yeah. islands. Yeah, islands. That's, That's a good, a good plan. plan. <laughs> we have a hut. That's sure. It's too much. You should sure. really read the logs. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to explain this to the stream? No, I kind of want to. There would be an incentive to actually like, read the logs. Mm. Read the wiki if you want to know where we're <laughs> making all these ominous, we just have a hut jokes. <laughs> Staring at Allie and Caleb. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, nothing dead could ever, nothing could ever. It's been around for like, the full time, right? Like, exactly. Taylor's like, been here since September. Yeah, no, that's, why it's <laughs> that's, that's why he totally knows Warren. <laughs> so it sounds like the Yacht team people have a more permanent set yeah. And then, um, All the buildings look like they were killed in what we saw last. There were way more people there than I thought. How many did you say? Didn't we know there was a lot of people there? Though? I mean, it's an island miles across. It's fully inhabited and developed with buildings. It's true. Perhaps we should try to make friends. That's what I was going to suggest, actually. Well, I didn't know the plan to begin with was trying to talk to them. Right. Is it my, the fact that I'm exalted? You're exalted as well, eh? Right? Well, yeah. There's also, if it's a bigger island, then the population will be spread out a little bit further. We won't have to deal with... Theoretically. We, we'll, we might have to deal with, like, multi, more, a couple dozen more than we thought we would, but we won't be able to deal with all of them at once. I have maybe a really dumb suggestion. Oh, boy. I'm listening. <laughs> Since... <laughs> Since the two of you are exalted, would you be comfortable being the ones that scope out the inside of the, the settlement? Sure. Are we doing this flying while invisible? I'll go ahead. Are we just I going want to know about your status okay. and whether, I mean, what favor that might buy us so in terms of interacting with them in the future. So it was just the two of us walking on the island by ourselves? And then we'll right away. We have four more friends. We're going to have one more for Hazen. He might figure out what he's on. I mean, nobody said anything about supper. Also, I assume we will not be interacting with the cultists on a friendly level. Everyone out here has the same idea. You don't. I don't think anyone's going to fault us for being careful. This is kind of the gist of it. I wouldn't be careful to send two of us alone to the enemies. I wouldn't suggest it if I didn't have confidence in your ability, Willow, to, to, to get them. To, to escape in your death situation. Oh, yeah, no, I can get him out instantly. 
as long as I'm not. Had yet? How far can you get them off? 500 feet? Yeah. About halfway up the chasm? I mean, like. You can pull up your nets into the middle of the cold. I can do it twice. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Question, down. Sam. The yeah. island is it like how high is the chasm where the island is? Maybe fifteen hundred, two thousand feet high. Okay. Oh, it's farther down. How far away is the Ashen Island from here? From that island? Yeah. How long? I'm sorry. Half a mile, three quarters of a mile. How long does it take to fold the folding, folding boat? Much more than we all need. Ooh, so it's an actual yeah. Yeah. Plus, yeah. if we're in the chasm, yeah. you're already yeah. down. Yep. So yeah, that's less of an ideal situation. Send me. Um, Send me. Oh, hi. We're being murdered on the bottom of the island. You're 2,000 feet up. You have no way to get to us aside from jumping to a fucking castle. What? No, no, no. I meant send me down if you want to send an emissary. Then how are we getting you back out? You don't need to. I can swim. I have the boat. Like, uh, perhaps you should you have the boat. boat just go down into the chasm with you. Yeah. Sure. All right, then let's do that. So how frozen does the water look in the chasm? In the chasm, um, around the edges, there are ice flows that are sort of ch- chunked up against the sides. But in the, in most of the chasm itself, there are just you know the occasional ice flow, but not much. What are the rules for swimming in frigid water? Uh, swimming in frigid water. Let me read them to you from Flavana's Guide to the Wild. <laughs> um, Flavana's Guide to the Breath of the Wild. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> just the wild. I knew it. I knew it. So uh, frigid water. A uh, creature can spend a number of minutes in frigid water equal to its constitution modifier. For each additional minute, the creature must make a DC 10 constitution saving throw or suffer one level of exhaustion. Creatures with, with cold damage resistance are immediately automatically succeed, as do any creatures adapted to living in ice cold water. All right, so here, here's here's what I would suggest. We get down there, set up the boat. Y'all can be however far away you want. And say this, if I could borrow your ring, because that water's cold. And I really, right. really rather not. Send me there. You know, if we're if we're both there, we can bring uh, Willivore can come along as well, we can get further away. But I'm pretty confident in my running. I think all things considered, I'm the best one to send there, just to, to gauge at least to gauge. Obviously, Willivore, you're way better at talking than I am, but if just to gauge how they feel about exalted people, I think I would be. If we're going with the bringing the boat down, we can keep the boat within a thousand feet. Sure. And I'll be the best one to send. Okay, sure. Or we can both go together. Or we can both go together. I'd rather at least two of you go together. Yeah. I, I don't. All right. One, I'm, I don't really want to go by myself. And two, <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm not sending you by yourself. It's dangerous to tell you to go alone. Take a little Actually, <laughs> Wait. Number of Take this whole one's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Number of minutes equal to con mod, right? Yes. So that's twelve rounds. I can get. What? What's, I, your, what's no. your con mod? Minutes. Plus two. That's twenty rounds. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. I can <laughs> easily one, make one plus. So it's three minutes. Just mm-hmm. that's for holding breath. That's holding hold. breath. This I can just... also. I actually don't even need the need the ring because I can because I have swim speed. I can easily make that distance just by dashing. Okay, three. We can also just tell. Also, yeah. I can cast water walk on you before you head in. That way you can just run, run across the water. I don't have the second arm. I can't do it. Uh, just hold your leg out. <laughs> With what? <one. laughs> <laughs> then he can't run. See, it's up. You can only have one. So, what, what do you think we can get out of this? I mean, that's a good question. What are we saying? To them? That, that's that's what I'm wondering. Like, are we just trying to to gauge what their reaction to exalted is? My, that's what it sounds like. My, I mean, what I'm thinking is that we would be able to get a first-hand look at their operation, be able to gauge what kind of power structure is there. <clears throat> um, maybe, I mean, if you can get an audience with whoever's in charge. That seems a bit riskier. I mean, we wait for the audience until you can bring us all. That's fair. I, 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 I think. You're also fighting I, into an audience. Except that Yako doesn't seem to like the other causes all that much. The, the, bigger, the bigger concern I have is that if, if they decide to turn hostile and we ask for an audience, then supposedly they gave us the audience, we're suddenly in the middle of the island, surrounded by all, all of them, as opposed to on sure. the park. Sure. Okay. So, scratching the audience, just maybe find someone who can tell you about what they have going on there. Sure. Uh, using your status as leverage to get that information. 
I would definitely not mention where you're from or come up with a... Wasn't planning on it. Because they know what we did to the South Town. <laughs> and I would say that even if the rest of us can get down there, I should not go. You shouldn't? Definitely should. Why not? Uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only one who they did. Wait, no, we killed them all. They wouldn't know. Yeah, it's fine. Last word is killed. Can I do this or something? Did they know you had the last <coughs> I don't see how any of them could have gotten the message out. Just because you don't it's see it doesn't mean they didn't. Also, also the message that you had what? Right, right, right. Regardless, we should pick a plan and execute it. So I think we send down the Von Will of War as a, as a forward party. If they're going to be more eligible now than the Cosmo will be able to Yeah. All right. Sure. I say we should wait off the coast of the Ash Island so it's not too conspicuous over the approach. Make sure you're with it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to. Are we. So you can walk and sort of get to the Ash Island. Okay. Okay. So uh, you keep following the uh, edge of the Chasm of Mantos range. Um, it takes you, as you keep walking, um, you walk for the better part of the next four hours, really, your next watch entirely, as noontime passes and wears into afternoon and begins to approach evening. Uh, by the end of that travel time, Five o'clock in the afternoon, you have sort of just edged past the larger of the two islands, um, and are sort of now in the sort of gap between the two of them. Okay. This is for I think we head down tomorrow morning, clear out the ash island, then from there we will be on the yacht or the island. Sure. Cool. Good plan. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. We can do all morning. We will before we wait in nearby in the morning. Ready to go walking. Sounds good. All right, then. Would you like us to be as close as possible, maybe, within one teleport? Yeah, that way I, I would prefer that. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. the only worst case scenario, obviously, if you teleport in, you teleport out. But um, one teleport would be ideal. You know, it's pretty close I, to the if, if you go down, then K can bring me in, and I can bring it back home. Oh, bring it up, right? Uh, Sorry, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm here for. That'd be ideal. Aye. Okay. Sorry. So I think we'll put this up here. Okay. Here on the cliff sense. Shit goes real south. Let's see if I can toss up a signal flare, so to speak, I guess. Sure. Whatever that means. He shoots gals and blood from his hands. You saw this! You've seen him. <laughs> it was in the heat of battle. <laughs> yeah. And it's bright flashes of light in a dark cavern. What did you think of it? You get clocked across the chain, there is a bright flash of light sometimes. Are you not paying attention to what's going did on when you're in battle? I'm very hyper focused. Did you get hit in that battle? Yes. Hard in the head, maybe. No, I mean, I legit. Oh, wait, I, I don't remember anything in the battle. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> See, while Juan actually fights like a mantis shrimp, he punches so fast, light happens. Alright, I'm gonna look for a secluded area That's for true. that again. Maybe it's our world. Guidance. Nope. Nope. Oof. Ah, uh, six. Yeah, you look around, it's just a lot of, just a lot of cliff sides, just a lot of... Looks good to me. Snow <laughs> Trying to okay. match the shrimping. So, like... Anywhere that looks like with the aid of the stone shape or something, we might be able to fit thing down. What stone shapes area of effect? Five by five. Not really. <laughs> so do we not find a clearing? Do you find a clearing, just not anything's included. Like you write down like kind of like oh, the I was gonna say like what are you? Yeah. So yeah, hail alarm the surrounding area. Okay. Okay. So that probably takes about an hour as before. Um, do you have water for today? Yeah. Oh yeah. Does anybody have anything they want to eat? The usual. The usual. Yeah. 
we'll just do. You go for a meat pie. Meat pie. Question: yeah. Did the followers of Iacto have a particular term for Iacto that they used that was not Iacto? Like, I like don't a, think you'll be able to get away with pretending you're from here. It was more so pretending that we were. I mean, saying we're servants of Iacto. I don't know if that's the Golden Kingdom. The Another, I think like, title to it. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think trying to masquerade as anything is probably not in our best yeah. interest in this I'm situation. Pretty good at it. I know you are, and I trust you. I, I just think I think we want to minimize risk in this endeavor. It's also the only way I think they're going to give us information. The only way. If they're not going to give any information to outsiders. Well, it depends how they think about exalted. I mean, my statement still holds true. They're not giving information to outsiders, regardless. And why do we? What? Then why would we even bother? The, the exalted term might help us, and saying we're servants of Yakta might help us more. Obviously, exalted is how I'm going to come out with it, but. I suppose there's a chance. It, it's also a scouting it, mission, though. It may be. See if we can get a better idea of the numbers. More. But in the event they don't believe you, what if they just start attacking? Okay. It may be more prudent to assume the role of What's a. Person who wishes to start following Yakta rather than one who already is because we were exalted. under the pretense of exaltation. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Real quick, Yakta's a sun god, right? I don't know where you get that from. Isn't his symbol that there is a point of sub? Didn't the Sphinx mention something about that? It's a star. There's also I mean, a lot of like guess, fire yeah. symbolism that we've seen. And all the gold and such. Oh, yeah. Maybe. It, it might not be, probably. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny, though? That's so, actually not a bad idea. Guy shows up, throwing around, throwing around sunny, sunny stuff, says he's exalted, and they're just like, nah. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a sea slug. That's <laughs> actually an interesting. I mean, maybe. I mean, what's the what's the chances that they've just never heard of the term? Um, Honestly, say the Sphinx I'm betting pretty high. The Sphinx said something about. I'm, I, I'm true followers of Yakto will, will acknowledge the term, but they don't seem like true followers. The standard rabble. From what I think the Sphinx said, uh, they may not regard us. But I mean, or maybe uh, we don't know who these. Yeah, we don't know who. At the very least, whoever's the head of the tribe, sure. Or at least tell whoever you meet with, who you manage to meet with, that you need to get the message to whoever's in charge that you're exalted. Regardless of whether the person you're talking to believes you, if that message reaches the right ears, yeah. you can get somewhere. I'll be honest, I don't, I'm not particularly optimistic about how they're going to react to the term, just because, from what I'm remembering from Sphinx, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, there's something about the corrupted followers not really acknowledging any of the tenets of the actual sort of following, and as far as I know, everyone we've encountered on the aisle so far has been a bit less than friendly. Well, that's why we'll be 500 feet away. Yeah. yeah, we're ready to get Keep in mind like that the your first interaction with the Octo was murdering a bunch of his priests, so. I don't think I ever did. Maybe that. not you, but the group. That's fair. The group as a whole. I was not here for the. Or, 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 or <laughs> <laughs> I tried to stop that, to be honest. And, and did you? In the very first session, uh, K casts Sleep on a Collection of Cultists, at which point Throck, who you'll be in another stream at some point, okay. immediately murdered them in cold blood. <laughs> oh my god. Kyram and Wolfrid did help. Kay's like, oh, why? <laughs> yeah. Kay, that you gave us advantage. <laughs> it was. You, you, you gave the rose advantage in what? Auto crits, right? Because they're yeah. casted. Anyway, returning to roleplay. <laughs> yeah. So, tomorrow morning. Sound like a good plan. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's get some sleep. Yeah. You all still have two and a half minutes of roleplay. Oh, did you? Really? 
Thank okay. you. Uh, yeah, I was super worried. Yeah, I know, me too. So, uh, yeah, in terms of what information we actually need from them, um, just their internal power structure, what sort of powerful, you know, basically I just want to know why they're there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a forward base establishing a control of the region, I suppose, because they've been moving out of there to the Dekus Curai, but we cleared that out for the Southern Temple. Um, we cleared that out. Uh, for all they know, as far as I know, they could have been killed by wild animals. Or the orcs. That's or the, yeah, added, you know, their front. Yeah. Murdered. Yeah. Or the undead. Line so we're looking for information about any particularly powerful priests or something on the island, general numbers, plans spread, they plans. Have, what they might use your stature for if gotcha. they had your allegiance. Sure, sure. You just try not to ask super directly first thing hey, what do you do in these islands what do you intend for the daughter all that sort of stuff <laughs> they were persistent <laughs> Valentine's Day is I today <laughs> there's a six of you huddle close inside your hut on Valentine's <laughs> Eve <laughs> alright alright who's cuddling up to Acteon you <laughs> yeah like <laughs> <laughs> He you're the, the you're horns. The guy. Yeah. Wait, yeah. How, what, what size category is he? Uh, he's large, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, not no, he's large. Does not fit. All right, Actaeon yeah. just chills outside. It's literally. Rip Actaeon. Who's Actaeon fucking freeze to death? He's uh, like, no, 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 I know. <laughs> Actaeon can <laughs> only be murdered by a pack of dead dogs. You still have 45 seconds. What if I want to roll play with you? Will you roll play with <laughs> um, I can't speak with animals, so I can talk with Actaeon. Right. Right. I've been working on those songs. You want uh, yeah. Would you, do you actually? It's a, no, I don't. Actually, but I do have uh, them. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's yeah, you know, sorry, I don't when, much when you're working with a song, I, even you know, when you're talented with it, and it's very rough common translations in a language I don't understand to begin with, it can be a little difficult. But I also um, don't have much of an air for music. So there's also yeah, that. I kind of actually be on the I had to build a tune from, you know. Right. Top to bottom, um, you know, it's uh, but it's pretty close. Okay, all right, cool. It's definitely different. Right. Well, when I it's, like it. Once it's okay. fully finished, it's I'll, I'll play it for you. Sure, sure. Oh, hey, well, by the way, um, if, if you all need some credibility, I'm sure they saw Scornite fall out of the sky and form it into the cannon. <laughs> they probably did. Fair enough. Yeah, I can bring that up. Uh, we'll <coughs> some nice. Probably wouldn't mention the fact that you jumped off the cliff. No, that's that, way better. That's way better, actually. <laughs> I don't think you understand how things work here. We try and be as badass as possible. Hey, if, some, if somebody came up to you and said, yeah, we jumped off the cliff and killed that dragon while we were doing it, but they were still in front of you, pretty much whole and, um, and accounted for, them. would that yeah, be pretty I impressive? Definitely would not believe that. Yeah, it makes a hell of a story. Um, it makes a hell of a story, but not all stories are true. Look, look into me always. Do you think it did happen? I'm going to prepare Zone of Truth, you little bit. <laughs> <laughs> More in Iceland-ness. He doesn't care. <laughs> I'll Zone of Truth you right back. <laughs> True. You better tell the truth so hard. No, you. <laughs> Can you use Zone of Truth back? Does it just cancel out? And no. with those arguments descending into the night, so you are to sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Order at six fifteen. Do we want to break here? Um, How long are we going to go? Let me let me let me just just, just like roll over. I don't have. Um, so <laughs> as a uh, so, something's happening, guys. As, as the sun rises, uh, or rather, as it begins to rise. Good timing. You suddenly hear above you this ear splittingly loud. <laughs> Screech cool. as you see an enormous black bird fly overhead through the mountains. It is easily the size of one of these mountain peaks as it goes maybe a couple hundred feet ahead above you before it takes off and flies away. Yeah. However, with the ear splitting loud cre screech, there's suddenly a sudden rumbling, a shifting, a breaking as much of the mountainside begins to plummet down upon your hut. Lord. As it becomes barreling down on you. Any last minute actions? Yeah, you're still in the hut. Okay. Stay in the hut? What? 
Can you want to be buried? You want to be buried? <laughs> we'll work things out. Yeah, time is fly at fifth level. Okay. Um, um, everyone who doesn't yeah, have a dimension door. So himself, with on. Doesn't have dimension door. Uh, I do not have it. Can, oh shit. She yeah, can't allow well, so it. Yeah, you can take. You don't need it. I don't need it. So I'll take. Does this do the thing that it does? Wait, why do you under water? Does this do under snow? No. But it. Nope. Okay. So I'll I'll take. Uh, that seems. We're we'll, we'll on uh, more than I okay. will have fly. Okay. And I need all of you to. Say, everyone who's. Well, wait. Am I grabbing anyone? For you three, I need you to make me initiative checks right now like, to escape the veritable avalanche coming down upon you. What? Um, are we? Where are we? Just under the location. You were like in the bottom of one of these valleys, and both sides of the mountain are coming down on you. Who can't escape? I mean, I fly now, so. Uh, okay, initiative checks. Move on. Sixteen. I'm gonna 16. grab Crimson. Sixteen. And Sixteen. Dimension door, as well. You can't dimension door out of any of that. Oh, I can't. Oh. And what'd you get? Four. Yeah, so you two fly out with on and K oh, as you watch as this avalanche smashes down on the hut. I, I was running. You were running? Yeah, I dash and I misty step. That's not going to get you out of range. This is an avalanche. The entire mountainside is coming down. <laughs> oh, okay. You're welcome to run if you want to. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. Um, Today's so you all watch as Antaeus runs out of the hut and then blinks a few feet away as then the entirety of two mountains worth of snow smashes onto him. Nice. Um, it's snow? Yeah, it's snow. Okay. It's awesome. I just checked the water wall thing. It doesn't happen. And uh, so cool. with that, we will take a short break. We'll be back in about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh. See you then. So I don't shoot you up to the top of the snow? I commit. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly.
back to the stream. Thanks, Tom. When we last left our collective uh, adventurers, they were in a tiny hut on the mountain, in which when an enormous black bird flew overhead, screeched with an ear-splitting loud noise, and caused a large avalanche, which buried three of the party inside a tiny hut, and Teus managed to run out of the hut and then was suddenly buried by the snow. Vuvan and Kate managed to fly above the snow. Right now, let's see how much damage Anteus takes. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> Hope we can find you in a minute. Oh god. Okay. Uh, you think there's a chance? We cannot. <laughs> Alright, well, to start with, Anteus, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. That I can do. You have melt into stone prepared, right? Is it a fall? It's a fall. Uh, that'd be a 19. 19? Mm-hmm. No damage. <laughs> <laughs> You just start turning sideways and all the snow just becomes <laughs> a perfect circle around. It goes two dimensional against the wall. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's pulling out a lot of dice. <laughs> when you see Sam about. fail to hold back his yeah, green, right, you know it's going to be bad. <laughs> okay, oh, he's rolling them again. Sure That's is. a good sign. Oh, no. The avalanche is a great weapon. Oh, third time. <laughs> so, guys, D and D beyond. <laughs> So guys, uh, oh, any any so guesses on what? Oh, like, on the reg. Any any guesses on what uh, Caleb's new character is gonna be? Oh, the stag oh, is you? so dead. Oh yeah, the stag's very dead. Oh, super stag's dead. extremely dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, fifth time. Yeah. yeah. Anteus, you take uh, eighty-seven points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> does that insta kill you? No, no, right? I don't know. Does it? <laughs> yes. I'm fairly certain. You are it currently but... restrained and cannot breathe. Okay. That's cool. Oh boy. Okay. Um, right now, let's just let's everyone just roll initiative, just 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 to kind of. Should we keep our rolls from prior? Uh, no, because those are separate for today. Just everyone be rolling initiative, just so we can kind of keep track. Uh, let's get. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, no. You're above the snow. What are you I doing? I know, but I. That means I'm gonna be the one who's gotta cast some clutch spells. Right now. <laughs> Where's my board? One Three. Okay. Uh, move on. Initiative. Nineteen. Nineteen. And Teus. Oh, uh, six. Crimson. 12. Okay. 3. 3. Willivore? 22. Nice. Okay. And That's Morin. Good. I don't know what I'm going to do. 18. I'm... 18. Okay. Lavon, you said you were 19? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, okay. Viewers, you can't really see this right now. I have my DM screen and I put, these, I put these little index cards with info on the back of them on my DM screen so they can tell initiative order and I can see their charts and stuff. So you're going to get to see Sam's hairy knuckles up close and personal. Oh, yeah. Uh, top of the round, Willivore. Everything is entirely white around you. Oh, it's well lit. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's also toasty. Is there snow beneath us? It's snow, but it's snow underneath it. So, the, all about, it, it's just white. We can't see snow Solid in the snow. It's just snow that we can just see. Just snow. Okay. That's something. Um, so, what are the odds that if I leave this hut, it, or if I drop the hut, the snow falls, or it's an igloo? I don't know. Yeah, this I can't do much. Move on. You just saw like Anything, actually. most of two mountain sides worth of snow fall into the valley where you were camping. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do I have any indication of how deep the snow is? Probably like there were trees around, right? Yeah, you can see like tops of them sticking out. Tops of them. We're looking at like twenty-five to forty feet. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dead. Um, twenty-five to forty. feet. I'm assuming any amount of fire magic, like, it would take more than just, like, a, a burning hand would not melt a 15-foot coat of snow. It's really, like, it's real. It would probably take two burning hands. Would casting it at a higher level satisfy it? Sure. Do you have burning hands? It's also a dude. Is that fire or radiant damage? I believe specifically fire. Fire. Yeah, it's fire. Does not specify it's just burning hands. Cool. So, I'm assuming I basically just went straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will land, okay. I suppose. Sure. Uh, assuming the snow has more or less stopped shifting yeah. here. Yeah, more or less. Um, and, yeah, okay, let's make sure I'm reading this, reading this right. So a second level burning hands would successfully melt a 15 foot coat of snow. The snow would then like collapse on itself, but yeah. Like, if you're shooting straight down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it would, that would essentially just invert the cone, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Um, I will take the attack action, toss some sunbolts at the ground, and then as a bonus action, because that's the only way this ability works, okay. I will <laughs> spend <laughs> uh, I will spend three key points to cast a second level burning hands. Okay. Um, you cast it downwards and with a searing gout of flame, burn down 15 feet or so. Yup. <laughs> um, and then the snow just like shink inwards, and you sort of land gently in the middle of that if you want to, or you can just keep floating. Uh, I will float a little bit above where okay. I was standing. Okay. Uh, that brings two more in your turn. So I got one more of those. <laughs> <laughs> so the real timer is not, it's not the rounds that Antaeus lives, it's the one minute timer afterwards. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Sure. One minute? Yeah. What are you doing, Warren? <laughs> you can hold your initiative. Uh, yeah. I mean, we probably well, should I'll hold my initiative. Well, I'm already after Willow Warren. I'll just pass. Okay, Crimson. Crimson is going to use her bonus action to transform into a giant badger. Okay. Uh, did I see which direction Antaeus ran into? Was yeah, just a straight sure. way out? Yeah, it was It was, It was. was to your right line. Like, it should okay. Are you I'm just, I'm going to... Dash burrowing in that direction. Okay, what is your burrowing speed? 10 feet. You can okay. So I have to make it 20 feet. So you just start tearing into the snow, getting 20 feet deep into the snow. Nice misty yep. step and dash. dash. <laughs> okay. 90 feet, huh? Oh. Which brings us to Antaeus' turn. That's true. I don't do anything, do I? Yeah, you just mark one dip felt that's safe because you're suffocating. Oh, oh that's how that works? Shit. Well, when you're like actively suffocating. Oh. Well, actually, no, because you would still have your air that you had. Yeah. You didn't get knocked out from lack of air. Yeah, I'm sorry. So make a death saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Script. Twenty. If if you've been. There's two failed death saves oh, on Antaeus. Fuck. Oh shit. Caleb. <laughs> My performance is just subpar thus far. Damn. Well, because it's a decay. Your turn. You saw we want to fly down and begin burning a hole through the snow. I liked Antaeus. Yeah. I, uh, I did too. Me too. I just committed. So. I, cool. we, we have a, a pretty good idea of where the hut is underneath us, right? Yeah, yeah straight down. 15 foot diameter, right? Uh, 10 foot diameter. 10 foot for the hut? Yeah. Or 10 foot radius. 20 foot diameter. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so, K will kind of like fly sort of above uh, where Wivon is and just scream, get the hell out of the way! <laughs> I, I assume will, that's a prepared uh, fireball. Uh, I'll, I'll, no, I'll prep a wall of fire uh, in a ring. Okay. Around where the hut is, as soon as. So you want to like burn like straight down around the hut? Okay. Down, down. Sixty feet. Holy okay. Shit. No. 20 feet. What's the radius yeah, of the wall of fire? It's twenty feet. It's sixty feet long, twenty feet high. Wolf the radius fire. is the same as the hut. Wall fire can sink though. That's the idea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. So you're 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 Will or you're up. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Okay. Move on. Uh. You see I, black flyer sparking in Kay's hands. Yeah, I will move out of the way. <laughs> Just up. Uh, yeah, this fire's black. I guess to the side because I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's a fireball. I'm just gonna like fly laterally. Okay. okay. So just like starting up from the bottom where the snow is, just a, a black ring of flame just spins up. Okay. Around, um, and he's just holding concentration on it. Okay. It begins to burn through those twenty feet. Um, what's <clears throat> the thickness of the wall? The thickness is one foot two feet. <laughs> uh, so one foot, okay. So it begins burning. It, it burns, and it's taking you one point inside. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It begins burning, and you hear tss, of steam as the ice is being melted. This thing is burning. As it burns, it's gonna take maybe ten seconds for it to burn away this twenty foot column, and it'll start sinking. Okay. Two rounds. Um, uh, I still have a turn, right? Yeah. Um, I saw Antaeus book it. <laughs> Did you? I'm asking you. <laughs> I kind of feel like you probably didn't. Three of us. Just shooting yeah. straight There's upwards. No There's absolutely no way. Yeah, no <laughs> He's got real high perception, though, right? Don't you? 16. Passive. You heard so you probably saw Antaeus run. I don't know if you know which way he is. <laughs> How could I see him run without seeing which direction he's heading? You see him stand up as you stand up, and you fly upwards, and you see him book it out of the tent, and then you're flying straight upwards and spinning. Okay, actually, this... I, I know I know where the hut is. Mm -hmm. I know what direction the avalanche came from, right? It came from two sides, yeah. came from... We were between two ways. So, like, this. Uh, no, it's like front and back. And then you were in the middle, and so it fell from one side and the other. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably huh. didn't run into the castle. <laughs> Is the castle <laughs> on one side of us? Hmm? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, all right. Little do you know, and Dan is just seeing it. Hurl the side of the cliff. Sorry, I'm glad. That would actually. That would have been better. 
<laughs> would it have been better? I yes. could have bought them. So, yeah, someone would have been sure. able to. Sure. They weren't also buried under 50 feet of snow. That's true. Uh, anyways, Semantics. Um, I can't even dig successfully. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll just wait, I guess. Okay. Which brings us to Morin. I can't do I, I can't see any <coughs> melting snow or anything. Do I? No, there's just Did the stuff three that... of us see where he went? Yeah, you saw him run. Okay. Um, just the stuff that Crimson is busy tearing out all the way through. Oh, right. Sure. How much how much space has she made? I mean, Giant Badger is a medium creature. Yes. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's probably, you know, two or three feet across, and there's kind of, like, loose snow. Like, you're basically packing it more to the sides than yes, anything else. Yes, exactly. So there's kind of, like, loose snow behind her um, more than anything else, you know what I mean? But you could fit through there. It would probably be difficult terrain. Sure, but that's not enough space to cast Wall of Fire. Mm-mm. So, I'll just chill. Okay. Crimson, don't use up all our air. Crimson, you're up. Burrowing okay, so there's another 40 feet. Another 40. Yeah, okay. another 20 I was going to say it's 20, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, so I, you're I at 40 walk. total. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Crimson and Teus. <laughs> 18. Yeah, that's one success. Okay. All right, there's three more. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> Brings it to K. Your turn. Um, I'm just maintaining away. concentration on the wall of fire. Like, mm-hmm. Willing it to go day. down. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take an action to keep doing it, does it? No, I, I mean, mean you could just I, fireball as well. Anything else? I mean, it's it's there's no rule. It's going. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it continues to burn. You can see it's much of that inner ring is beginning to melt. Um. The inner shirt will sink down later. Uh, okay. Willbor. Pass. Uh. Wivon. Pass. Morin. I'll follow behind Crimson. Okay. Crawling through. Okay. So you're a giant badger, right? How big is? It's medium a medium badger. creature. Medium creature, so I can probably roughly dwarf size. Yeah, yeah, you can fit in there. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a tight fit. You'd be difficult terrain. So if you're dashing, maybe thirty feet through, which means you're ten feet behind her. Can't wait for this to be our first actual rocks fall. You die. Mm. It's so snow, not yeah. rocks. Sorry. Exactly. If there was a um, rock, we would have killed the Earth Genasi. She rocked in the rocks. Who breathes rock? Which brings it to Antaeus. Your turn. Come on. Nobody allowed it. Five. Shit. So that and Teos expired. Okay. Actually, this is this is fine. <laughs> yeah. This is like not that. Un- I mean, doesn't want people die with some fire. regularity yes, on the street. Yeah. Hey, bud. I am sixty feet away from where we think you might maybe be. I also just realized. Oh shit! I never actually specified that I dropped off the diamonds everywhere. Fuck! You have the diamonds. I'm holding them. <laughs> Fuck. Do you not have be? The, didn't you have one on you? No. He I gave them, gave them to me. I left in the wilderness because I didn't know I was coming back. That's actually completely fine. Just like 10 rounds. We <laughs> don't know how <laughs> deep the snow is. Can you yes. track your own rounds? Yeah, yeah it's okay. like 40, 50. Um, it's a minute. Was we'll take off the chart temporarily. Okay. Uh, same thing. Okay, so it burns down. You can see sinks down another layer. Um, when you say a layer, how, how, how much has it descended? 20 feet. 20 feet? Yeah, it's the width. Or the height, rather. Yeah. So it basically like burns out of column and sinks and starts burning. Yeah, so it has burned through 40 feet now? No, it's burned through 20 feet you and said, now it's sunk down to 40 feet. You said two rounds it would have gotten through. Yeah, you cast it, then it was one round, okay. and now the other round. I see. Right. If we get through any further because of the burning hands that I did initially, yeah, we can track uh, I guess it's there. It's a significantly smaller yeah. space, yeah. And a significantly weaker spell. <laughs> um, so that was K, which brings us to Willivore. Move on. Morin. I'll keep following behind Crimson. Okay. Uh, give her... You're what, 60 feet okay. through at this I'm point? 60 feet through. <clears throat> so you're going to keep digging, so it gets yep. you to 80, which brings it's it to K. Okay. Which means that's one round. Column continues to burn. Wait, what was that thing? <clears throat> what? What was that thing? Make a nature roll. <laughs> what was what thing? The, the bird. Oh, the bird. bird. I actually was, I wanted to ask that too. Uh, Did I recognize that'll it? That'll be roll your turn. 24. Um, that is a legendary creature known as a rock. It is an incredibly large, incredibly dangerous bird. The legends say that they were bred by giants, so giants could ride them to fight dragons. Oh, good. oh my god. Good. You don't say! <laughs> Which brings it to Willowboard, your turn. I mean, I was just going to check. I was just you can make a nature roll. Yeah, you know? Natural 20. Uh, yeah, this is a creature known as a rock. It's an incredibly large predatory bird. Typically black in coloration with an exceptionally long tail. Um, accounts dispute where they came from. Some say the gods made them. Some say that they were some kind of mutation gone wrong. The most prevailing theory is that giants bred them from giant eagles. So they could ride them around in Dragon Wars. And not from dragons. giant eagles. Yeah. Using Selective giant magic. <laughs> um, okay. Which brings it to Wivon, your turn. Which brings it to Morin, your turn. 
Which brings to Crimson, your turn. Continue dashing in the same direction. Well, 10 feet gets you 90 feet away, right? Well, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll dig in the same direction to see. Higher low. Knew that was coming. <laughs> low. She digs right through your chest. <laughs> low. As you dig through, you're like, okay, I feel like this is about where Antaeus was. You think to yourself and you're bad yourself, and yet there's no sign of Antaeus anywhere. Always high! <laughs> you still have an action. Yeah. Can I just dash and just start digging around in this area, like in like a circular area? Sure, in a way? yeah. You start digging and digging. Um, there's still no sign of Antaeus, because it's, I mean, it's radius. It's hard to find. Okay. Which brings it to K, your turn. Stop burning. Column <laughs> sinks down. Um, those of you still in the hut, namely Willivore, you can now start to see the snow melting around you and just in places, and you can, right on the edge of the hut, you can see the sort of like flickering column of flame that oh, disappears into the snow. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so sick. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's black fire looking at the edges. It's... Is it always black fire? Yeah. Really? That's okay, <laughs> Willow War. I'm nothing. Okay, brings to Wuhan. She brings to Morin. I'm gonna. Sending is. I think it's a minute casting. Oh, it's an action. It's an action. I'm gonna sending with on. Okay. Um, you have the diamonds. Which direction did we go from the hut? Right. Come right from the hut. You would know which it is. <laughs> sure. So they can just fly Maybe on the feet. Okay. There's a tunnel in the hut. All right. Okay. Which brings it to Crimson, your turn. Continue to just kind of dig around in the area. I'll use my dash to go and get as much as I as can. As you dash, you feel tink, one of your claws strike something metal. And you can see... It's my head. <laughs> so you look, the rock you, kill the you can see the tip of one of Antaeus' golden horns. Can I... Can I grab him to pull him out, or would I? Can it I would take him? an action. It would take an action. Okay, yeah. so I've already dashed. You so yeah. track it that's around. It. So Crimson fine. Morin, you can also now see the tip of this golden horn here down in the yeah, down in the snow. What do you want to do? I went before Crimson. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ascending to move on. Yeah. Okay. Um, your fire continues to burn. At the end of your next turn, it will have basically burned a giant, like twenty foot <clears throat> diameter or twenty foot radius, right? Yeah. Twenty foot radius. Or, like, no, no, it's it's there. Twenty foot diameter, <laughs> like just. Like sheer column down through the avalanche snow. Yes. Um, to fight through the rage fire. What do you What do you want to do? Anything? Does it look like if the fire were to go out, mm-hmm. if it would fill it again? Probably not. I mean, it might with time, but right now the snow is packed dense enough. It's okay. not going to. Okay, Willowor. Pass. Move on. I will go in the direction that Morin told me. Okay. Uh, I above the snow or down to the He the told you there was a hole yeah. in the hut. Yeah. I did tell you there was a tunnel in the hut. I was going to say, hold on, but what, you're asking above I'm asking where you're going. Yeah, you said above the snow or what? Or down th- through the column. Like, oh, 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 oh. Um, you know, because Kate just burned this huge column through the snow. I guess I didn't specify how far. At this point, how far am I above the, the column of fire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait about that. You have 180 feet of movement right now. If you yeah. Point. Holy shit. Uh, I will <laughs> through the through the oh, you can go, yeah, you can go through the side. hut. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see the tunnel. I assume. Make me an athletics check to smash through the oh, la- remaining so layers cool. of snow. Wolver's just in the middle. Sure. Of looking up. And all of a sudden, you see the bond just burst through. Athletics, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Don't you have your do you have your belt still? Oh, uh, that would be a 26. <laughs> I am in the nice. middle of the hut yeah. looking up. So as, as you look up, on. you see Wivon just anime smash through the ceiling. Yes. <laughs> anime just does a flying, or anime, Wivon just does a flying <laughs> kick all the way through. That's it. Smashes through and then just takes off down through this tunnel, rocketing after her. Go Wivon! <laughs> How much movement does that take? Uh, you, with 180 feet, you can easily get there. Yeah, yeah I'm asking past Does it take my way. action to dash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's difficult to run through the tunnel, and you know it's 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 distance. I pat a pouch on my side. <laughs> okay, which brings it to more in your turn. Uh, digging out this thing is going to take my action probably. From move on this pack, yeah. I don't know. I'll dig it out. <laughs> okay, so you fish a you fish a three hundred fifty gold. You could also hold the mission until after me, right? I've got to wait for you after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so to yeah, crimson your turn. I'm try and diamonds. pull Antaeus Just out. Just pull him out. Yep. Make me a strength check. Strength check. What's the strength of a giant badger? It's a plus one. It's 
better than my normal, so just regular strength, right? Mm -hmm. Or can I help her pull them out as my action? Sure, you oh, want I, I, I got the diamonds on my Yeah. Do, wait, do you grab the diamonds or do you help her? He grabbed the diamonds. You'll help me? Oh, okay. Because you're gonna you can just pass me the diamonds. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. so it's advantage then? Advantage, yeah. Easy. Oh, that's a six. <laughs> yeah, as you're pulling, there's just like a tink sound and you pull off Antaeus' golden helmet. Mm. But nothing that's else. That's all we need anyway. Yeah, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> you all just turn around. No more urgency. Oh, brings it to K. We got him. Turn. We got the cool thing. What? Which brings it to your turn, K. Um, how far is it to the bottom? Um, it's at the bottom. It's the ground level right now. So all this, it's just an empty column at the moment, right? I mean, there's still uh, snow on the hut, which is busy burning away. But at the end of your turn, it'll be gone. Okay, I'll just drop concentration at the end of my Do turn. we get air once that burns yeah. away? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be getting air already. Uh, okay, Wibble War. So, wildfire's gone. Right? Move on. Uh, I will attempt to pull Anteus out. Give me the diamonds, give me the diamonds. Oh, hang on a second. You would have had to go through the wall of fire to get them home. Oh, sure. that's true. Mm -hmm. That's five. So you just want to eat the damage? Yeah. <laughs> Is uh, that a deck save? Also, can no. you Not to go through the wall. creatures? Wow. Oh, right. You're mm -hmm. a creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's a big wall of flames. Just tank, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not one of those. Are you insinuating that you wouldn't take damage? <laughs> no. Use your, use your, um... See, as oh, a wow, that was horrible damage. Good. Uh, use your action to give me the next. What is that? Uh, 12 plus... And Tans, how many rounds do you have left? Uh, I have 30 18. seconds. Okay. We're only down about 18? five rounds 18. going on. Okay. Oh, we're fine. Nice. Uh, can we see his head? Can they see his head now? Because nope. they pull, oh. Just pull the helmet out and the snow <laughs> down. Oh. oh. Well, you can just... Which brings I mean, I, it to Wivon, your turn. Okay. Um, I will just bring more of the diamonds. Okay, which brings some more in your turn. What he's going to do? That's an action. To bring some actually to the diamonds. <laughs> it's his action, yeah. It wouldn't matter. That sucks. You're like a tight, like, this is like a three foot high hole. You're crawling on hands and knees. I'm four feet. I'm not. He's I'm not. not. <laughs> Crouching is fine. <laughs> I mean, um, he's only one foot. Shut the fuck up. That's my job. Can I, like, uh, I'll I have hold two my action until, or hold my initiative until after Crimson. Okay. Which brings to Crimson, your turn. I'm gonna use my movement to kind of dig around again to try and find Antaeus' body. Okay, you then... find the top of Antaeus' head in one of his arms. <laughs> That's all you need to be out. Just... I use my action to try and pull him out <laughs> again. Strength check. Strength check. <laughs> nice! Did you pull? God He's just damn pull. It. not moving. It's okay. Bring some so more in your turn. I will cast Revivify using one of the 300. What do you do? Crush the diamonds, just grab onto Atheus. Go back to us a lot. Make him eat it. <laughs> eat the diamonds. <laughs> He's there just, he'll love it. No, no, shut, yeah, I was gonna say, shut the diamonds. That's right. What do you do, Morris? <laughs> like, grab onto his arms, they come back to us a lot. Okay. As golden light tinged with flame pulses forth from Morin's hand, you can see shards of diamonds licking and dancing between the flames. It Brushes rushes along your body, body across your face, face across your arms, down your torso, across your legs. It does not smell. It does not. This is holy <laughs> flame, which is more light than it is fire. As it burns, Antaeus, you suddenly <gasps> take a sudden gasp of air, reawakened. Yeah, the, uh, the fissures on my face now once again glow with light. However, one thing that formerly once glowed no longer does. As you see, as Antaeus looks around and blinks, one of your eyelids doesn't close. As lodged where one of your eyes once was is a huge icicle. Uh, is your right eye is gone. That's fucking baller. We <laughs> 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 have fun here. <laughs> For reference. Uh... Do you want to explain the scar system? Yeah, so when you when you go unconscious in this game, uh, you get a scar. Usually it's something like a huge slash, or a puncture wound, or you know your veins turn strange colors from poison or something. When you die and then are resurrected, I mean, if you die, you just die. But if you die and then are resurrected, a lot of times it comes back to something a little more severe. Rain died on their very first mission ever, and lost a hand to a falling boulder. And Teus just died, and now comes back missing one eye. So, if you look on the wiki, or if you just ask us to describe ourselves in detail on Twitter or something, you can, uh... At me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can, you can tell, basically, how, how long an adventurer has been out here by the number of scars they have. I think Throck is in the lead, right? Oh, it's Throck's Throck's Throck has something in the range of 15 different scars of intense varieties. This was the first time Antaeus went down. Yes. This is also his second mission. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so... But I just think it's, like, first time going down, dead. Yep. Go hard or go home. 
So, Antagonist, you guys the wake, still <laughs> buried in the snow. One of your arms is free. You can tilt your head back and forth. Everything else is pinned in place. Okay. So you cannot can see, see out of one eye. You're in intense, see. profound pain and at one hit point. I can see everyone in the tunnel. Yeah, there's, More a, there's, or less, a, yeah. there's a giant badger like, on top of you. Can almost. I see kind of down the tunnel? Like, maybe... No. Like, what a thing to wake that up. I mean, like... Uh, can I... I'm just gonna... Lay on hands myself? Sure. Yeah, you reach your one hand around and just slash <laughs> up your head. <laughs> just like... Lay on chin and <laughs> <laughs> Jim. I'm doing all but one point. <laughs> At this point, we're more or less out of initiative. Um, as well. We'll bond with his incredible strength when we yank. <laughs> Make a strength check. Yes. I take it one of you is helping. Yeah, I'll, I'll help. Help and I'll guide. Is the same. The column of empty column of mm-hmm. fucking yeah. lacking That's snow. better, though. Um, uh, no snow is, like, plus moving plus. to fill that. It's just solid. There's a little blowing off the top, like powder. But it's, like, solid otherwise. Yeah. Okay. 20 total. Yeah, you, with a tremendous heave, you <laughs> force Antaeus out of this snowbank, landing him in this tunnel you have now. I just grab Antaeus. Your armor is dented him. and broken and cracked. But not dirty. <clears throat> but not dirty. <laughs> Still gleaming. <laughs> I can't fabricate that fixed, can I? Because it's a magical item. Correct. Where your eyes once was, is this ice cream sticking out a good three inches. Okay. You can bend it. Your, what color is your blood? Sam hates That is a good fucking color. question. Sam hates magic. I can't bend this. Hmm. Probably like um. You mean the cracks? Like a like a like a coppery <clears throat> orange. Yeah, this this coppery orange blood oozes out around Antaeus's eyes. You are battered and bruised. I mean, the the, the uh, hands cured a lot of that, but even still, you That's, are. Let's get out. There is no I sign of Acteon anywhere. I didn't know that. I could have been going a lot faster. Yep. So what do you all do? Crimson transforms back into herself out of her badger. Um, yeah, Kayla fly down with the. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A light on the ground. So it's worth referencing you have this 20 foot diameter with a white dome at the bottom, and then going upwards is basically a perfect 20 foot cylinder descending about 45, 50 feet into the air out onto the open sky. It is a sort of bluish white on the inside, extremely cold. I yeah. will okay, carry okay. people up to the top. Same. Okay. Um, yeah. How are you? He, he's still flying. Oh, you're still flying. That's right. Uh, yeah. Um, make me a couple of strength checks each. How many? Uh, there's three people need to be out, so one of you has to do two and one does one. Yeah, you fly. Who are you flying out first? Okay. Uh, it's a 19 on the die on one of them and a nine for the other. Yeah, you managed to, with a couple of false starts, hoist everyone out on top of the thoroughly avalanched in valley you find yourself when in. When the hut disappears, mm-hmm. does it stay like an eagle in the bottom? No, because the fire burned around it. Oh, right. All the way around. Right. Yeah, so I pull the icicle There's out. I sound. use the last point of lay on hands just to close the wound. And, Does anyone have a bandage? Yeah, yeah. Come here. <laughs> Vaughn's going to start administering bandages to... Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I just... Yeah. So you bandage on Tess's head? Basically. <sighs> just, <laughs> why did you do that? I, I panicked. Alright, next time don't run into the snow. You're okay. lucky we got to you in time. Or give it a Bear in mind, give it you a just toss. died. Yeah, no way. Life left your body. And, and people you... are guilting me. <laughs> Crimson. Crimson's gonna guilt you, yeah. yeah. Hey, 15 points yeah. of healing at like your wounds heal. Oh. At second level. Is it? Sorry. Oh, no. Do you want me to start patching up your armor? Can, if I can't get it perfect, but I can do something for you. No, you have done enough. All right, well, I'm going to start using mending to fix the cracks in his armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone know if Abos left his ersatz eye in his back? Not sure. I'll check the check. There's something gross about that. <laughs> you don't want his hand-me-down eye? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that eye was a hand-me-down when he got it. Uh, and we don't know worse. what was used to before. Does really? the concept of disinfectant exist? Not really. Yeah, fire. Like, cool. fire, fire yeah. On it, like. yeah, just pour alcohol. So, in the future, Anteus. <laughs> just let them be. I think he's figured it out. Don't draw into the avalanche. Yeah, come on. I nice. spent too much time in the uh, mountains. I didn't know if the, uh, the bubble could hold up. It stops most things. Almost everything. Listen, for now, let's get him warmed up. Come on. Uh, so we're... Ha- 
What is this terrain? You are in basically, uh, previously you were in a <coughs> valley with sort of sharp sides. Now, that valley has been filled in a good 40 or 50 feet, mm -hmm. and the tops of the trees stick out, and so you're basically in like rumbly, snowy terrain with huge sort of like chunks of ice and snow scattered this way and that. The sides of the mountain are now mostly bare. You can see the stone all the way up to the peaks. Um, the base of the valley has gone from being very sharp to now being sharp on one side, and then it's flat and curved. Mm -hmm. Does Antaeus have a warm clothes or no? What? Crimson hands. Yeah. And her bedroll. I think you. Well, actually, I mean, I have a bedroll, just not with my clothes. Okay, I'll give Antaeus his warm clothes then. Yeah. Thank you. They, they're a little big, they're a little small on me. Slough south, like a, a giant pelt. It was huge on him, so <laughs> okay. it's probably fine. <laughs> it's snug fit. <laughs> right. Do you have any more of those feathers? feathers? I have a high yeah. on him. I'm just a deer. Sorry. So, what do you all do? I have negative four to like everything for like four days, right? Um, not revivify, that's reasonable. Revivify is oh. pretty fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> remember, it's specifically meant to be a combat race. Then it's gotcha. negative four. Okay. In that case, fuck. Awesome. Let's just carry on after maybe a long rest. Within the last You were literally dead. Returned, like, this is Caleb. <laughs> this spell can't turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. No ill effects aside from Sam imposed ones. Mm. <laughs> I would also like to mention that uh, we also just woke up and this happened, so there's yeah. no, no yeah. long resting. Yeah, right. I know. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Let's sit just here and do nothing for 15 minutes of <laughs> um, We should at least short rest. That's cute. Take it. Do we want to get brief. ourselves out of this? Just to take a Valley or where I much. think it's safe now. Uh, where where to? This nose in the bottom of it. It's where to, though? It's safer now than it was before. 10 minutes ago. I how far, so how far into the snow do we sink? Hang on, hang on. Sorry. Brief question, or a yeah. brief comment. Does anyone know who Video Guy 895 is? That's my brother. Is? Says, man, be here for, been here for five minutes already, and a player dies. Connor, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> welcome to Sam's world. Welcome to our world. Let us share it with you. To be you. fair, the player's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Ooh. The DM, just an asshole. <laughs> Sam, the snow, the, the, where it came from, was just like the top. Of the ridge that we were in? Uh, so it was the sides in. of the mountain. There's no more snow on the sides. Like there's a little bit or here. Or like not enough yeah, to make but it. No. Enough to probably kill Antaeus. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Levon throws a snowball at you. <laughs> Do we want to just set up another hut and just chill for a while? Oh, think oh, 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 boy. I think Will is watching the stream right now. Is he just see a message in the chat. It says, if you have the stream open, don't look in the chat. There's a big spoiler there. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Because of the comment that just. Yeah. So, how. Now everyone's gonna go. How far into the snow do we sink with each like footstep? It varies. Uh, it, when you walk normally, it's you know an inch or two. In some cases, it goes shrunk all the way down to your waist. Can we cast the hut on this? You'd have to. You'd have to pack it down. But you could. All right, everyone, make snow angels. Well, Vaughn can't really do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make spend some time just packing it down. I look down at the ground. Right, Dante, you stuff. just you don't rest. We'll don't do anything. We'll handle this. Well, Levon's going to like continue to administer to Antaeus' wounds while the rest of you set up to continue resting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Given that he was just murdered uh, by snow, he's doing remarkably well. Many of his wounds are closed. Um, he seems in more or less okay mental health. One of his eyes is gone, but, you know, all things considered, he's doing pretty well. <laughs> hey, man, just think. You're going to get a bitch in eye patch. I can make you a pretty cool eye patch if you want. I'm gonna go look for food nearby. Maybe something less bland. I'd like to search for food while sure. I those packs down. Give me a foraging check. Okay, he's gonna try and track him. Okay, make me a tracking check. It's a It's a seven. It's a failure. Also, <laughs> Wait, I'll just trail him. Okay. Yeah. Several <laughs> minutes after Antaeus goes into the woods, you hear a loud crash and crunch of tree bark. I thought it was just gonna be a loud scream, just like. Morin's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna follow. So, Kay and Morin follow you, Antaeus. What do they find? They find uh, me, hammer in hand, and a large dent made in a nearby tree or stone, whatever was like sure. closer and out Top of sight. Of the tree. He's kind of breathing heavily. Oh, you're all right, bud. It wasn't a pleasant experience. See, you see that your arm's still doing well. Not quite. You want to talk about it? Not particularly. Sure. But thank you. If you ever do, it's part of what I do. Do you mind if we have a moment? Sure. Oh, you mean me and you? No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then that's the top. Well, 
black. <laughs> I don't mean to alarm you or hurt. I, I just want to ask you this while it's still fresh in your mind. What did you see? <laughs> of course. Giant dicks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Is this hell or heaven? I can't tell. Tangled lines. Gold. Beyond that, just darkness. Like, like the roots of a tree deep beneath the earth. Any beings or creatures? Anything? Voices? Thank you. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. Yes, I gotta find food. Good thing. So good. <laughs> you find no food. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Rub the salt in the wound a little bit more, man. You got a seven. <laughs> yeah, I know. What, the rabbits don't have pity on it? <laughs> Here, no, wow, you look like someone just died. <laughs> a life for a life. <laughs> we honor you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, did the snow level up from killing me? <laughs> like, is it ice now? You're only level five. It was a pretty intense blizzard, not really. <laughs> that was easily a CR 15 avalanche. I mean, nah. <laughs> no. It's like 87 damage or something like that. Did he succeed on that? He succeeded, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no he that didn't. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that I can, makes sense. I can read you the blurb, okay. which is uh, basically for each large object or larger that is falling. It's DC five plus the number of objects falling, oh, and you take one d six per object falling, and that was many objects. Oh boy! So was there any chance of him? So it was a DC twenty five. Oh my god! Oh, oh there was so, no chance. So it was the snow. You couldn't succeed on DC twenty five dex. On dex, no, I had plus two to dex. Oh, you don't have your auras yet. That's right. Of course. Oh, yeah, even then it would have only been a plus four. Would have even have maybe auto succeed that? Probably not. Why not? If he, because if he no, what possible reason could that be that, that, that wouldn't work? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you know any Bethesda game. He hits it really hard and just, <laughs> and just got rockets into the sky. Yeah, classic. So I think we we short rest, right? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you set up a hut. I'm rather yeah. low on spells. Have you insinuated <laughs> that either you should give me the problem of power so I have some Oh yeah, he more. didn't even attend to it. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so hey, it's currently hey, hey, more about ten thirty Friday morning. It took us an hour and a half to do that. Take an hour to get the hut set up and get snow packed down. Uh, this one, oh, yeah. Taz comes back. And... Okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Do I assume we finish our short ride, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. There's another avalanche. <laughs> Don't say those words. <laughs> There's a tsunami from the trap. You guys wake up from your rest, you look up, and you see this large, leathery creature flying above you. That's fine, we're cool with those guys. That sounds an <laughs> esoteric reference. <laughs> I will you attune to the spell power and then use it. Okay. <laughs> to one third level slot. Yep. No throw power. Yes. powerful. Good. Your favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Pearl. It's just totally not. Diamond You're better. ostracized by the rest of society. <laughs> For me, it's Emerald Platinum. What are we um? Agreed. What are we down to? Today. Does this change our plans? I mean, do we expect? I guess that's up to Antaeus, right? I, yeah. I mean, we could also tackle the other island today. Yeah, sure. That's how you feel. Like I want to hit something. That's what I was hoping to hear. Head down, scout out the Ash and Island. Mm-hmm. See how that goes. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> how do we want to get down? I assume oh, I'm going to make us all water walk and then we're going to jump. No good horn is gonna keep us from dying. How far up are we in the chasm? Like two thousand ish. Two thousand ish. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Uh, all right. We should probably hold hands when we jump up, just so we don't drift apart. Aye. Aye. Please make sure you get this off. Crimson, you you trust? Have I ever failed you more? No. I definitely really don't, but it doesn't seem like away. that's oh, taking anything here. We just could made. technically for the fall all the way down, but that's just not efficient. So. Compared to halves, yes, but not particularly. That's fair. I that's met just, you a week ago or so. I'd like to. Yeah, no, we're fine. Anyways. 
I like to think I made generally decent decisions. Probably better than halves. Well, I'm jumping. I trust him. I don't know whether I don't know whether that's like a, just a terrible, disrespectful nickname. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> You're this in character. Or? Yeah. <laughs> You're half elf, half man. Halves. Two of them. Sure. I mean, it makes sense logically. I'm just saying, like. I thought you had your shoes with half man, half something else. I tried calling him half elf man before, and he didn't understand it. It's also yeah. like pretty long, and there's no ring to it. Exactly. Halves at least has a ring to it, so I appreciate that. Um, Figured it fit better than just you half elf. Like have realization, okay. I don't want to. I don't want to offend you here, but remember when Cassandra was talking about the uh, stage name? Was that Cassandra? That's all yep. I'm gonna say. <laughs> yep. No, I know. I know. I know how bad my stage name was. The reason I go by Will right now. Anyway, are we jumping off this cliff or what? Will <laughs> Butter. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. that's generic. It's generic. It's not great, I know. Alright. Everyone fly. 10 minutes. We made it when I was 8. What do the rest of you do with these 10 minutes? Look nervous. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry, we cast the text Trust magic me. while we're waiting. Trust me. Okay. Will War is real capable. Will War is real capable. Will War is the one who let the banshee get out of the cave. I think she's gonna leave the cave anyways, but you, know, you can was... point fingers all you want, or we can go jump off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was trying. He was trying to deal with it just like all of us. He, he just got up from. got up from it and knocked out immediately. That was also a problem of player Sam not realizing the banshee room was right there. I thought there was more hallway. <laughs> anyway, we good? Okay. Sure. Everyone hold hands. I'm in the middle. So you all walk to the edge of the cliff holding hands. I guess hands. I'm at the end. <laughs> Crimson, <laughs> Crimson stance on the end. What? So you're as far away from a wall as possible? Okay. <laughs> she doesn't want to be near more than one other person. <laughs> so it's, it's Crimson. Who's next? I guess oh, probably. Crimson no, and Teus. Yes. <laughs> I would, I was just volunteering. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Crimson and Teus. K. Willivore? Yes. Morin. Wivon? You have to be on the left side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, <laughs> I literally can't. I don't have an option. All right. On the he's other. Only, he's only got one arm. You gotta hold on to him. Keep us all together. So we as long as the other side of the line. Just, just like that. <laughs> There's no shoulder You're here. You're gonna have to hold it's on. Just like it's like up it's there. Just, like, just on my neck. Just, yeah. You're gonna have to hold on a little better than that. <laughs> <laughs> she's, like, she's like on her toes say, pulling you downwards right now. Well, like stumped over a little bit. Like, Good enough. Right. Um, I suppose if it makes you comfortable. Just, all right, everyone. As long one, as we don't, you know, kill. Three. At one time. And you all leap off the side of the chasm. Oh! No more dragons! Fine. How, how far do you fall before you cast another fall? 500 feet from the ground. So the lots can 500 feet ish from the ground. 500 feet from the ground? Okay. So, so that we're means about 2,000 up. So about 2,000. Yeah. So that means you're falling for like 15 rounds? Yeah, about that. So we'll for one minute. <laughs> 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 so you all have a minute and a half of pure free fall. When. Oh, yeah. Are we all like falling like at the same or at the same level? Like we're not. More or, or less, yeah, you're okay, holding hands. I'm going to pull out my loop. I'm gonna start With what free hands? Well, make, make me a strength check. <laughs> it is strapped to me. I yeah, I know. It's your to lose it. Just, yeah. just to see if you can against the G forces. Point of order. Wavon has like. Oops, sorry. Just a straight yeah. strength check. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Uh, 15. Change it. Fix it. I started up. I kicked it by accident. Because um, I suck. Or was it on purpose? Yeah. To ruin the stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm here specifically to ruin Sam's dreams. <laughs> dreams or dreams? Both. <laughs> They're the same thing. Um, point of order, Levon has, like, locked his 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 right leg beneath his... Sure. Or, like, between... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. I don't want you to say, oh, your leg falls off in mid-fall, it's in the coast. Levon, your <laughs> other leg rips off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay. This is, like, like base and one more. Oh, it's just tight the whole time. Okay. Listen. 15. 15, yeah, so you, you pull it out and you like strum, it's super out of key, <laughs> super out of tune. Doppler like, effect is just, yeah. I'm sitting cross-legged while doing this, it's fine. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, um, like just roller coaster the like, entire time. Like, he's so live line. screaming. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Crimson? Hmm? Minute and a half of free fall? What are you doing? <laughs> she is... As she hears Willowvor start to play his loot, she is just staring you, you at You can't him. hear anything. It's just... I can't? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, then you see it, though. She is just fists clenched, just staring ahead of her, just waiting for something to happen. And Morin? Eyes closed. Talking <laughs> to himself in Celestial. <laughs> this is the fuck, This is the ultimate trust fall. <laughs> <laughs> trust fall where you die. So, I mean, Willowvor, now's the chance if you want to off any of these party members. Now is your opportunity. <laughs> Fucking yes. get rid of Crimson now. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Well, she is also, like, headlocking with on though, so that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> How old is Crimson again? Crimson is 16 years old. That's what I thought. She has so yeah. much to live for. <laughs> Can't kill a kid. Kill so kid. so yeah. as you reach the 500 foot mark, roughly, what do you do? Can I the fall on all of us? Okay. You all <laughs> <stand up. laughs> your, speed, <laughs> your speed roughly halves as you then spend the next minute or so much more. I mean, still falling quickly. It's still 60 feet per second. Yeah. Or 60 feet per but 10 feet per second. Gently. As as you, you land see. gently on the wall. As, As you can see, we all trust each other. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground. Thank you. Did you not have fun? Oh, that was, no. No, was so great. Is that what you consider fun? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, no. I love the graph of like what you think is fun, the longer you spend in the miles. <laughs> About as often as I want. When you dimension door, do you carry your velocity? No. Uh, so dimension door, Missy step, you do. Yeah. Okay. It, okay. Power, it depends on the power of the teleport circle. Missy step would still, um, but like dimension door and teleport circle wouldn't. Cool. Um, how far away is the island? Um, right now, it's about a mile away. Cool. How long is Waterwalk Walk last for now? Okay, cool. And you can just ritually cast it. Uh huh. We'll move at a fast pace. Okay. okay. Uh, as you as you all go at a brisk a brisk walk across the the top of this frigid water, um, you oh point of work. Uh, looking down underneath us, can I see perhaps a large green dragon corpse? No, you are miles away oh, yeah, from the bridge. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, you uh you walk for about fifteen minutes or so. Um, which point the edge of this comes into view. Uh, you can see now, um, from where you're looking at it, on the left side, uh, the island itself is a little raised. Like, there's sort of, like, sharp anywhere from 20 to 30 foot, sort of, like, cliffs rising up out of the water. And you can see they get a little higher the further you go around the left side from where you are. The right side, though, is low to the ground. Um, you can see along that right side where the cliff isn't, there's a uh, sort of a low stone wall that's been set. I mean, I say low. It's not actually that low. It is, um, but there's a stone... What? <laughs> <laughs> um, slow by God standards. Considering you just free fell fifteen hundred feet, it's pretty low. <laughs> sure. Uh, where sure. is my? Not a really good wall. basis for anything. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it looks low next to the like thousand feet high walls on either side. Yes. Of it. Um, uh, yeah. So these walls run about forty feet high. Um, it's even higher than my... Yeah. <laughs> you can see... Uh, you can see uh, probably every few hundred feet there are these towers that rise maybe 75 feet into the air. Okay. Um, All damage is 1d6 per 10 feet, right? Yes. Well, we're not. See, see that's, a wall, that's all that I can do a front flip off and take no damage. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> 40 feet. Five times level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I... Damn. If I, if I may... Mm-hmm. Um, like, were we able to see anything specific about the geography of the island? Like, um, make, a, make a retroactive perception. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Generous. It's just because it's only because the island is cool. It's a big five. Uh, no, you saw nothing. You're busy screaming and staring at your mask as it like yep. pushed itself up your face. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. No regrets. Um, okay. Do we get as we were falling? Oh, I might. And you can, so you can see there, like I said, there are towers set every few hundred feet, maybe anywhere from 500 to 1,000 feet along kind of the edge of the coastline. And even on the, uh, like the, the more cliffside part of it, where even where there aren't walls, there are still the towers set. Sure. Does it appear to go around the, the, the coastline of the entire island? It seems like from where you are, yeah. Okay. Uh, any entrances that you can see? Um, yes, actually, really close to where you are. You can see there's like a, like there's two of these towers set with a little archway between them, and you can see those sort of open gates. Um, you can actually see, like there's like a road set that goes like, Upward past where you can see it. Okay. Up Any magic in the immediate area? Um, <laughs> Since the tech magic is up. <laughs> no. <laughs> you probably, I don't know if your concentration would have lasted through hurtling downwards at high speeds. 
Huh? Oh, that does make a magic. Yeah, and he puts the MP concentration. Oh, yeah, no, it's not concentration. Yeah. Oh, this great. <laughs> sure, only concentration check. It's a 16. Yeah, you're fine. All right. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Welcome to our stream where we're talking about how good various third level spells are. <laughs> Accurate. Real good. So good. Out of spell? Real good. Shiny <laughs> Serpent? <laughs> oh boy. Now wait till you see the real star of the show. If you go trawling back through our taproom records, way in the distant past, there was a fight in which a rock took on a level one wizard. Not even <laughs> a large rock. In a Just a, like a rock. Yeah, in a fist fight and, and managed to win. Rock does have his own wiki entry. Does he really? Yeah. That's what he does. It's wrong with you, man. He's on the map. He's on the map. Oh yeah, that's right. Our compass rose. I like, I like. By the way, that we just talk to the, the chat as if it's like another person who's here. It's good to get into the habit, and your your various friends, like the various yeah, friends. Right. Right. I mean, and like Connor's watching. We know some people who are watching. Four friends watching. Connor's watching. Connor's I think Connor's watching. Connor's watching. Sam, you have four friends. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the question is, who at this table? I was gonna say, I have four total friends, including the people in this Discord. Uh, I, need, I have yet to spam my other D&D group channels, but hey, watch us on stream yet, but I will do that shortly. Okay. We've been here before. Yeah. When we can start a stream without no, having to fix Echo stuff, then we're set. We're we're set. set. Yeah. Good we're roll, watch, watch out. out. Yeah, totally. Okay, so what do you do? You're about to where I got the silver long. So do we see any signs of life on these Sure, walls? sure. Um, make a perception check. Oh, I guess that was it. 11. It's getting around. You can see there are like yeah. a few columns of smoke from some of these towers, which would suggest there are people there. Um, but not, you don't like explicitly see anybody like, walking down the walls or anything. What, um, what are the gates? Is there a gate? It, like, there's a gate arch. You can't see the gate from this distance. Okay. Like, it's open. But, um,. Like to walk closer and see what it is made of. How close do you want to get? Uh, as far away as I need to be to see how what it is made of. Okay, so you walk. <laughs> Kate walks in front of more detecting magic along the way. Okay, um, your 30 feet of magic detects minimal magic in this water. Oh. Um, <laughs> 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 I thought you were going to see the nervous. disintegration in the water. What? Hold on. Yeah. yeah. We've scattered this out before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. There, there was, was not much on it. There wasn't much that we could find. So I found a silver long sword or a silver short sword. There, there, there were, were there was the evidence. Island. We've been on this island. Well, there, there was, was evidence of a battle, battle. Like, like relatively large scale. Yeah. Smokes coming from the towers. I would assume they have some Wait, did we did we see smoke coming from this island? Did we? Yeah. You talking about right now? No, like when we were scouting it earlier. We don't see smoke coming right now anywhere on this island. Yeah, there are a bunch of smoke columns. Oh, there is. Numerous these on this island. Yeah. Is this the island that's covered? That it, or yeah. we probably there was nothing here. Yeah. There was nothing here when we were here before. The walls were here. The walls were here. The walls were here. Like the were structures, but like. Did you remember a giant spike? In the yeah. middle? Of, yeah. Oh. We, we walked there's, a, there's, there's a mirroring one on the island where the Sphinx is. Yep. Oh. This one has, I believe, a crescent moon around the base of the pole. Was the other one not sun? I think it was. Is that, that the sun or another crescent moon facing the opposite direction? I can't remember which. Was it on the Sphinx Island or was it on the active cultist island? I'm pretty sure it was Sphinx Island. Well, Agamemnon scouted it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I think it was on the, the cultist island. I think I remember. Yeah, because I asked that. I asked that. Sorry. I asked that exact question, uh, but Agamemnon didn't get close enough to see it. So it's definitely on the cultist island. Um. It's worth mentioning that as, as sort of the design ethos of the stream is that information as it exists is something of a commodity, as you can tell. I, unlike in many campaigns, don't supply information to my players from previous missions. They have to rely on their own their own abilities, their own Definitely means to do that. that what? <laughs> Where is the Just nearest, me. like how close is the nearest smoke call? Um, I mean, there's one of them above the gates, probably 500 feet away, unless you're walking closer with Kay more. Oh, okay. If they're walking closer, I'm going to... Okay, yeah. um, so you get, as you kind of step to the side, within maybe, you know, 350 feet or so, you can see kind of the interior of one of these gates. It looks like it's made of wood, but you can see cast in, like, gold or yellow is uh, an eight-pointed sunburst, like, half of it on this door. Maybe they expanded. Oh. I imagine they have. Yeah. Any alarms or anything around? Not this far. You're 350 feet away. Yeah, true. Let's go closer. Okay. 
As you all, are you all advancing? Yeah. Do we want to use, do we want to initiate plan lore and we'll all walk up first, or? Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to. Alright. I'll be directly behind. I'm going to start recasting water walk if we're staying out here. You're going to hunker down in the water. I mean, it's only been 15, 20 minutes since you've been out here. I mean, it's fine. Fair enough. Okay. You definitely can if you want to, but. Mm. We can just pull out the boat. So, you two are going forward? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Both for us. Yeah, I'll pass the boat over to Warren. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get to stay behind me. Okay, so these two are advancing, the rest of the four of you are hanging back. Mm-hmm. How far are the four of you staying back? Uh, like, we're like three minutes right now. I was yeah. going to say, give us a specific number. Yeah, we're from the shore. Like, yeah. <coughs> How, and you guys are just advancing. Yeah. So as the group gets within about 250 feet of the walls, oh. you uh, you hear a voice. <laughs> you hear a voice call out. Uh, the sound carrying loudly across the water. Alatanas, Rustin, Talaraskal. Do we recognize this language? Um, potentially, it's, it's, it's okay. it sounds somewhat familiar. In the same way that you might find it sounding somewhat familiar. Do we also hear it? Yeah, yeah, you will hear it. Awate. Nasty Nekoatas. Do you speak common? Bear in mind, you are 250 feet away. <gasps> Do you? <laughs> Do you speak common? Yell really loudly. As loud as I need to for it to carry that far. You can make constitution check. <laughs> <laughs> Well, breath I capacity. Have, I have friend. I have no breath capacity. More just old man. Herb squawks <laughs> out. <laughs> How far away are Willbor and I? Two hundred fifty feet away. Oh, ah, right. You guys, are you guys further back, or we're with you at this? I mean, they said they were going to two hundred feet, so you're all walking together. Right. I assume. Do you want me to? Talorastatal. I can translate. Yeah. Ruinaskal. K mutters something under his breath. Okay. You're burning a slot to comprehend language. No. Are you casting tongue? Yes. Okay. Um, so your voice came out. Respond, or we fire on you. No need to fire on us. Bear in mind you're 250 feet away. Puts his arms up like this. Okay. Do I see anybody? Yeah, you can see now in, in one of these towers, there's someone standing at the edge. Um, you can see glimpses of sort of yellow gold clothing. Uh, like a hood and robe kind of thing. Everyone, hands up. <laughs> I'll tell you, see your glow. Good, and now we all did things together. We continue walking forward until we get within shouting distance. Okay, which... so you're within about 100 feet? Yeah. We're still alive? Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> you can now see there are multiple people in, in both towers <coughs> with you know bows in hand. There's another one of these gold cl- gold clad figures in the other tower. Can I get a rough count of how many bows? Uh, maybe a dozen across the two towers. There's no need to fire on us. I'm taking the dodge action. <laughs> Who are you? Who are we? Do you want to ask them if they speak common? Because the blue lie. Are you willing to speak common? There's some kind of, you can see some look back and forth. Which tongue is that? Someone speak common. Uh, speak? this one. The, the common tongue. They respond in that same language. No. Please? Don't want no, don't push it. We don't speak your language, outsiders. Who are you? What do they say? Who are we? We can say, we're, we can say we're the Dauntless. We can say we're Wanderers. We call ourselves the Dauntless. We and bring individuals that you may be interested in meeting. Are these, like, can I tell these are Yarkin priests? Dressed in yellow and gold. Yeah, Their door is a big eight point sunburst on it. <laughs> That could okay. be anybody. <laughs> um, interest to us. Believe so. What sort of interest? I'm afraid that I'll need to know who I'm speaking with before I can answer that question. Some back and forth in the towers a little bit. You guys can all understand what he's saying. My oh. name 
is Varanus of the House of Sylph. Who are you? Wait, do we all have puns on us? No. No, we can no, understand, we, we can understand what you guys are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The House of Sylph? Sylph. Sylph? Sylph? Oh, shit. Sure. S I L T H. How would you spell that name? V A R. Varanus? Yes. Uh, Varanus is V E R E N U S. There was always an E. Sorry. What is your rank, Varanus of the House of Sylph? This is more back and forth. Sergeant Priest. Yes. <laughs> I am Mr. Doctor. <laughs> Military Church. <laughs> And are you the ranking officer on this island? I am the ranking officer of this guard post. Now, who in the hells are you? We are the Dauntless. You've said that. Who is that? You want to introduce ourselves? Mm. Can you understand us anyway? Uh, what's your name? Your name's Morin. Oh, that was just... What did he just say? Morin. Morin. You notice one of the guys, or one of the people up there, puts their bow away and you can see he's writing something down. Do I also see that? Yeah, you will see it. Hmm. With? <laughs> Zero trust? What are you saying? With. With. And the rest of you? With a whore. Willivor? Just give me their names. Who are they? Alexander. Willivor, Alexander. Scarlet. Scarlet. Willivor <laughs> 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 just punches her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What brings you to our island? Dauntless? As I stated previously, we bring well, huh? individuals that we may. You may be interested in me. What sort of individuals? Just Am I that. stepping forward? I step forward. I said that. This may mean nothing to you, but we have it on good faith that true followers of the Octo will find that these exalted individuals are very high value. <laughs> these two were exalted? Like the lost heroes of days past. Very same. There's guffaws from the top of the towers. Look, what do you want? Who are you? What are you here for? Frankly, we're going to ask you what exalted means. <laughs> Make a persuasion <laughs> rule. Alexander, Alexander gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say eighteen. Mm -hmm. I got a one. So. Nice. <laughs> Last time I used puns, it was to talk to a captured bug <laughs> When did you cap? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more discussion back and forth. Here's something yell between the two towers. Fine. Come towards the gates. And you can see a few figures start moving down the towers. Yeah. Walk forward. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you'll see Kay walking forward. You fall on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They're letting us inside. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think we should stick together. Of course. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so as you all enter, uh, these gates are about 20 feet high and about uh, maybe 40 feet across. Um, there's, a, there's, there's a little bit of land, like, you know, a ton, or a lip of land really outside the walls of this town. Um, as you step through, you can see that uh, on, there's, well, the first thing you see is there's a road, mostly dirt, but paved in places with some flagstones that runs like almost perfectly straight up kind of a, a gentle slope of this island towards the center where you can see in the distance, you know, maybe, what is that, like several thousand feet away with this, this large stone dome. The wall is made of stone, right? Yes. How recent does this road look? 
I'm super recent. Is there ash on it? No. Um, Interesting. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm really concerned. Uh, as you as you enter these gates, you can see now there are about um, down here about a dozen individuals. Uh, yeah, about a dozen. Uh, most of them are just dressed in sort of like basic leather armor, um, but they all all wear uh, yellow hoods. And then one of them walks forward dressed in the same leathers, but with this sort of ornate, like shimmering yellow gold cloak thrown over their shoulders with a hood as well. Okay. Kate uh, is walking between these two who he has pushed up slightly in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> these are my boys! Are the kids? Do you speak Celestial in Celestial? The one with the, with the, golden, with the big golden hood. For spies. I do, yes. Boy, it seems to happen a lot more often lately. It would appear that there is something of a language barrier preventing the rest of our party from communicating with yours. It would indeed. Is this something that you're interested in rectifying? Or would you prefer that I continue to translate unilaterally? How would you rectify it? Celestial. Hmm? Anyone speak Celestial? Nope. I do. I mean, you do right now. Yeah. So, at least three of us. Are they used? No. Uh, what were you speaking, Elvish, right? Elvish, yeah. Very few of my troops do speak Celestial Library, so I'll continue speaking in our tongue. And Elvish, I'll say Elvish. This guy looks pretty human. You can see a few of the people there, like perk up their heads and look at you, but the leader doesn't. So, what do you want? As I said, we bring two individuals who we. You mentioned. You claim to be exalted, like no one has been in hundreds of years. What do you want? We want to know what this title could mean for these individuals what use they could be to you, perhaps come to an understanding. In the stories, in the legends, and in the scripture, the exalted are they who are allowed to enter Monarchia, the city of the gods, to ascend with it, and to reach heaven. And uh, what reason would for, for what reason would uh, an individual be exalted? Typically for performing great service in the eyes of the eyes of the gods. Hmm. Is there any uh, method by which we might uh, acquire proof of their status? Not that I'm aware of. You're the one who claims to. Sure. I'm just, probably I mean, you obviously that. don't. You don't probably should prove to us that. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, what are they saying? Um, exalted are uh, allowed to enter monarchy. Yeah, yeah allowed to enter monarchy and yeah. uh, haven't been exalted for hundreds of years. <coughs> Do you have any way to prove it? Say again? Do you have any way to prove it? Um, From what I recall, the Sphinx just said true followers of Yakto would be able to tell, I think. That's pretty much what she said. Uh, I mean, I don't. I guess looking at Kay, because I can't talk to this dude, yeah. we. Went to the island nearby. Uh, there were some guardians outside. We beat them. There were some water creatures and water further in. We beat creatures. them. Then there was the ghost guy with this giant statue. We beat him. And then we fought the Sphinx, who took us to what I'm assuming is the elemental plane of fire. Uh, we beat her. And she took us back, and she said that oh, you're exalted now. There was a giant ziggurat in the basement of a temple that looked like it was torn open by something. They encountered a giant ziggurat in a place that appeared as though it was torn open by something, vanquished many foes on the way. Where? Uh, up north, I believe. In an island. Not too far. Not too far from here, actually. They fought a sphinx. What was it called? The Herald? The Herald? A harbinger. Harbinger. Call itself Har a harbinger. Can I ring a bell? It also mentioned that true followers of Yakta would be able to know implicitly whether exalted or truly exalted. Okay. You want to take that? Guys. Dab on him. Dab on him so hard you knocked the lamp over. 
Great. Uh, <coughs> in my own, my own, where's my, where's my, my dogs crashed on me, and so I have to <laughs> find my dungeon again. Sam, about the immersion broken. <laughs> my verisimilitude, Sam. It's pronounced verisimilitude. There's another I in there, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Is verisimilitude? Very similarness. <laughs> Very simulation, my dude. You just fingered Very the similar, camera. too. Yeah. That, that was this. I was doing this dumb. <laughs> you do. That's what I'm trying to do. In, you saw, you went to the, the island in the Odia. I didn't. They did. That's why I suggested that we remove the language barrier. Make a persuasion roll. 17. You need to speak with the high priestess. Follow me. He turns and he's just walking up the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't know what he said. He, he, he starts following. Um, okay, turns to. Well, where, where is that Sam? It's on my back, dude. I'm going to cast invisibility, attempt to totally cast invisibility on my staff, the staff of the pythons. You want to cast invisibility on your staff? On the staff. Okay. I mean, there are people watching. Like, how long is that? I would not be able to. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. How long is it? How long? Uh, it's just an how hour. long does it last? An hour? an hour. Okay. Wait till we're out of the view of everyone. We can okay. either ditch it or cast it. I'm not going to ditch it, but I'll cast it. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep a watch and tally of how many people I see. Okay. Um, I'm getting to that in a second. Um, so as you walk, the 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 first sort of roughly several hundred feet on your left side are just sort of like forests and rocky terrain covered in snow. We're going to talk to High Priest by the way. On your right side, you can see it's covered in snow right now, but you can actually see like like sort of thin winding trails and low stone walls and sort of like buildings here and there. Like this is pretty clearly like farmland on this island. Um, on the right side. Oh god, there's right, so I want to be doing <laughs> any end of civilization is shocking. I want to be doing two things. Okay. One, keeping track of how far we're going. Okay. Hopefully, as far best okay. as I can. Um, or at least the distance to the wall. Sure. Basically. Uh, and two, I want to be on the lookout for like any moment where no one it's, looks like they're looking at me. But Okay. I mean, you're walking with a bunch of guards. Oh, I mean, they're staying with us yeah. the whole way? Yeah, okay. a pack of about a dozen of them. Then that won't matter um, for now. So after I said, about the initial 500 feet, on your left side, you can see there's another road that kind of like diverges and goes down. And you can see now on your left side, the right side is still all sort of like arable farmland. But on your left side, you start seeing there are like buildings here and there. Like they look like houses and kind of like workshop spaces. And occasionally you see like a small like church looking building and like other, just, just like basically spaces you hear like. Just to be clear, mm-hmm. this is the island that we've been referring to as the Ash Island, right? <laughs> I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is an island floor. Like, further to in the direction that oh. I assume we're traveling? Probably yeah. Um, I mean, you can't really... Well, yeah, you can see from here. If you look out to your right side, you can see... Because because you're rising, you can see in the distance, like, to your... Um, okay. <laughs> to two o'clock, there is, like, a sort of another island in the distance. Does it look like there's... It's, it's like, white and snowy. It's like white and snowy. I didn't really mention any of this. Oh, probably not going to tell you. So, we're on the wrong island. How the hell did that happen? Fucking, I don't know. We're just planning on walking straight to that island. Oh, yeah. Avalanche, maybe? Right. Sam, can we see any other yeah, islands around other than the one that is closest to us? Um, no, there's this one and there's that one tier two o'clock or so. Can we see the bridge? Yeah, you can see it. I mean, it's way the distance. It's probably, you know, like five to seven miles away and way up in the air, but you can totally see it. Is to which direction? Okay. To your left. What? Okay, we're on right and the, the other island you mentioned is between the right. It's between the right, yeah, it's like your two o'clock or so. We are on the air. Uh, yeah, not that. Actually. How the fuck are they? I didn't realize that as soon as you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Cool. Like, and we saw the EF cool. teams? Uh, well, sure, but I thought they would, like, expand. What yeah, same time. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you... It's just... It, went, it goes back to one phrase that we said that was like, okay, how far away is the island? And then, like, we didn't specify which island, so Sam said, a mile away. And we're like, we'll go there. And yeah. it's that. Uh, rip. Anyway, yeah. let's go. Um, <laughs> fuck. Hi. <laughs> I, I don't know what you guys want from me. <laughs> you asked, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. That's, you did yeah, watch we did. us make a plan. <laughs> to specifically go to the Ash Island. And then you jumped off a cliff. 
Sure. And then, I mean, and then Antares died, and then there was an avalanche, and you jumped off a cliff, and then you landed, and that was the close island that was right there. It was the close island. <laughs> Resting. Oh, we're here now. We we're, we're going yep. to anyway. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Um. Yeah, so you, uh... Sorry. Sucks. Sorry. No, you guys fine. can just fucking bail if you want to. No, this is no, fine. That would go well. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, so as you look on the other side, like I said, there are sort of like, there are houses and buildings and workshops and smithies and, you know, furriers and all kinds of things scattered around. You can see there are probably, you know, several dozen people, if not more, walking kind of in between the buildings in and around. There are only people in the fields right now, because it's wintertime, but there are definitely people around. You can hear, you know, people talking and laughter and the clang of hammers and, you know, sawing of wood and people yelling at their kids and fighting with each other. You know, like, it's, it's, on your left side, it's pretty much like a normal town-ish, um, um if I could gauge, like, based on, we saw how big this island was, mm -hmm. and we see how densely populated this area is, can we gauge how many people live here? Make an intelligence roll. Uh, that'll be a 23. Um, so if, you know, looking at this part of the island... I Assuming that side, they're probably going to have areas that are less populated. Or more populated. You would, I mean, if it depends how much this island is like this part. I mean, because the right side is... That it, very sparse, sure. and then your left side is, you know, mostly sort of not quite urban, but definitely villages. Yeah. Um, you would guess anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred okay. people. Go them all. Easy. <laughs> what is that? One fireball? Just, yeah. get them all, just get them all on a boat. You mostly yeah. cops. Yeah, we can kill all of the kids. Wait, this isn't Skyrim rules. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Crimson is actually just out of her invulnerability phase. <laughs> There's one of the many reasons that I make her to be at least 16. <laughs> um, so kids are on things. You remember in the last campaign when I burned down a village with children inside, covered in the plague? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, remember that time you made my niece get eaten by a demon? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not understanding. Uh, anyway. Peter, she wasn't her like seven weeks. She was an hour. We should, we should yeah. get moving. We have an hour left. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like um, so you, you keep walking up the uh, up, up this main road. Um, it goes for, let me do some quick math based on my, on my squares. Quick maths. Quick maths. It's two. about 3,500 feet or so <laughs> um, from the entrance up this road to this large central stone dome. As you keep going, um, as you go, you notice there are increasingly large numbers of guards around. Many of them are the same for dressing leather with the yellow hoods, but many of them you see are more armored. Some stand on rooftops carrying longbows. Some are dressed in sort of heavy iron and steel, laced with gold. Um, she is very carefully looking for any hint of recognition of any of the people that are watching us okay. pass by. Okay. Um, yeah. So it takes you. I mean, it takes you a good probably ten minutes to walk up this road or so. Um, until eventually you reach this enormous stone dome in the center of the island. Um, you can see, now as you get closer to it, um, the building's a little nicer and more bright. Hey, shut up for a second. Um, <coughs> the buildings here get nicer and you can actually tell from this high point that there are eight roads that run out in a, in a loose sort of like spokes of a wheel kind of thing out from so this. So we're in Rome. Yeah, like, around. <coughs> Um, so. As you also reach the top of this, you can see that while there are buildings clustered around the center of this, really only about a quarter of this island is like farmland, and probably only an eighth of it or so is like inhabited, and the rest of it is a lot of sort of like scraggly rocks and trees and other sort of like more wilderness space. Sure. While we're walking mm -hmm. to the guy who's leading us, mm -hmm. how long have y'all been here? Hundreds of years. This is okay. one of the furthest colonies that ever went to the west or to the east. You want to make that roll? Sure. Fuck. <laughs> Three. Um, it's hard to get a read on this dude. Like, probably. Sure. It seems right to you, but... Yeah. He has no reason why about that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. The goblins in the tower also said that they were hungry gears. So. That's true. So, but they were... They were! Those were heroes! <laughs> <laughs> those are the last people who were exalted. Yeah, those are the last people. <laughs> um... As you reach this, this door uh, to this large sort of central stone temple, you can see that the door itself has been plated in places between the chair off, it has been plated clearly in gold and has that same eight-pointed sunburst motif decorated into it. Um, at this point, Varanus stops and looks at you. 
Inside is our temple. It is among the holiest of sites outside of Monarchia. You will treat it with respect, as you just talked to the high priestess, and you will treat her with an equal degree of respect. What did you just say? You seem pretty serious about it. We're entering what they would consider a, a Halib site, and we should do the same. Okay. We'll consider it as such. Real quick, could you ask what are the bounds of respectful? Because that changes. Are there any specific customs or traditions that we should abide by that we may not Do not to speak go? unless spoken to. Listen to the high priestess when she speaks. Do not be rude, unkind, dismissive, vulgar, irreverent. Will she take issue with my method of communication? She shouldn't, but she might. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? Then open the gates. And as he says that, the uh, the two gates swing inward. Um, as the doors open, uh, I'll just describe it all once. This dome is nearly 500 feet across. It is enormous, and it rises 250 feet into the air. The interior of the inside of the dome is plated with gold as well. You can see inscriptions and images of cities being built, individuals fighting, lands being ruined and raised and built and destroyed. You can see that there are just intricate design, clearly like an insane amount of work has gone into this enormous dome. Um, the ground is tiled, it's not gold, it's just the same stone, but it is illuminated by hundreds of yellow, white glowstones set into the ceiling of this dome as well, rendering the entire space this sort of radiant, glowing aura. In the center, the exact center beneath the apex of the dome, is an enormous statue. It sits on a base that is easily 40 feet across and depicts a statue nearly 100 feet tall of an individual standing there, gold as well. They are elegant and smooth and perfect. They dress in a flowing robe. In one hand, they raise a fist clenched in victory and in the other, an enormous executioner's sword. The only imperfection is their face, which bears an enormous slash across the entirety of it. You can hear the faint chanting, singing, vocalizations of unseen priests and priestesses. As you enter a little further into the dome, you can see them. They're on the edges oftentimes in alcoves and nooks, offering prayers and chants. You can pick out some of the words. They're speaking of redemption, of grace, of glory, of exaltation, of ascension, of singing praises and honors to their god. Um, it's sometimes in this sort of tongue they speak, sometimes it's a celestial, sometimes it's in other ones. You know, you pick out bits of elven or of sylvan here and there. You also make out primordial occasionally. It's, it's a mixture of languages, mostly just celestial and, and then their common tongue. Um, so, did he shut the doors behind us? No, the doors are still open. He's um, standing in the door? Yeah, and you can also see now there are eight other sets of these enormous doors around the edge of this dome. Leading all straight into yeah. the walls of the Perhaps. Uh, glowstones set into the ceiling. Perhaps in the form of an eight pointed star. <gasps> it's almost like they have very simple imagery. <laughs> Who designed this motif? <laughs> um, you can see on your left side, uh, there is there is uh, a doorway as well, but sort of slightly offset from it is, is a. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, sort of an, a. Like there's a, a building kind of built within the dome. It looks like it's inside the building. Yeah. Does that dome have a building in it? <laughs> Who knows? Um, this one's about forty feet by sixty feet or so. You can see a much smaller set of double doors. You can see there are more priests and priestesses kind of coming in and out. It's like some kind of you know rectory or something. Um, there are probably only about two dozen people in this building as a whole right now, but you could easily fit thousands in here. Sure. Um, Does it look like it's fitted to house thousands of people? Like, are there? There are no chairs. Right. Um, it's just this big so open dome. The people that are chanting, do they, how are they situated? They're situated, like I said, in those sort of alcoves and nooks oh, okay. around. Sure, sure. Um, a few people cross the main floor, but it's not many. Okay. Um, so there's like pathway with nooks around the outside of the dome? Or? Uh, no, on the inside of the dome, there are kind well, of like these alcoves. Inside, but the outside yes. Yes. of the circle yeah. that is encompassed by the dome. Yes. Um, Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, you now... Shit, I'm the wrong doctor. <laughs> um, you can now see uh, coming towards you is a fairly hunched figure moving at 
what would be slightly termed a, 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 a light walk, which really basically like a shuffle. <laughs> An individual just, well, sorry? she well dressed? If she is, her thing. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to tell who this person is underneath the copious amounts of gold and white and yellow robes uh, they wear. What's up? Shit's gonna go way south. Um, uh, Halo, quickly, quickly, as she approaches with her. <laughs> um, dressed in like multi layered, you can see easily like three different layers worth of like white on yellow and then on gold on top. Um, robes with these sort of ornate like epaulettes and long sort of trains and, and, and sort of flowing robes of glittering gold and silver and gems set all this way. Um, as this image walks, you can see now actually underneath, you get a little bit underneath the hood, it's just a really old woman. Um, looks to be human probably. Um, she is flanked on either side by two. Very tall individuals, easily the size of Throck, uh, dressed in sort of steel armor, inset. <laughs> One Throck is tall. I mean, you know, that's like a person who's like 6'6, six, six, you know. Six, but if there were two people, were, if, t if two Throcks were playing here, they'd be like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not Dragon Slayers. Like, well, that's, what dragons, think so. So. that's what you think. Um, they're dressed in plate set with. With uh, gold inlaid in the armor, they carry shields in one hand and they carry uh, swords in the other. Um, they flank her on the other side. As she approaches, she kind of like waves a hand and you see Veneris turns and walks away. Okay. She walks up to you and then she reaches back and pulls back her three hoods at once. Um, she's wearing a small, like it's not even a crown really, it's like a... Pope hat. No, it's, <laughs> it's more like a halo that's like a fixed okay. of, of a circle. Diamond? Within, within... Doesn't diamond go in front? Yeah. This yeah. one's more like in the back. Mm -hmm. um, she was wearing a backwards. Yeah, snapback tiara. Yeah. Um, uh, with, with the similar sort of eight pointed sunburst reading on it. almost gives her like a halo that she's wearing at all times. Hey, hold the thumbs. Okay. It's awesome. It's <laughs> she looks at you and says in sort of stuttering comment, Greetings. Welcome to the Orisol. Spell that please, Sam? O R I S O L. Ortisol. O-R-I-S-O-L. Ortisol. Who did he even know? Is she older looking? Yeah, she's super old. Like, she looks like she, like, honestly might be 100. Like, super old. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's true. My name is Lauren. I am the High Priestess. Pleasure to meet you. I'd like to use a divine sense to first check if this place is consecrated or desecrated. You think it it's, might be one of those? <laughs> it's <laughs> well, like, how how a one hundred foot long statue of a god. How interesting would it be if it was desecrated or consecrated? Um, and I'd also just like to you know, just use the sense against okay. people. Um, nothing. No consecration. No consecration. Oh, uh, uh, I'm dead. Fucking do it. How funny would it be though if like phony ass? It's like paragons aren't gods. So so desecrated is. I mean, you don't have to be a god to, to consecrate the place, but yeah. yeah desecrated is like you get a look of something awful. What if what if consecrated is you just get the smell of like chlorine from a pool? <laughs> just like oh. Do any of you watch the Good Place? Yeah. 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 So there's a great one of the Good Place where they. The good place is heaven, and and uh, or not quite heaven, but it's close it's to it. It's a good place. Yeah, it's a good place. Um, after you yeah. die, and there's a character who like gets to the good place, and he's like, and he's a, he's a he's a moral philosopher, and he's greatly greatly vexed by all kinds of moral and ethical issues. He's like, he's, it smells like absolute moral truth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So she looks at you. What are the rest of your names? My name is Willowar. Willowar. Alexander. <laughs> looks at you. Scarlet. Looks at you. Uh, call me Wiv, and I, I would like to say first off, thank you for for the courtesy of speaking in common. Gotta say, I get lunch in the dust by these guys a lot. Common? That's what we call it. Ah, no, this tongue was the tongue of yesterdays. From the far lands to the east. Oh, yeah. Is that where you are from? Originally, you. It has been many, many years since we have seen Asterix. We hate him. <laughs> what brings you to my temple? Did they not explain 
anything or they wiggly said you were <laughs> the term is is exalted yes exalted mm. yep. do you what does that mean to you the word exalted uh, to be exalted is to, to be made in the ranks of heroes of the ancients of legend They are, they are named after the greatest hero among mortals, Lucia. She who smoked down lies. Lucia? Lucia? Lucia. 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 Smoked down lies and destroyed false gods. The exalted follow in her wake. You, uh, you paused a bit when you said exalted. Do you? Do you actually believe? Or I did you? not know the word in your tongue. Oh, okay. Understand that. But I am not certain if you truly are exalted. Can you not tell? There's no aura about us or anything? No. But I have never seen an exalted before, so I am not certain. That's okay. Uh, would you know of a sphinx named the Harbinger? Would that help lend any credence to what we're saying? She's just going to blink three times. In some of the stories, there is a winged beast that comes to the exalted, yes. But normally that is atop a mountain, after the heroes seek enlightenment. Well, she was on top of a ziggurat we found underground, and then she took us to the elemental plane of fire? It was a test. We went yeah. through a series of tests. Trial of fire sort of thing. We passed. That does not sound like... What a servant of our god would do. What would a servant of your god do? Come to one of the mountaintop after you have been seeking enlightenment. Metaphorical. Things, things change over hundreds and hundreds of years. <coughs> our god can only be found in the greatest of places. Like this one. Are the greatest of places only giant mountaintops? Most often, yes. Sometimes, however, they are great golden domes. We were, uh, we were under the impression that... I mean, I obviously mean no offense. This is all very, very impressive. Um, it is, yes. We were under the impression that the Sphinx told us uh, this much, and pardon me if I'm overstepping any bounds, please. Uh, but we were under the impression that... Uh, Things are kind of fractured. Perhaps the war with the Iron Murderers did cause some problems to the kingdom, but it is still intact. As you can see, we have built a life for ourselves on this island. We are the furthest colony west. No, shit. Yeah. I was going to say, hold say, on. Like, the furthest colony east. <laughs> <laughs> We're the furthest colony east. And we sent out some settlers some months ago, I'm sure, are already finding success on Orientas. Why are you laughing? Oh, no, I'm not laughing in character. Okay. <laughs> Levon knows better than that. I'm sorry, it's just too funny. Does Levon have the self-control to not laugh? Yeah. What's this one, though? Like 16? 16? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. So, there's larger settlements out west? Of course. Cool. Golden Kingdom encompasses thousands and thousands of souls, all serving our great lord. Is that past these isles themselves? Is it past west, past the set of isles around here? Like, Far west, or is it in the Odia or, or beyond? Like obviously beyond um, the Verano, um or Captensum, if that's what you refer to it as. Um, you call it by a name from the old days. Jeez. We've heard a few Why things. Does... <laughs> as you pointed out yourself, we're not from here. You may regret to. And yet one of the exalted. Or so he claims to be, would use the name of the old heretical demons. 
strange. I'll be honest, I am pretty ignorant on that fact. I don't know the meaning behind it. I've only used it a few times. Seems you now realize why we approach you in such a manner. I do not know. We wish to learn of our indiscretions and purge them. Make a persuasion roll. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> what, what, why would you expect anything from like that kind of being I was going to say purge, but like. What'd you roll? I didn't get it. I didn't roll it yet, but I, do I get anything extra from that being like. No, you're making a protection roll because he fucked up. Oh, he fucked up. Okay. Good, good to know. 16? It's not terrible. <laughs> Were you not. Purified in the light of exaltation? These are questions we hoped you would be able to answer for us. Actually, so you, your knowledge of exaltation in, insofar as it exists is from stories, mostly? From scripture. Scripture, okay. Um, we were also kind of confused at the lack of uh, ceremony, I guess. Um, was there no ceremony? Well... It was really just a fight. Challenges. She brought us back. She healed us. us back, healed us. Told us about the That does role. not sound right. When Seva was exalted, she had gold placed into her soul, and her eyes became gilded. And she was blessed for 30 days and 30 nights. None of that happened to you. Not as far as I'm aware. No. But we were told about what I guess is the, what would you call it, the responsibility of the exalted? The responsibility, the reward. Which you mentioned that uh, that Lucia, she led the people who um, destroyed false gods, right? Yes. That was kind of heavily implied, or I guess outright stated, right? Outright stated. Yeah. Along with a tremendous amount of information on how to accomplish that goal. Yeah. Are you certain it was a servant of our god who you spoke to? It sounds to me more and more as though you were misled. Entirely possible. I'm trying to remember the There's a symbol on the shrine. We've been struggling to find our place uh, in the files. Perhaps because you are less delayed. Hey, we're not entirely sure. We're in a good trust. You may trust in our Lord. Our God is a good one. Or, uh, is there any, I mean, what to you would be the marker of someone who's exalted? Eyes made of pure gold, a shining light above their heads, hmm. heralds of angels, and fire, power unmatched. Power unmatched. The blessing of our God himself. Wait, what? The exalted are clear. I mean, uh, what? I mean, like, I can do this. I'll like summon a sub bolt, so to speak. Um, hmm. Could you do that before you were exalted? It's been growing. But, but you yeah. Could. I mean, since I've been exalted, my skill has skyrocketed in mostly magical ways, arcane ways, but I couldn't tell you if it was from the exaltation. It seemed to be some form of catalyst, though. Hmm. The old woman kind of looks down, rubs the wrinkled cheek. I am sorry to say this, but it seems as though you were misled. Whatever beast you spoke to could not have been a true servant of our Lord. Our god does not deceive, but false beasts often do. I'm very sorry to tell you this. What would a beast have to have gained from lying to us? I cannot say. There are those who wish us ill, and I cannot fathom why. Our cause is a just one, a right one. Question. Yes. The, sta the statue's really a sword, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the name of the sword? Great blade humility. Cool. And the spear mercy. 
Yes. And the... Oh, so Mercy was wielded by a traitor, however. I'm aware. And they have a resolve and the axe clarity. The resolve was claimed by Lucia. She earned it. And the shield necessity and the flail compassion and the bow tranquility? All of those are weapons of traitorous gods. We're aware. Yes. Is that they, information they have that the you The ability think you can to bring down the traitorous gods, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry? They have the ability to bring down the traitorous gods. Yeah. Traitorous gods can be brought down with true faith as well. But is that information that we would have? I am not sure. Oh, and also Serenity. Yeah. That is the blade. Yeah, the broken one. From the fell liar. They who is untruth may know. The traitorous gods were mostly god of the dead and the mad? What? No. The traitors were the unreasoned liar. The inflamed. The the ill speaker. All all turned against our god. There is only really one god left on our side, the side of justice. Fittingly, it is they of justice who serve to our god. What if you are wrong? What if you are wrong about their exaltation? Would you turn them away? Do you mean if, if they are exalted? Yes. I mean, it's along the line quite simple, stories. though. They are not. Perhaps along the line the stories were exaggerated. No, that's not correct. I have studied scripture for many years, young knight, and I can say with certainty that in the scriptures, truth can be found. I am very sorry to tell you, but you are not exalted. But you may still find a way after you die for your soul to be sent to the heavenly planes. Do not worry. Our God shall guide you if you are righteous and just. You mentioned your cause. What is it? To pursue greatness, justice, peace, prosperity, happiness. Do you recall the falling of the great beast called Skoranag? That was the dragon that dwelt on the bridge to the north, yes? Correct. Mm-hmm. Was. I uh, remember that, yes. Would you say that slaying such a beast might be a feat worthy of those you call exalted? It certainly could be, yes. What if I told you that we were responsible for that feat? Then I would commend you. For slaying evil beasts is truly the work of our god. Would that perhaps cause, be any cause for reconsideration on your estimation of these two? No, the scriptures are quite clear. Those who are exalted are well known. Okay, so <coughs> would you mind clearing up some misconceptions for us then, just to make sure that we weren't yes. particularly misled? So, Sphinx told us that just to for the basis of the conflict. Yes. Uh, some gods betrayed the others. Uh, yes. The god of lies, one you mentioned. Yes. Uh, accused Yakto. Yes. I, I can. I, I don't need to be in, in any. Pardon me. I, I mean no disrespect. It was better if you did not say the name of our god. Okay. But that's that's why I wanted to make sure. Uh, what should we call them? Great Lord, the Golden God, cool. the Lord of Sunlight. Um, so accused the Octo or sorry sorry Lord of Sunlight um, of murdering some other gods right that was the accusation that's the accusation. wrong yeah yeah, yeah yeah of course of course that's the accusation though um, which, of course sorry. which gods uh, were they accused of slaying one whose name has been lost that is the main reason why we know it is false So, your lord refuted, of course. Of course. Justice and summer and all that. Uh, war, the war began. The kind god was killed? Yes. Turned yeah. into all those weapons we just talked about? They were slain and their body was broken, yes. Okay. Vitric echoes. 
uh, Yakto won. Or, yes. Sorry, Lord of Sunlight won. Okay. But sure, you don't need no disrespect. Golden Lord, as well as the mm. Day of Justice. Okay, Golden Lord. I'm sorry? Okay. Mm. What was that? Nothing. All right. Uh, the Golden Lord then uh, tried to ascend. Did ascend. Did ascend. Yes. Okay. We were, mm, that conflicts with what we were told. You were likely deceived. Okay. So then, the Golden Lord wasn't cursed by the dead in the mat. No. No. The Golden Lord is always ascendant and radiant and true. Okay. So you have to sure. the Golden Lord. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's all right. I understand you were trying. That is what matters. Appreciate it. Um, didn't fall, wasn't wounded. Was wounded in the battle with the unreason, yes. With the scar. scar. Yes. The blemish upon our Lord's perfection. Well, I don't know what to call it blemish. It's very kind of you to say. Well, perfection's not, well... What is perfection aside from being the best that you can be? Perfection is perfection. To be perfect in every way. Just as our God is. Does that remind me? What are we surrounded by right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> crossbows just everywhere. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, so she's got her two, like, armored knight people with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, the throwing um, guys. Oh, and then the there's the, the giant, you know, statue, and then there's a bunch of people, like, walking around in the, in the various cloisters and such. And there's a few other people around. And then there are all the doors that are open. How tough do those uh, armored guys look? Pretty serious. Okay. You're just gonna murk an old lady? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Implying that she would just be murked outright. That's some artificial shit. Implying that she doesn't have uh, a ninth level counter spell in the hand. Right, because I just counter the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> she She's got super levels. shield, plus 15 AC. <laughs> so, so then, in, in the scripture, what's the task oh, of the assault? So to deal with any remnants <laughs> of rebellion, rebellious God. Okay, that, that tracks with what we were told. Um, but nothing specifically to do with the Echoes. No, many of them were weapons of false gods. And thus should only be destroyed. But should be destroyed. I believe so, yes. Scripture's not clear on that? The scriptures... The time of prophecy ended some hundreds of years ago. Mm-hmm. And the exalted primarily were... During that time and after, as the scriptures were being finished, the last exalted died nearly 200 years ago, and the scriptures end nearly 200 before that. Huh. I have a question. If you yes, of course. Where is the, uh, the nearest bastion that you can uh, name uh, of the uh, iron murderers, as you so call them? Perhaps. They have been destroyed. There are a few rebels left hiding in the mountains. I do not know where they are, but they will be destroyed in time. Do not worry. This certainly alleviates my concerns. I'm glad to hear it. Considering this was all misunderstanding, I suppose we should be on our way. We certainly would not like to stay. We could use strong, talented young minds such as yourselves. Before. Building up the land, doing the work of our God. Can I just roll? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Get a creepy culty vibe. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that's not twenty, so twenty-two. Jesus. <laughs> um, nice. You get the sense that while super cult-like, um, she is entirely genuine. Okay. So that wasn't like a euphemism for completely sacrificing us. No, no, no. That's like you're all. You all seem quite talented and able. Would we be better off out in the world, killing fellow beasts such as the dragon? Perhaps, but perhaps there's something you need fetching for. As you said, it would yourself be uh, strong. Maybe we can do a favor beyond your walls. Um, I cannot say. We are quite prosperous here. Perhaps if you were to run any of those strands of rebels of the dead gods left to eliminate them, or to bring them into the light of the of, of our Lord, I 
you call this? Uh, sorry, I didn't go. No, 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 go ahead. Uh, what do you call this settlement? This, this yeah. is the Sun's Bounty. Sun's Bounty. Good name. Good name. You would ask nothing of us? No, we are quite content. Our Lord provides and protects. Do you know of the flies on the island in your way? The actual one? It is a cursed island, I am afraid. Spirits haunt there. Spirits of dead, dying rebels, whose souls have nowhere to go, having served false gods. What false gods? The unreasoned, the liar, the inflamed. Hmm. The destructive man. Do you have a name for the Sorry, what was the second to last one? Destructive. 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 Hold. Um. I never heard that. Name, there is no given name, but the name that some call it to match ours is the Moon's Folly. What's, what's the deal with the, the matching spires with the bowls on top? They are a relic from when the Twin Kingdoms were united before the rebellion. They were signals. You would light the flame and you could send messages. They have not been used in hundreds of years. You would light the flame on top of them? Yes, and then you would... I believe, I believe if, 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 if the ancient documents are to be believed, that you would then um, hide or mute or, or, or temporarily banish the flames and they would return and the messages conveyed could travel long distances that way. Mm-hmm. Twin Kingdom. Have I heard of anything like that for methods of communication? Signal fires definitely exist. Okay. I mean, <laughs> specifically, like, like, I know that that's not what Morse code is. Any analog that exists? You would know. Smoke signals are a super common way of communicating. Sure. Um, you would know that. The Empire uses those too. Yeah. Smoke signals and signal fires are common. Okay. Have you heard of the Twin Kingdoms before? Signal fires. Oh. Okay. Um. I have one final question before yes. I leave to go. Uh, since, of course, we seem to be on good terms and we are um, going to go our way, I was wondering if you could uh, help us. We heard tale of uh, among two islands uh, in the chasm, one which holds a vault and the other which holds a key. Have you heard anything of the like? No, I cannot say. There are a few old tunnels beneath this island, but we use them for our priestly dormitories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go. That'll be a ten. A ten? Um, it's a little hard to get a read, but it seems pretty right to you. No, I mean, she's only she doesn't have much reason to lie. She's holding a traitor down there. All right, one more question. Are you ready to die? <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. Are we free to move out the uh, sun's down while we're here? Um, I, I suppose so. My the guards may be a little wary of you. Fair enough. May we convey Why? to them that we have your blessing to do so? What, what would you like to do? Very interested in what just... What would you like to do? Observe the goings on. This is the first hint of civilization that we've seen since coming here. Yeah, everything, everything else is true. The ruins. You must have missed our, uh, our colonists. I'm sorry to hear that. They would have been most welcome. Where did they set up? On Orientas, somewhere in the south, I believe. Ah, uh, we're far in the north. Or, well, not far, but further. I understand. Flashback to like. I'm pretty sure Wolfred fucking curb stomped that. All curb stomped. You mean Wolfred? Like, he literally, was literally, literally curb yes. stomped one. Yeah. <laughs> with, his, with his metal foot? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess where the wolf cake came. Holy fuck. <laughs> so, for reference, there's a character who was, who was, now, who was murdered by a dragon uh, named Wolfred. He was an incredibly old, incorrigible dwarf uh, with an iron foot. That wolf foot is... Wolf kick. Once, wolf kick, sorry. Once we, once we reach... Uh, it, when slash if we manage to get our own subscription button, uh, we'll be adding a bunch of emotes, one of which will be wolf kick, which is his iron foot just kicking forward with tremendous force. 
Um, but yeah, he used he used the wolf kick in a number of different ways. But most famously, was curb stopping cultists in a temple. <laughs> Jesus. Were they like hostile to you when you showed up? Yeah, well, yeah, no, they were. No, they, yes, no, they were. They, no, 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 we, no, we they walked weren't. up the stairs and like, get them! And that was granted because we had just entered their home. <laughs> <laughs> they did initiate yeah. violence. That was, a, that, was a, that was a pretty standard bacon and eggs on our part. Oh <laughs> they were dead orcs. They were undead. Uh, they had sealed the doors. <laughs> we busted them down. <laughs> we're entirely in the right. So, <laughs> so is you literally kick down the door to these people's house, so put them to sleep. Yep. And no, they attacked us first. No, 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 they didn't. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, they they attacked us. Then you put them to sleep. Then we murdered that part. I first I was trying to defuse the situation, but <laughs> beside the point, we're here now. By us after past. we invaded their home. <laughs> All right, we should we also should not stay here. First mission, we encountered the good guys, murdered them, and we've been wandering around looking for the good guys since. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we're we're the good guys. Guys. Uh, no, we were definitely. Obviously, the we're um, the good guys. Yeah, what would possibly make you think we are? We're definitely <laughs> like white people. Like, are we the baddies? <laughs> yeah, essentially. That's this campaign in. in We've got skulls on our helmets. <laughs> that was like our reaction to the end of the last campaign, too. So I'm like, are we evil? <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, so what, what did she say to the, the, my, my proposition? Uh, be able to move freely about... Oh, something? she... What, what, what would you like to do? What would you like to see? Um, just, frankly, the, the, the going on, specifically. Like, Why don't I send one of my, my priests with you? They can show you around. A turf. That'd be, that'd be great. Thank you. I'm uh, sure she'd be up to go get this in there. There's a lot to learn here. I disagree. I think the font of knowledge here is, is lovely woman here. And we've learned everything we've come here to learn. If I might offer some men counsel, Alexander is, is right. We are a simple folk. I do not have any secrets. In the gold plated 250 foot tall dome! <laughs> simple folk! Statue of the gods! <laughs> simple! Which eventually we're gonna pull down with the hill. Here's how much more. Yeah, why not right now? Yeah, it's my T Rex. This is priestess uh, right now. It is more for his honest work. <laughs> We're his humble gold farmers. <laughs> they've also been, they've also been, I don't know, coming on shore. We can always come back. Where did you get all of this gold? Some of it we mined, some of it was sent to us. Not much here, no, in, in years past when we first settled here. Mm, I see. Um, anyway. How far, how far to the west is, like, is the nearest other, other settlement? Um... Prosperum, I believe it's something. Pros- Prosperum. Prosperum. Yes. Yes. That's where the city that Medallia thought her thing was supposed to be at is. Where? <laughs> she was gonna say that. <laughs> um, it's something like 15 miles to the west of here, I think. It is on the plains of Captensum in the hills. That's not far at all. Oh! What? <laughs> this bitch. Why is it? Why is it ahead of him? Okay, sure. It's, it's probably a very reclaimed city. We've been near there. Is there a great road? Yes, the northbound road. From a time when the twin kingdoms were still together. Ah, mm. uh, that makes sense. We were, we assume based off the hexagonal shape of the road that it was the mm. Iron Kingdom. It may have been built by them, but do not fret. It is our road. Sure. They have no capacity to build anymore, only destroy. That's a That's Dwarf Farm. Yeah, it's it's Dwarf Farm. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what we do? It's a pretty big industry. I couldn't possibly see how. Well, I think uh, I think we've all been sleeping enough. Yeah. Unless you have anything else to ask of us, I believe we'll take our leave. 
go with the sun's blessing. Okay. She walks over and touches each one of you on the forehead very slowly, very gently. Except for Lauren. Lauren, she walks over and <laughs> False god! <laughs> <laughs> False god! She's got a wooden spoon. More so for clerics. That's, that's on my shield. shield. Oh, no, no. The wooden spoon. Yeah, that's a nice. That's he has extra 48 to false gods. Yeah. <laughs> 48? 48, 48 damage? Yes. Better than disintegrate. Okay. So what do you all do? I heard me leave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just the same way you can. Is she waiting for yeah. us to turn around and leave? Like a little bit. Uh, she moves pretty slowly. She just turns and waits and smiles at you. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay just prize a panel. Just prize a panel off the roof. She's like, Jesus. <laughs> I don't want her to be looking at Wolvor's back. <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. So We're you all start walking out. Yep. Okay. Um, Kate puts his helmet back on. Just at the same door you came? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Puts his helmet back on, and as we're leaving, cast Detect Thoughts. On who? Like, Passing. facing away just, from them. Just the area? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are a bunch of people. Specifically around. focusing. Um, yeah, so from, from... Are there any thoughts of hostility is what I'm looking for? There definitely is, like, distrust and, like, cynicism from the guards um, who are, like, still seriously sketched about you, but it's a lot of just, like general contentedness like this kind kind of like we're just happy to be here helping out but well, I can't stand I'll keep it up until we're out of range um, okay. to ensure that they're not gonna like shoot us in the back I can <laughs> check gigantic dick out of their statue no. <laughs> <laughs> make, 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 make it so that so that yeah, oh my God. God. just hold them off for 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> worth it how's that for a blemish <laughs> Ali, you look so displeased. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. That's fair. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we, we, we exit. Yeah, and you walk down that road, the same road again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you take... Really yeah, there are a few guys still walking with you. Cool. Um, Any... Are we turning heads? I mean, yeah, some people are looking at you. We are a hot-looking group. Of course we're turning their heads. Okay, it's just going to fucking stare people down. Like, yeah, so you, like, like, a lot of people like, look at you and I'm like, oh god. Keep yeah. like, turning <laughs> I wave at people. Okay, some of them like wave back uncertainly at you. <laughs> um, for about ten minutes, you reach the kind of shore where you came from. What do you do? Are we going to the ash? Oh, well, well, <laughs> yes, let's go. How long did that say? That whole thing? Six days. An hour? Fuck. <laughs> Tongue wears off. <laughs> I will read that. So you hunker down. All the one of the guards kind of like is like. Kadesta nasta. Kadesta nasta. I'm gonna. One of them switches just like broken elvish. What? Uh, you do. We need to walk on the water. What? Well, we need to leave somehow. No water cart? Uh, just say no. No. <laughs> what? 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 Mm, imagine I. Uh, you, there's, some, there's some discussion back and forth, and one of them comes forward and says in Dwarvish, what magic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowing oh. us to walk on the water. Walk water? I. Kind of nasty, but that's the last time. Okay, a storm coming. Um, is there any water nearby? You're on the coast. I'm on the coast. Oh, yeah, I just like walk out into the waves, deadpan. There's a lot of like, oh. I turn around and. Like real freaky magic shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so I let you do that for 10 minutes. All did this. <laughs> and then you all just step out on the coast? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so at this point, it's probably about. Um, it's almost noon at this point. Yeah. Other island. Alan, how much so, longer do you have? Uh, I need to leave like in five minutes. Yeah. So okay. If yeah. we're going to the other island, I'm dipping out. So okay. we can play Crimson if you want. Okay. Well, uh, we can. We A can rock just... swoops down, <laughs> picks up Crimson, flies her back to the last. Roger, no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I can leave my character sheet and shit here. If someone can just give me a rundown. Uh, of just send me a photo of it. We can do it together. All right. All right I can just look at you tomorrow in class. 
Yeah, that's yes, true. Exactly. Also true. Yeah, so I like I'm fine leaving all my shit if you like. Well, I'll take my way. books obviously, but I can leave my character. Either way, whatever. Yeah, I think we can dance too. Yeah, you can also just post it in off topic. I think we could just figure it out from there. Yeah, true. Either way, whatever. Just make sure you write your dead next to her level before you post it in off topic. True. True. <laughs> yeah, make sure you draw a big like light X. Just over like. Over. We failed that saves. Oh, exactly. Just, just yes. casually just. Yes. That would be sick. That would be sick. Just zero hit points, three failed death saves. No, I got myself at like negative four hit points. Just to be like, oh, I took like 37 <laughs> points of damage. Like. And Crimson, you have no health. Yeah. I mean, I can turn into like bears and shit. But <laughs> That's true. Like, effectively, I have like over 100 hit points. It's basically but, rage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Totally. Alright, so. Yeah, yeah, if someone can just give me a rundown of what happened yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Absolutely not. Can you just watch this thing to work? I mean, I can try, but <laughs> actually, I'm in beverage today, so I'm in the cooler. No one checks on me, so I could probably. There you go. First of being in beverage. Can you use this time to go to the bathroom? Yeah, we here. We'll call a five minute break right now. Okay. Go away. Switch this over to Shin, and we all use the bathroom.
and welcome back. Uh, this is the Western Isle stream. We took a temporary break. Unfortunately, our friend Allie, who plays Crimson, the Tiefling Druid, we got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> she had to go to work. Tom, you can't just do that to me. <laughs> and so we are down her. The session should be ending in not too long, ideally. Um, we'll be sort of Jaegering, playing as as Crimson for the time being, as a collective. I'm pretty sure we can come up with her general angst and anger between us, one way or another. I think. Oh yeah, we handle the Druid spells. We as a collective, I think we can. Alright, I, I got it. Cast Goodberry, eat one, throw the rest away. Cast move, move Moonbeam? Sideways! We're gonna have to explain that joke sometimes. Garbage. It's garbage. I, I feel like it explains it. Oh, here's the explanation. It's We're all incredibly yeah. unfunny people. So, uh, the party is currently on the yeah. Island of Sun's Bounty. Um, if you're speaking with a collection of Yachtin cultists, a sort of golden, semi deific being, depending on who you ask. Um, and uh, the party now has water walked themselves. They're inside the great chasm between two islands, and is now doing something. What are you guys doing? We are walking the other island. Walking to the Ash Island that we are. Totally okay. Working. Also known as Moon's Folly. 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 Yeah. Folly. It it's sometimes Moon's, Moon's Folly. It takes you the better part of an hour or so um, to cross the water here. Uh, you're sort of following along the edge of the bounty as you go. Um, at the end of that hour or so, to this point, it's about one one thirty in the afternoon. You reach the shores, snowy, um, in places you can see. The water here is tinged a little bit gray, gray-white, with sort of ash in the water. And you can see, while the snow is piled high and the narrow trees are equally snowy and frozen, any trunks of these trees are still blackened and charred. And if you dig down in the snow, you can find a fine layer of gritty, flaky, white-gray ash. In the center of the island, you can even see from here, is this large silver spike rising about 50 feet in the air. Um, uh, it's probably 10 feet in diameter, maybe. Um, this island is less than a mile across. It's not far. Are you headed towards it, or what are you doing? Quick question, quick question, real quick. Yeah. Does the teleportation amulet reset tomorrow or the day after? Tomorrow, tomorrow or the day. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Today, in-game, by the way, is Friday, the 15th of February. Our game is tracked in sort of quasi-real time. Um, Except yeah. it's 12-19 uh, instead of 2018. Uh, it's 2019, right? I know. 12-19. I said I literally said twelve nineteen and then two thousand eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> I hate okay. it. So what do you all do? Um, so we set foot on the island. We don't plug. Yep. I'm cool. looking for water. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is no water. You're standing there. Um, uh, just approach the center spike. That's the only obvious line for yeah. yeah. As you work away, these trees. Some of them are more like just trunks. Some of them still have some of their branches. Most of them, though, are basically like thin. Blackened spikes coming up out of the ground. Many of their branches have been burned off, um, blackened and charred and cracked and split open. Is there still a fire in the bowl? Not that you can see. Okay. There's. She said that there were spirits here. I was going to say, do I see if there are any here? So <laughs> last one, right? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I only used one today. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to. Well, should, should I wait until we get closer? I thought we were at the base at the time. Are we at the base? You're 100 feet away. Is it a single use thing, or is it a continuous? I can only do so once more today. Let's, Let's just get up to the base. Spike. Okay. So you advance well, forward to the base of the spike. It's made out of, as you get closer, it's not actually silver. It's sort of a, a various alloys of metal. Um, but it gives it sort of this silvery steel color. Um, as you get closer, you can actually tell the spike, it's a, it's a little, like it's not quite a perfect cone. It's a little bent towards one side. Like one side is m very close to straight, the other is more angled. <clears throat> at the top of it, you can see it's probably a few feet across is this metal bolt made of the same material. Um, at the top of the spike, like I said, the spike rises about 50 feet in the air above, above the tree, or 50 feet in the air, which is above the tree line. Um, base of it, and you can also tell now from the base of it, it's actually made out of like multiple sheets of metal put together. Like it's not quite one contiguous form. Would I recognize this now? Yeah, you would. You're a smith. Um, this is an alloy of three different metals. It's an alloy of iron and steel, and then also silver, and then also diamond iridium. That's four metals. Oh. Well, well, iron, steel, steel is... An, is iron, an alloy of iron, yeah. so... Steel, silver, and diamond iridium. Diamond iridium yeah. being anti-magic metal. Steel what? Steel, silver, and diamond iridium. Uh, now that we are close, I would like to use my divine sense. It's okay. 60 foot radius. As you, as, you, uh, as you inhale deeply... There are no sense you can pick up of undead or fiends or fae. I look at the like. Or celestial, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I look like at the ground. Can I see any of the ash? Um, if you move the snow away, you can. Here, though, the ah. snow is piled fairly high. Okay. It doesn't seem like anything under the ground is shifting. Not particularly, no. Um, 
Kay, do you want to maybe check for trapdoors, anything nearby? Something that might have survived the conflagration that happened around here? Sure. Uh, would I know if this alloy would still have anti-magic properties enough to be useful if it was such like a metal or like a weapon or armor? Make an intelligence roll on anti defense. No. <laughs> you get eight. Probably not, but you don't know for sure. What are you doing? Um, just checking the surrounding area for any uh, maybe hidden markings or uh, trap doors. Doors, I guess, or so just like like the like the base of the tower, or just like the, the whole base area? of the tower and the surrounding area. Okay. Um, Can I assist? Sorry. Can I assist? Yeah, sure. Make an investigation roll with advantage from Wibon's help. Wibon's help. Hey, come on down, Wibon's help. Is that uh, put a d6 on it. It still looks time. a little bit cut. Yeah, it's cut. It's <laughs> hell of a cut. Um, it was lower than the first one. Uh, that's a uh, 24. 24. Um, as you search around the base of this tower, there's nothing around like around the tower, but you do notice that in some places on the tower, when you tap it, it sounds like it's hollow inside. How wide is it? The tower? It's about 10 foot in diameter. Do you tell oh. me, do you tell oh, me it sounds hollow? hollow? No, so you can hear it. Yeah. Like it's very faint. Like, dunk, oh. dunk. like it sounds almost all, but as you happen, you know you can tell the elephant to like somewhere yeah. in there is hollow. Give me either an hour or I can spend more resources and use ten minutes. I'd like to hit it with a hammer. Make an attack roll. Alright then. I thought Just to say. Fifty feet? Fifteen? Fifty. Fifty. Five zero. Christmas fuck. Uh that's sixteen. Roll damage. Six. Yep. <laughs> Nine. Zoo. <laughs> As you pull your hammer off, like there's a slight dent in it. Not much. Uh, how hard would it be to climb this? Difficult, especially for you. Yeah. Well, Possible if you were really a skilled climber. While well, that's happening, I'm just going to be searching the nearby area where I think I remember we found a silver short sword before and see if I can find any more weaponry. Make an investigation roll. Um, I know it's hollow. Can I try and knock on it and use just my knowledge of metals to try and figure out how thick it is? You know, how, like, between. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Make an investigation roll. Uh, make an intelligence roll on either spending proficiency. Eight, so I didn't get that. I have no idea. You don't find anything. That's the most cocked I've ever seen a die be. <laughs> that is a twelve. Twelve, you would guess at least a foot thick, but you're not <laughs> a foot thick. Huh? Yeah. That's still like nine feet, or er, eight feet total inside. Um, nah, let's see. Any, what, what, are the odds, what are the odds that the top is hollow? Carl can check. Please do. Yeah. Okay. Carl and like kind of tickle his bird tummy sure. a little bit and set him up. It's probably Ash. Where's he going? Bird vision. Um, up to the top, just to circle around the, the basin that's at the top. Mm -hmm. Um, just to see if anything's in there. It's just a big empty bowl. It's probably two feet or more than that, like three or four feet across. Um, it's got like a little bit like kind of like snow and other gunk accumulated in it. Sure. Doesn't appear to have any markings or no. That's one covered in snow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. no, not that big. <coughs> not that I can see anyway. Mm. Think there's something in there? Very much so. Almost oh, definitely. Can no? you get through that? I do you want the long it can take an hour, which will use less of mere resources. But what time of day is it, roughly? Or it's about one thirty. I'm sure it's more like 10 minutes than that. Turn into a beast. Yeah, like how many steps? The most powerful thing I will be. Uh, has she done it today? Badger. Not exactly. Okay. Maybe you're worth getting. Yeah, yeah. She could try to tunnel down and see if there's something, but that would probably be a waste of her wild shape. Or I'm not using my wild shape for that. Or it would be quicker if you make a hole big enough for Carl to fit through. It'll still take me an hour. Okay. Or stay doing with you. <laughs> what are you doing? Mort's gonna sit down and okay. start using his channel divinity. Can I borrow your Zenithite for a second? Just want to read the wording on that. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Oh. Sorry, I thought you had it open. <clears throat> I did, and then I closed it because I had finished reading it. <laughs> Patrick, don't you know that I need to read everything you read, and then ideally one more time after that? <laughs> Just so I can interpret it exactly how to screw you? Yeah. I know that. That's why yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's why I closed it. Sam. I wanna punch something. <laughs> yeah. Wanna punch somebody. Just wanna, just wanna throw nuts with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
Hey Sam, yeah. since we're streaming, do we get to do more more like combat flavor? Um, no. Oh. I mean, it depends how long you want the stream to last. Longer or ever. You must make them suffer alongside us. So what do you want to do? Um, I want to channel the venue to make a use the metal in like a you know roughly smallish door sized shape to create more hammer or some other weapons. You can't just take metal out of an existing like building. Because you have to lay it out. And also it says you craft a non-magical item, which I would guess implies you have to make it out of non-magical material. This is magical material? It's probably yeah. enough diverodium to count. It also might be enough to, diverodium to specifically <laughs> nullify any magic we attempt to... Uh... Sorry. Uh, well, this is, this is not like... This is divine stuff. Okay. It is magic. Could you see if there's anything magical in the area? Just, I could. Just trying to check if we... Uh... Alternatively, well, how big is the base? Uh, ten foot in diameter. Ten feet in diameter. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren, how thick do you think this is? To be a foot. I could just teleport to the inside. <laughs> that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> what if there's, there's a hole beneath it? Do I know if that's? Oftentimes, diamond coated places you cannot get through. That's part of what the magic does. Figure not always. Sand. Not always. Like if you have like a like diamond wall, like, and you know there's a mile in between, you can sometimes sure. just throw it. Barrel long to keep my finger through when you need it. Yeah. Maybe. That's maybe what I was saying. Were you? You didn't check for any like mechanisms or latches or anything, right? Yeah, I mean, checked around pretty thoroughly. All right. We should explore more parts of the island just in case. I could also check if there's anything magical around in this general vicinity. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Anybody got a shovel? See anything up top, right? Nope. Oh. Crimson Companion to a Badger. This feels like a waste. I'm not using my last shit to dig here. It's gross and ashy. Exactly. Feel. Check what you Sit down against the thing or just lean against the side of the sure. pile of. Sure. Let's open this book and start ritual casting pet magic. Okay. Yeah. I will bear <laughs> you Awesome. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Well, the, your two casters. I'm going to try to continue bashing in that spot that I had hit earlier for 10 okay. solid minutes. Okay. Um, it's getting sweaty. Because. Yeah. Does he survive? I'm going to have both of you make concentration checks due to the fact that there is incessant stop. loud banging going on. Stop. Really Please close stop to that. You. Please stop that. Fine. Oh. Uh, I don't think you need 15. <laughs> we can run, but he also stopped. <laughs> but I have succeeded. The world may never know. I'm going to kick around in the, the ash and snow to see if there's any <laughs> other like, remnants of structure. It was the green mist room. Hooray. Oh, you like the owl in the uh, blood of the Falcon River? It's a four. It's four, yeah. I just kick around. You find a bunch of like, <clears throat> kind of like half burned tree stumps, um, but not much otherwise. Neat. Will of War, you doing anything? I just wanted to keep searching for weapons on the ground. Make another investigation roll. Cool. I think it's a little detector, man. Better. Uh, <laughs> We're, that's 20. 20? Um, yeah, uh, as, as you rummage around, um, <coughs> you find uh, buried in snow. Um, you pull it out. First, you thought it was a, you think it's a knife, but as you look at it in detail, it's actually, it's like a spearhead within like a good like foot of haft. The spearhead is made of silver. The haft is the same burned wood. So it's just a spear. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a full spear. You have to you have to attach some wood to it. Okay. It's a spearhead made of silver. Could it be effectively used as a dagger in the meantime? Be an improvised weapon. <laughs> okay. So you said the main spire was made of like patched together metal. It's uh like it's there's you can tell there are multiple like it's not one contiguous like sh piece of metal. Yeah. The whole thing like there are different pieces and sections and chunks of it. How do they look like they're attached? Heated up and melted together. Hmm. Usually. Right. It's more like. Like that was, I mean, like, like you can tell there are ridges in places, but it's it's not like it's not like corrugated metal. It's more like the, like the different patches are made of slightly different materials. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perhaps we should try lighting a fire in its basin. That is its purpose. Keep an eye down, Chasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if we want to be signaling stuff while we're here. Why not? What's the worst? Who cares? The last time we signaled something, we got the teleportation. Numbers. 
Right. Yeah, but to be, to be fair, we were, we were more... Are you stretching into the void? But we were more signing into the void than we were... Uh, Signaling into the void with a fire instead of words. Less void and more large settlement of Yakteen followers and the other stuff in this in this chasm that we are a little bit more familiar with. Maybe if we spend the night here, we'll get we'll to meet some ghosts. of the alleged denizens. They can't get through the night. Aye. So we're just Simply. a boss Yeah, it's not a guarantee. <laughs> There's a great deal of silver and weapons, which tells me two things. There are spirits or undead, and they won. Because the weapons are still here. Well, they were the weapons of the ghosts before they were ghosts. Could they lost? Could be a. Uh, she should also try to talk to them. Aye. I'm sure they're very innocent. Have you ever talked to a ghost? No. Now that you know. I'm sorry, did you mistake my tone for sarcasm? I. That was your mistake. Probably. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> Bring back to the dead, you can't even take a joke. Sorry. Hey, come on. <laughs> this not the joke. Cries a single tear. <laughs> oh. God. What, out of the ice skull eye? <laughs> well, yeah, it's just melting. <laughs> so, our tech magic has gone off? Uh, yeah. Uh, there is definitely a magic on and around this spire. Um, primarily abjurative magic. Weird. Um, I'm sure. There are only eight kinds of magic, with some divination and some evocation as well, but less so than the abjuration. Oh, sure. Any <coughs> around? Like, did, did the silver weapons pick up? Silver weapons yeah. isn't, silver isn't inherently I'm magical. Sure. Um, on a lot of these trees and the soil, there are trace elements of both evocation and necromantic magic, but it's mm. very faint. Is it concentrated anywhere? Or it's a little more on the trees than other ones, sure. but otherwise not really. Like the trees are more of the soil, if that makes sense. Sounds like scorched earth kind of thing. So Which uh, tracks with what Agamemnon, Agamemnon mentioned when we came here. What did Agamemnon mention exactly? Something about um, a crown that has super powerful fire magic in it. What? Mm. Yeah. I think that's what they were here for, like in the aisles. Really? They said it was here? No, they said this was it was yeah, used was, here. Yeah. Oh. But it's definitely not here anymore. Powerful enough to burn away life and prevent it from regrowing? Apparently. That would explain the sense the of the enough to burn away armies from what I can. And Dennis, how much experience do you have? Like I don't know. On a scale No. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to what is it like? Can you can you consecrate this ground? That's what I'm asking. What are the steps involved with consecrating a place? Like the hollow spell? I believe that's correct. Which is a fifth level spell? Um, I know the rights, but I like the ability to channel yes. the proper spell to me as well. Because I think that's a higher level spell. So, with the divination and evocation, I imagine that has something to do with light and a fire in it. Okay. Fifth level, casting time 24 hours, components. Uh, herbs, oils, and incense worth at least a thousand gold pieces, which the spell consumes. If you could give me time to get to level 20, I could probably <laughs> power this land. You Maybe give me time to perhaps four four four. increase my power fourfold. <laughs> yeah, that would be way worse. It's exponential. But anyway, like, yeah, like, paladins get fifth level at like 17. Like, you, you were better off asking more. <laughs> so, Mart. <laughs> Wait. Can you? Not, not yet. You got a thousand gold, gold pieces mm -hmm. worth of incense? Thousand pieces worth of gold. In the last game, that's so <laughs> weird way to phrase that. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. We missed turn day. Uh, did we? Did we really? Uh, so, yes. do we want to stay here tonight? Or yeah. I would like to we stay here tonight. <laughs> I would be prepared to face whatever tries to light fire in there as well. Okay, should we wait till night to do that? Or are we doing that? I would prefer if we stayed, we should stay by the coast. Well, then. So we have easy means of escape if we're not right. right. Also, we have no way of knowing if that affects this point. Fair enough. You said this map, this ground wasn't like yes. desperate, right? Correct. It is not. That is correct, right? Sorry? It's not desecrated? Okay, just the necromancy that they picked up. Which sounds desecrated, but only spiritually. Too dangerous. It's a light desecration. How long did it take us to get into the side of the island? It's half a mile, ten minutes. 
So I propose that we make camp here. Light the fire when the sun sets, see what happens. We're really just going to sit here all day, Crimson says? Hey, lass. You have a problem with that? You can start walking home now if you want. I'll leave the gym with the giant towering cliff walls. <laughs> or you could wait a day until the bandits are here. Fine, fine, fine. Well, some time. Turn into a bear. I don't know what. Is that what you do for fun if you can turn into a bear? Very much so, yes. <laughs> Man, after my own heart. It's the same DM, not Crimson. Absolutely, Crimson yeah, 16. <laughs> I mean, and do you want to be an eagle for a little bit? It's pretty fun. Do you I prefer to stay grounded, please and thank you. <laughs> Why, yes I do. Oh, because he's a water genasi. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest plot twist. <laughs> Alright, so, so, we'll, we'll right so it's about 2 o'clock right now. What time are you all heading to sleep? We are not heading to sleep immediately. We are waiting until the sun sets. Okay, what are you doing for the next <coughs> three hours? We will spin around in circles. <laughs> Alright, so three other, minutes of role playing. Are there, <laughs> any, other, <laughs> are there any other, like, any form of structures that stick out here? Yeah, on the island, just no. the trees. Okay, and it's like. So Crimson, do you want to drop your back to the <laughs> Yeah. Um. Fuck you. <laughs> Stick your thumb up your ass, and you're not my real dad. I am real dad. Okay, so that's three minutes until the sun goes down. Uh, I can get rid of two of those minutes. Unless you have anything you want to do in the next three hours. Can I, I, don't know, like, I mean, I'll think around this, or the trees generally. I could waste a slime. Well, to leave small to medium sized pine trees, you usually have most of them two or three feet. Okay. I'll just like try to call like, or like try to shave off ash basically into like, is there any sign of living tree with you? Nope. Burned all the way through. Mm-hmm. Burned or like, kind of like, uh, like you know old dead wood how it gets like pale and crackly? Yeah. It's that kind of thing. Okay. Can I push one of these over with relative ease? No, they're still rooted. As in, like, if it's all charred and brittle, wouldn't it, like, break pretty easily? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I think, I mean, like, could I just uproot the entire tree? No, I mean, like, you could snap off a piece and then eventually, like... I mean, like, it's still wood. It's just been thoroughly charred. So, like, you could push over the top part of it, but the stump would still be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, you can probably do that. Okay. It might take you a little while, but you could do it. Anything else anyone wants to be doing? Well, I'm, I'm not actually doing that. I'm yeah, I know. Asking. Okay. Um... Okay, we'll just chain cast it to magic and sweep as much of the island as you can cover. Okay, yeah. there's that same trace element notification in Necromancy. Just looking cranky that it's concentrated. Yeah. I'm there. just going to spend the last three hours looking for more silver weapons. Okay, so that means the five of you, including Crimson, are just hanging out while Willowford just walks around. I'm going to make so much work. Oh, mm, so if you can I can't, can't like, leave behind. No, he can't leave. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, sorry. So I'd rather have it just in case. Uh, if we want, we can abandon it, but... Well, I mean, he wanted to walk around the island. Oh, I, I can make it. You know, as the sun set, oh, okay, you can make it. If you want. How oh, steep is the shore around the island? Not very. Okay. Yeah, where it's, like, particularly... It's, like, pretty much, like, Stony Beach all the way around. Stony Ashy Beach. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Then, then the timer okay, starts. Okay, I'll set up the base. Then. Sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. So, assuming spirits come through and plan, we're going to try and talk to them. Yep. So if they don't speak our language, you want to cast. Yep. Okay. Um, we can try all the languages we know first, so you can save resources. The high priestess mentioned that they were uh, worshippers of false gods. And they say a lot of things. They believe a lot of things. Yes, they do. I believe most of them to be false. I was gonna say, what you guys, what you guys make of that? They are fools. Following was, your faith. I don't fools. think those are true followers of the Acta, frankly. It seems uh, odd, right? Like, I'm convinced they're hiding something likely below. Um, maybe a key or a vault. It's 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 this so. Like a vault today. Could be right. If that's true. Do you see a keyhole? It's just weird to me that they have like actual factual farmland. Like they they they've set up a whole society there. Are they really bothering it? 
I don't wish to bother them, though it does frustrate me to see people worshipping false idols to no end. I mean, their sacred location was not even holy. Yeah, yeah that seemed pretty strange. So. They're being lied to. I mean, the, the Sphinx told you all that if, <laughs> if, a, if a true follower of the act were to happen upon you, they would know immediately, right? It to, I mean, yeah, of course, that's contingent upon whether or not they're actually exalted. Yeah. But that seemed... Yeah. I mean, I would take the word of the Sphinx over the word of the mortal woman who has plenty to lose by admitting that you are exalted. Who spent likely 300 years being told the same thing over and over. I don't know how she was. Or the Sphinx is exalted in the who knows how long with a purpose. Uh, if, she could, if, if she could get to the element of the plane of fire, I think she'd get out of the basement. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so. so sphinxes are they got weird habits. Sure, sure. I think I would I would think that a woman of her stature um, would stand to lose very much by admitting that outsiders from who knows where, or exalted. I think what she stands to lose is not about the outsiders, but the fact that exalted are not some grand, grandiose, exactly. luxurious tale like she wants it to be. At, and at most tangentially related to the existing followers. Well, but there's also... Is that due to the faith of those who spend their entire lives trying to become exalted? Shakes it. Well, I don't know, I don't know if that's particularly fair, just because, like, it seemed it seemed as though um, exalted was sort of a status reserved for heroes, you know, the, the kind of, not call, sure. not common folk, they not, were not the kind of exaltation. exaltation. The kind of heroes, in the dome. The kind of heroes they wish to be exalted are not the kind of heroes that really exist. They're, They're definitely, definitely not us. Well, there's the other there's the other side of the coin too. Of, of doesn't the, you know, we asked this question at the time, but. You know, considering what the Sphinx had to gain about lying to us, aside from you know, fending us off when it became clear that the battle wasn't going our way. If, um, if the Sphinx is maybe model inside of the Octo, it gains your distrust in the folk. Gains a group of powerful, powerful, uh, powerful beings looking around for the bitch of geckos and and false yeah, killing god, beasts. killing false gods. Right. Or killing false priests. Meanwhile, the priests seem to be pretty much peaceful. Right. You know, they're distrustful, but who on the who on these islands isn't distrustful? Sure. I don't know. You did help the need to make the distrust those who follow the octo, and perhaps making giving you a reason to doubt any you come across might be good enough. It's also so strange that they apparently have a fully advanced society out here. Why? They're on an island all by themselves. Because they're a majority common folk. They are hiding something and likely something powerful. Was, walls don't defend most of what threatens these lands. But how'd they get that many common folk out here? If, if this was just a small they're settlement and it was what? You said somewhere in the range of estimate 1,000, 1,500 people? Seems seems generous, but even if it's more than a couple hundred, a couple hundred people at their smallest it's, it's it's certainly, output, it's output certainly, certainly larger than the settlement on Rift or not. I can't say that much. It, it's it depends. <laughs> if they by a few factors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's just it's strange that they manage that. But if the only thing in these oils, or in this chasm at least, is the sword log, and you add some sort of divine protection upon the dragons, we know that the paragraph, we know that the Acto put down the dragons, don't we? Wouldn't that mean dragons would be against the acting followers? Right, but maybe the most <coughs> involved is that. Or maybe there's some enchanted unknown, or something. Maybe the priestess we met is powerful. Myself, I mean, if I wasn't wearing armor and carrying in a sack, would you think anything of me? Mm -hmm. But I just brought them back to the dead. 
Their name is Walker Walker. That's kind of just what I'm thinking about, right? Like, th- those those people lived in Scornak Shadow for a and couple hundred years. And you can see the last year at the window. They put Frogmore to shame. I wouldn't quite finish that far. Well. Well, I, but you know, they threw them to give the moral for this money, maybe. It, it's honestly concerning to think that there's such a large and organized group of. I mean, because the thing is, that's not. Not everyone there could have been a well trained fighter. I know, that everyone Which means that. There's hundreds of people there. I know, but. There's hundreds of people to scare the dragon away, at least. A dragon doesn't sorry, think much of Copper Folk. I was eight of us that killed the one. The one that lived on the bridge nearby. Count 50 people. Maybe we had something along the lines of our strength, some stronger, some weaker. I'd be surprised. It's to at least leave him alone. Night begins to fall as the sun sets. What are we doing this? Yes. We're in the hut currently. I come back to it. Who made the hut? Oh, make an investigation roll, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just one of the three hours? Yeah. <laughs> 23. 23? Okay. Um, you find several different minutes. things. Uh, you find uh, two silver daggers, cool. a silver longsword, oh, a cool. silver battle axe. Bards have proficiency in longswords. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Doesn't but actually, it wouldn't matter. And a a silver scimitar. Yeah, but it's cool. So we so proficient with scimitars? Oh, probably not. Probably it's a martial. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, two daggers. Two daggers, longsword, scimitar, battle, battle axe. axe. You know, we've got a position with That's scimitars. Cool. Sword of Swords. Swap our clothes, too. Yeah. yeah. Are they really? Yeah. If, if they weren't, I would be very upset. Right. Scimitar's the closest thing to a cutlass you can get. I don't know. I'm like short swords closer, but whatever. I disagree. Um, I think a rapier is pretty good, too. I mean, rapier is better because the a sun sets. Oh, boy. Um, we are you can, the hut. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear this. Um, Tune being sort of half sung, half uh, hummed uh, over the wind. That you will hum. No. Where does it seem to be coming from? It's just a hum. Yes. Can I recognize this tune from anything I've ever heard? Make a real history check. It's happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Sam! It's happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Uh, 12. You've never heard this song before. Do I have any indication of where it's coming from? It's just on the wind. Hmm. Just care about voices. As it keeps going, um, you begin to see here and there, like, like just fragments, brief flashes of ghostly figures walking towards the center spike. They're there for an instant, and then they're gone. They're dressed. Some of them are dressed in armor. Some are dressed in robes. Some in just ordinary clothes. Some of them you can see have arrows stuck in them. Some carry their own heads. Some were wounded and crippled. As they walk, they all march toward the center. You can see some of them swing censers. Some of them carry torn banners. Others carry with them, you know, b- um, bowls with incense. This clothes a procession of some variety. They're just here and there. So by that, the song continues. Two questions. Mm-hmm. Do they pay any attention to us? No. Do they pass through the hut? No. Cool. <laughs> No ghost spare. I was going to say, you know, hello there, hello, in Dwarven Celestial, common. That's what I got. No response. Are they, is there like a gathering happening at no. the base? I mean, no, I mean, like, because I mean, they're like flickering said, in and out, right? Yeah, they appear for an instant and they're gone. Do I want to try stepping out of the hut? Oh, I can keep the hood up for now. I'm going to step out towards the spire. As you step out towards the spire, Nothing seems to happen. I just keep seeing here and there. The music is a little louder. Sure. Got yeah, like one appears nearby me, like pass a hand through it. Um, make a dexterity check. Um, More than barely. Six. <laughs> yeah, you swipe one and it vanishes before you get to it. Keep trying this way and that. And they just keep, just barely escaping your grasp. Does it appear that they're walking? So they're walking towards the spire. Uh, do any of them reach the spire? No. Is there like a point at which none of them make it back, make it closer? Or? A few feet. Sure. How far away are they from the spire? Can we ever? I would guess like a hundred feet or so. A few hundred feet. Okay. Sure. Can I see anything different about the spire? No. I won't be able to 
eventually. Should we light? Was there yes, any so mechanism I... on the fire to light it? Just an empty bowl of fire? On the spire, sorry. Oh, not the use of it. Huh. How tall are they? 50 feet? How large was the bowl of torches? Of four feet across? I think it's a yeah, we can have turn line. Line. Does anyone have like torches? Mm-hmm. No. I have a tinderbox. Mm-hmm. Need some kindling though. Yeah. There's plenty of this one. Mm-hmm. Wood. Mm-hmm. It's all charred, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You don't want any of these weapons, by the way. I'm just gonna bring them back. Just oh, for it begins to snow. We'll take the long sword. Oh. Or wait, you I'll have the axe. Not very much. Like it seems like normal it's snow. It's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the yeah. battle axe. Yeah, it's not. We're gonna gather some wood. Coming back to the hut. Who's. Do you want someone else to go with you? No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't want. Rather you guys be in the hut. Rather you not be able to damn water by yourself. I mean, I'm the one who can fly. I don't think it takes two people to light a fire. Nobody's watching. I do want to point out that this is a. the singing we've been wrestling before where it can I've heard of it to at least um, charm an individual. Uh, if that might be a problem, we might want to send in Teus. And yes, because of his dagger, it makes him very resistant to it. Sure, you don't want to send me? Well, I mean, we can send both of them. Like, he also has advantage against any charm. I also have an ability that lets me stop a charm effect on me. Oh, I didn't know that. Still doesn't mind? Oh, <laughs> I am literally, like, perfectly suited to deal with charm effects. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, if the liberation is going on, Caden just puts a hand on Mm-hmm. Don't play on it. I believe in you. I'll just float up to the top of the tower. Okay. Carrying the wood. Yep. Okay. Scatter some wood in there. Okay. Light it with my tinder box. Okay. As you try to light it with the tinder box, it just doesn't take. You try several times, a bunch of times in a row. Each time you get a spark going, like it's the kind of thing where like you set your, t- your uh, kindling up, and you get it going, and it burns for an instant, and then flickers out. Does this seem like it's because of the wood, or because of something else. I mean, like, it seems like this would be wearing. Maybe you're just, like, a shit-tier fire starter, but... <laughs> but this wood seems like it would Yeah, it seems like it should start fine. fine. It seems like it would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Rub the sticks together. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. I was curious about that. <laughs> I'd use a tinderbox with one hand. I assumed it was like the kind of strike everywhere. Oh wait, no tinder, right? Yeah. Uh, I hold the rock in my teeth and I go. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm gonna fly back down to the hut real quick. It's not light. Use you. So try dropping. Try. I hand you the torch. <laughs> I take the torch. Okay. I'll fly up. Okay. Try to light it as you. Light it, um, you should put the torch on and pull it off, and then the flames on the wood flicker blue for an instant and then vanish. Hmm. So, wait, the torch goes out? No, the torch is still up. Oh, okay. But, like, you hold it on the wood in there, burns for a second, and then it stops. What if I just put the torch in it? You just hold the torch there, you drop the torch, the torch just sits there. Still burning? Yeah, it doesn't set any of the wood on fire. The torch still goes. Is it blue? No. Okay. Is your torch? Um, Yellow red. I'll to do fly, fly back down. It turned blue for a second. Okay, I I can try the I can try the thing. Uh, I will fly up. Okay. Um, okay. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like. So I have to take the attack action to do this, just for some flavor. Uh, I like make a sun bolt, toss it up, th- like throw it up into the air, kick another one upwards, and then just do like a spinning roundhouse mid air. Sure. Uh, cast a first level burning hands, I guess. Okay. Uh, roll damage. <laughs> What's burning hands damage? 3d6. 3d6. How perfect. Uh, 8. Uh, the flame is cascade over the top of this, uh, the top of the spire with the bowl. Um, you see for an instant there's blue flickering flame as the wood alights, and then as soon as your burning hand ends, the flame just flickers out and dies. Mm. Uh. Fly back down. <laughs> Wait, you you want me to try shoot it? <laughs> yeah. I'll fly up and try sh- hitting the wood radiant, with your yeah. your fire, right? Yeah, radiant fire normally doesn't really light fires. Like it well, sears. I know. I'm trying it. Okay. As you try, you it strikes again. There's sort of blue sparks and it fades. Yeah, nothing doing. Wait, wait. 
It, it does create blue sparks. It creates blue sparks, but I don't know. Maybe it needs to absorb magic. It needs to continue a plane. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and the wall of fire. That's pretty much cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Should we give it a shot? Uh, Might as well. Let's go for it. Carry you? Sure. I will have to warn and make a swing check. Uh, 19. Yeah, you hoist more and carry him up to the top. Thank you, Bill, for trying to It's gotten more use out of that thing than I expected to. Four feet across, four feet diameter. Buddy, hold me a little ways away. Buddy cast <laughs> Wall of Fire. Okay. Making a four foot, I just pillar of flame right in the bowl. Okay. Uh, you, some of the flames, they burn brightly orange for a second, tinged with blue, and then <laughs> fade. The whole thing goes away? Yep. Oof. Fuck. Yeah, it's a deal with fire. That's a, that's a minute long fire. Yeah. Which is probably due to the dime radio. Yeah. Although, <sighs> well, I will like float you back down, by the way. All right, well, that was unfortunate. He said it has like anti magic properties, right? Yeah, it does. So that explains that, I guess, but it doesn't explain why my stuff's not working. Also, why the torch didn't work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna, float, I'm gonna fly back up. I'm gonna sit in the bowl. Sit in it? Yeah. Okay, you squat down there. Fucking cool. burst of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the fire. Ron's emotional fire, not his passions. I survived because the fire inside me burned bright and the flames around me. <laughs> Pashwa Graham, baby. What a Just good character. Sit there and meditate for a little bit. Okay. Wait, wait. This thing is magical, right? Yeah, I was, uh, right. I was gonna ask, what are the odds I can dispel the magical effect? What are the odds that you can identify it? Right. Also bad. Yeah. I mean, if it's innately magical, on the, I'm on the get rid of it, but. Okay. Um, Here's the card. <laughs> oh, God, uh, this. It's a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Throck, we found something for you. <laughs> Wait, um, no, I'm stronger than I'm stronger than Throck. <laughs> so one point. Um, <laughs> this has powerful objurative magic on it. Sure. It also has an enchantment to uh, douse any flames, but specifically consecrated fires of a specific kind. A specific kind. <laughs> consecrated fires. Yes. Sounds Not super like... dissimilar from continual flame, but right. The sort of fire you make when you, know, you use. In some way, you make holy water. You can also make holy fire, and that's the kind of thing you're talking about here. Interesting. What I know and it's it's supposed to douse that? What? No, it's supposed to douse everything but that. Oh. Would I know how to make holy fire? Probably not. Okay. It's a lot harder than holy water. So it's a specific it's enchantment. Up. Like, it's easy to make holy earth and holy water. It's hard to make holy air and holy fire. Gotcha. Holy air. <laughs> that exists. I only, dream, I only breathe the holiest of air. What is this? The holy borax? Gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> He's just checking all the spells. I have a... Hell of a lot of spells. Do you get access to continual flame after a long rest? Like, mm-hmm. could you? Do yes, but it's got yes. material components. Fifty GP of rubies. <laughs> I miss Tibble. Yeah. Tibble was a character from many campaigns ago. <laughs> many being two. That's a lot. That was you know that was over two years ago. Yeah. Continual I miss it still. Tattoos. I mean, I also have ceremony. Cast ceremony. Uh, torch. What are the odds that you can well, spell this magic? If it's a specific enchantment, I might be able to dispel it. You can certainly try. You know, the bowl is, is like whatever. securely fused in this, yes. right? Okay. We're trying to get at it. I mean, I, I don't really know what we're trying to get at. Crescent moon I mean, if there's no other way for us to cover the snow, right? Or around we'll the base. See if we can. No. No? The, yeah, the increased number of movies we could turn for. There's no mark. <laughs> I mean, like I said, the bowl is the bowl first covered in snow. Right. Yeah. Almost 50 gold bar. Yeah, as you, as you scrape it up, you can see around the rim of the bowl there is the image of the rest of the moon. Okay. Um, I always carry 50 
anything particularly. In- I'm gonna search around like the gap of the crescent moon just for anything. The what? What? The the place so it's crescent moon, right? Yeah. There's a gap. A gap. As in like somewhere where the tall. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean it's just the rim bowl there. Alright. It's just a carving. Alright. I don't have ideas. I get the feeling we don't have the thing we need for this. I mean I could just teleport inside. I personally like to just talk. Please. Give it a try. And you might not do it unless you guys are okay with it. Go for it. Yeah. I'm out of ideas otherwise. No. Oh. I'm going to cast a spell magic on. And should we can spell casting check. Easy. Nate. Okay. Nothing happens? Not that you can tell. Oh no. Yeah. I. Within about a minute. The music stops, <laughs> and all the ghosts fade. Get killed them. <laughs> you want to cast Identify on? I will leave cast it. Identify on it? There are no actual effects affecting this. I would like to feel though if the... This would not be... Um, oh, I can you said I couldn't use the... Can't lose anything on this anyway, right? Even if it were... Oh, I'm not here. Yeah, it, I mean, you can't just like rip in a lot of things for that. Sorry. Might well, be a little dent hole in it now. I'm sure the magic's gone right. I would like to try and hit it with my hammer, see if it's any more effective. Um, when you hit it, like, it's not particularly. Okay. It's still just tough ass metal. It's really yeah, thick. that's what I figured. Alright, well, the mortal, I can try and make us a hole into it, so we can spell stuff it on. Okay. Um, otherwise, I'm out of ideas. Unless you want, well, now the magic's gone, so we are leaving with nothing. I'd have to be anyway. Can you mm-hmm. try teleporting inside? Actually, now that it's not magical, you could. I'd rather not do that, just because it's diverting. We don't know what will happen to you. And also, it's tough to bring someone with you. I don't want to go in there alone. I could just come with that, yeah. I would, I'd rather not. In just the, you by yourself okay. in there. In the log of you going to the rune rock, the, the magic on the, uh, the, the water, like the water returned, perhaps this and yeah, yeah. is similar. Well, I yeah. So we should check it in the morning before we right. do anything. We we'll probably have to see it at night, though, wouldn't we? Yup. Let's do it. Yes. I assume it's still magical. Crimson and Ghost. Uh, <laughs> well, what were you expecting? For us to leave? Well, yes, leave that's what I wanted to do. We live here now. It's just how it be. Do you want to just, for the sake of it, just go light the torches on the top? Maybe? Sure. I'll go just fly up and up take the torch and try to light the wood that's in there. It lights it almost immediately. Neat. Oh, well, it works. Check out the dragon. Just keep it up. There's no reason to. Just a regular old flame. It's not blue. It's burning bright orange. I mean, you can take it out if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Can you know press invitation? I can make an illusion. <laughs> if you believe this blue flame. Oh, wait, no. Thaumaturgy changes it. To, can you change the color of flames, can it? Anyway, let's yeah. let's get to bed. Let's get ready for rest. Sure. It's been a long day. I'm looking <laughs> forward to the end of it. Got him off. Same one as. Hi. Yes. Sure. I really do enjoy that hot plus six to the dispel. Shit, it's great. <laughs> it's okay. Next level is plus seven. Damn. And then level after that, I can't respond with the same bonus. Uh oh. <laughs> I just. I need to check a spell. He's looking for books. Oh, I just need to check a spell. <laughs> the spell That's is worse! Power word kill. <laughs> to match. Power word shill. He steals all of your money and gives you a corn on the cob. Yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't have any money and I love corn on the cob. <laughs> if, you do, if it doesn't take any of your money, you still get the corn on the cob. No. What <laughs> if it takes like three silver? We'll pry the gold out of you. What if it takes? Oh, uh, <laughs> what if it takes your empty wallet with, with like an expired card. credit card? <laughs> it's got an empty Visa gift card. <laughs> it has a Steam card with like twelve cents on it. It's got a Blockbuster video card in there. Bad rats. <laughs> Guys, I brought my mini. I did it. Um. Okay. So y'all had to sleep. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Are you doing the first watch or are you doing like the second half? Right. Yeah. 
No, I can give you a second half because you're doing five hours, right? You can sponsor. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's one, two, three, four. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Still. And yeah. The dog. We also because <laughs> I cast three three four. So. Um, about an hour into the first watch. Nice. Or about half an hour in. Which is Bientes. Bientes. You hear a <laughs> sound. And then a ping sound. And then a Do you hear this? Yeah, you all hear yeah. that. That's what we all wake up. We all wake up. You guys. <laughs> and then the front of that spire just bursts open in a cloud of flame, no. smoke, and searing metal. No! Oh, we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> Stepping out from within it is you see a creature brushing their shoulders off. It's the guy who was sealed here. Uh oh. <laughs> Walking out, you see roughly the size of a human. Um, oh, no. They walk on two legs. They carry, they have the regular arms. Their head is long and lizard like, with tipped with horns. And on their back, they spread two huge it's wings. We got him! <laughs> it's fire Martha. No, this is fucking, this is the fucking Scorched Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah. This is the one where we weren't supposed, supposed to laugh, right? No, this right? is the one that we were supposed to do. What's her name? Tanner? Tanner is her name? Tanner is her name? to kill no. for the cold in his heart so that I can... No uh, fucking way we can do that. We can't do that. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Sarah is consulting the monster <laughs> manual. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is going to do? Oh, no, let's just start with... Uh, him trying because it's You're looking for the D section. <laughs> 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 Dragging. Traps. Drink. Fuck it. Fine. I'll check the goddamn God. table of contents. Come on, Watsy. Why can't I just find monsters whenever I want to find them immediately? I was not expecting that. Uh, I didn't totally. They, they said that it was. I could have sworn they said it was. This is the battlefield. Yeah. Well, I mean, we fucking. We, we got it. I feel like we fucking. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Oh, really? We got him. So you see this individual spreads their wings. They have this long, sort of tendril-like hair. They wear pretty much nothing, but their body is Ooh. reptilianoid, leathery, and scaly. <sighs> Stepping out, you see they carry in one hand this enormous golden staff. I exit. Stepping out, they just look around and then stamp their staff on the ground, and every tree you see <laughs> bursts into flame. Burning bright and red and hot. Stepping out. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, it is good to be out. How far away are we from this? 100 feet or so. What the fuck? And walk forward. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, that wasn't actually in common. Yeah. Did anybody understand what that said? Nope, never mind. You hear Nazgurakta Gunzakarsha. No, what do you cast? Tongues? Tongues oh, yeah. uh, can't go through the Lehman's hut? Uh, I mean, I don't Okay, know. sorry, that's all right. <laughs> it's a self? So that's still. But, like, the magic can't pass through the walls of Lehman's hut. So and you can't understand it. Oh, what? It's a spell affecting me. I was gonna say, the sound is passing into the hut. Yeah. And the effect is on him. But it's. Well, um, <laughs> it's like on my brain. Fine, so. for now. I will, I, will do, I will do some reading and check this, but sure. <laughs> So, you walk around. Who is responsible for freeing me? He goes right to the edge of the hut and sort of gives you a deep bath. Who are you? Languages. My okay. name is Kay. Kay. Great. Scorch Lord, I presume? What? No, no. no. Oh. <laughs> By no means am I the Scorch Lord, much as I might wish I would be. No. Uh oh. <laughs> I am no, no such powerful by any means. <laughs> Oh, cool, that's so we can work it. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. What? Who are you? Some folk call me Flame Caller. Storm Caller? Flame Caller? Yeah, yeah, disappeared. Do you know. Call me the Weed Caller. Hatha. Yes, my sister is very dear to me. I fucking told you, it's Fire Hatha! <laughs> fire exclamation. Tell me, who, who released me from my prison? <laughs> I, I can't point what out. What can I offer you? What do you have to offer? What would you like? Magical secrets? Of what variety? What's your, what's your poison? Fancy alcohols. 
Do you know the exact location of a magical drum made from the skin of a dragon god? I know of several. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drum kit. <laughs> I was expecting a lot of different answers. <laughs> that was wasn't terrible. I was expecting, oh, I can't give you that. He looks around. Ah, I see we are still between Osterloch and Fiorano. Indeed. What year is it? Oh, my king. By which calendar? Hold on, is he speaking in common? Yeah, he's switched common. Okay. He's still in That's a long time. All right, that's fine. Um, I thought it was likely 700 years or so. No, no, more than that. 1100 for me. I thought was that for 400 years after? It's good for her. Good for her. Good for her. We actually have her out too. Did you? Yeah. I take it she rewarded you appropriately. She's been very helpful. Good. Fantastic. Um, she's on Redmore Isle at the moment. Last we heard. Last we heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't or, know what that is. That's, uh, okay. I'll burn his that. He's like, you shouldn't have that. Burn! I, like, press <laughs> up against the side of the hut. <laughs> why, why are you so nervous of me? I, I mean... Did it? Oh, you, you know what? Never mind. Immediately <laughs> showed a great Let me see my map. Let me see this map, please. Um, we just learned to give caution. Hands it over. Mm. Mm. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. But if mm. we're here, uh, this is right there. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. That island. Uh, yes. Uh, now, the so, you wanted a drum made from the skin of a dragon. Dragon god, from what I heard? I don't mm. know. Dragon gods, there's only one dragon god. Yeah. Well, two, but one of them is false. Did you hear of a, dr- a drum made from... Dragon there are numerous drums made from dragon hide. Dragon hide, but did you hear of a drum made from dragon gods? Never heard of such thing, no. Okay. No, both the dragon gods are still quite alive. Are there any of those drums nearby? How nearby do you consider nearby? On these isles within, I guess, a few days' travel? By foot? <laughs> no. <laughs> within traveling distance, I guess. Certainly within traveling distance. Oh, within a week or two? I mean, I could find one nearly instantly. Oh. Would you be able to get me one? Sure, that can be arranged. That would be my the reward I asked for. Fantastic. Tell me, is that island he points over there? Do you wish island? He points over to the Sun County. <gasps> yeah, the only oh! one that I... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Give me one second. Um, I have to condone or not condone Jensen. We can't do it. Stop it. Am I allowed, I to, am to, am I allowed to lean into the mic? No. 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 Dang it. Is that still known as false uh, No, it's occupied by cultists of Yacht. Oh, is it still though? Perfect. Great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go kill all of them. Wait. That's what we call a big mm. yikes. Yes, I come alongside you as well. <laughs> Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, You would really like to, but I would prefer to exact my revenge myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What? I'm going to go kill all of them. Why? Because they were the ones who have imprisoned me. For what reason? Because they were my enemies. I don't understand. You kill your enemies, and I'm going to go kill all of them. And then I'll burn their crops and salt their land, and ideally desecrate it as well. Which is, I'm assuming, what you did here. Hmm? No, I didn't do this. I just set it all on fire afterwards. Would you allow us to explore their uh, remain, like the remains of their area and like the tunnel? Ideally, there won't be any remains, but anything that's left, sure. Would you destroy the? There are hundreds of people on that. Absolutely, yes. We can't. Oh. We would. I would like to be able to explore those. But you can dig through the rubble. I feel like our debt, our debt is paid. What's your name? Willowbore. Willowbore. Do you have a surname, family name, house name, Bond. title? Bond. Good. Good. You're all just fine with this. You don't really have a choice. Yeah, we really don't have a choice. I imagine he could teleport away if you tried. Any other questions, comments, concerns, ideas, um, mewlings? Sorry? Right? Murdering an entire group of people who mm. didn't necessarily have anything themselves to do. Oh, they did. In hundreds of years. Thousands, you said, didn't you? What? Yeah, about 1100. Th- those are not your enemy. Mm, they are. Wait, is there? Any those are true servants of Yakto, actually. I don't really care at this point. Do you know where any true servants of Yakto are? Mm. Particularly, Monarchia. Mm. It's a shame that shithole hasn't fallen out of the sky. It's in the sky. The sky. 
sky. What did you think it was? I have no idea. Yeah. It's no, not a fucking. Is it on this plane or is it? On a yes, it's held, on, held down by chains. Oh, you're serious? <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, you can tell him I have a relation back. <laughs> <laughs> Says Patrick, not Warren. <laughs> Any other questions or ideas? Where is my? Where is it? Points westward. How far, roughly? If mm, well, I don't know exactly where we are, but I would guess something in the range of forty miles, maybe more. That's it. Let me double check my map. Wow. Um, forty miles. That's yeah. No more than that. As I think about this, it's maybe closer to fifty or sixty, but not far. Wow. These islands aren't that big. Interesting. Anyway, Just, uh, thank you. I'm off to murder a colony. Anything else? Um, um, are you going to repair the? Crying Council and on the door. Potentially. If is you do, uh, tell Hopper we said hello. And, uh, Will do. Do you know where she is? We should be on the Have you seen any of my other siblings? No, not yet. Who I imagine you? they look like you. Yes, of different colors, though. Yes, of course. Is there any way we can persuade you to help guard the wall? Nope. H hold on, hold on. I have, I have a question. Mm -hmm. When they imprisoned you, how how many strong were they? Uh, I mean, they were. They had. They had. Sanistersis on their side. It was little like a dupe. And so. Sanistersis is dead? We're not sure if he's dead or just. Really? That is excellent news. Th there's this is going to make it so much easier. There's still. Alright. Probably dead though. But there's still a whole. From what we know, there's still a whole. What? Empire, would you call it? Of them? Yeah, I'm talking to burn down this colony. And when they retaliate against you? They won't. They won't. I mean, they might. They'll kill them, too. I don't really care. They imprisoned you once. True, but now Sanistarsis is apparently maybe dead. And apparently maybe not. Yes, and if Hatha is out, no, nothing can stop the two of us. What did you say your name was? I didn't say it. That would be why I was not as asking for. Mm. I'm not going to give you my name. Hatha was always too friendly. I, is there a way I'm going to be able to get my drum? Like, yes, I'll come find you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hatha, please. Just uh, where we were. What? Where are you? There are a, there's a location set up with ancient walls, as I understand it. Hatha would be able to teleport to it. Hatha claimed not to be able to teleport to the location. I'll speak to her. I'll figure out a way to find you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea where we might find your siblings? I don't, unfortunately. I was I believe I was the first captured. Right. What do you plan to do now? This after. After burning down that colony? Continue the war. Yeah. So you're all just resigned to this. We can't stop. Please Indeed, can. you can't. Yeah, no. actually, like, question for well, DM. Okay can I, is there any way? I have, like, I, I understand he's powerful. Is there any way I can like size him? Up? You got you got a seventh level battle master. I said it before Sam did. <laughs> or potentially a ninth level mastermind. Okay. Even if we, what, what do you want to do? Even if we can't do anything, it's isn't anything better than. Letting it happen? I could potentially kill you too. He could easily kill us too. These four seem relatively friendly at least. You don't. She doesn't say much, but I like to look at her. Crimson Wings. I... No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there are families on that island. Yep. Alright then, are we, are we doing this? You really intend to stop me? If he does. You listen to your blue friend here? Aye. Would you mind... Perhaps listing any atrocities that you can think of that the servants of the Axe have perpetrated against you. Certainly. Now. Slaughter of hatchlings, burning of villages, towns, cities, massive warfare, destroying forests, mountains, digging out the earth for precious metals, slaying giants, even giant children, murder of dragons and hatchlings, as I mentioned, prolonged wars, lies, subterfuge. The people on that island are guilty of none of that. They are simply farmers. Maybe. Those are their descendants. I, I'm mm -hmm. in agreement with you, lad. Sins of the father. What do you want to do? Are we here? What are we if we just sit here and do nothing? Do you want to fight? You could come and help me kill them. Or have us solve the earth afterwards. You're you're all fine with just letting this happen? No. I'm not okay with it. I but you will let it happen. But you're okay with your dragon drum, I understand. 
but I don't want to die. Anyway, I'm fairly certain we're done here. So I will see you all at some point, hopefully, or not. I'll definitely see you again to repay my debts. But otherwise, I'm off. And he just <laughs> lifts into the air and begins flying towards the island. Hey, is the fire slowly walks toward the side, the coast facing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so sounding sounding. And just watches. Who are you sending? The high priestess. Okay, what are you saying? <sighs> Give me a sec. We should go back to that island. There's a thud as the rest of the spire just <laughs> down into the ash. <coughs> Flame collar incoming. Run, hide, save as many as you can. I'm sorry. She responds, I don't understand what you mean, but thank you for the warning. We should back to the If they have strong warriors, we might stand a chance. Far away at this point. It's a violation of non-aggression. If we attack him, we call the rest of the dragons upon us and our friends. There comes a time when we need to pick a side. You mean every time? And I'm not condoning any of what he's doing now. But you could have swung him, and you didn't. So you picked a side. It's not true. He just walks towards the game. Could have what? Flung something at his face? From yes. Him? Yes, you could have. But instead you didn't. You no. picked a side. We didn't pick a side. We picked a battle. Is there a difference? I can't reach that far. I couldn't get to him to stop him. And I'm, I might, I might not be okay with this, but I'm also, you're not disagreeing with you that if I had just gone running up to him, I would be a pile of ash right now. I'm no good to anyone like that. But we all seem to flip to that real quick. Are we going to that island? Morris casting a We can get there faster by boat. Right? I don't think that's actually true. Okay. Absolutely not. I didn't know that. Just assume that it should have been. Maybe we can save somebody. I don't know what I don't know what their ancestors did, but they don't all deserve to die for it. You're not wrong. So then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Takes ten minutes. I don't have any other long slots left. Can you perhaps send me half a... Case it's down. Anything. If she can get her brother to stop. Case it's down. Mm Mm-hmm. He gets cast in the center. Okay. I'm going to be able to go this. Okay. None of you understand anything that Case said. You have to avert, like, out loud. Say he that. speaks in deep speech, so if any of you know deep speech, then... I do. I do. <laughs> what? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. From my warlock <laughs> I was going to say, the only people who take Actually, deep speech are weird wizards and warlocks. <laughs> I just lost you a warlock. Um, you can keep that up. You begin to see flames on the island. How far away is it? How far? Only about a mile away. Fire continues to burn on the island. I'm getting a head start towards the island. You are? He's got a ring. How long do you want to wait? 
could be five minutes into the casting. I can't stand it anymore. Okay. What are you doing? Everyone keeps looking at me, and I feel bad. I can't say anything. <laughs> Did you send it? Yeah. Okay. Give me one moment. To this is done. Huh? Yeah. So there are five of these bitches total. That's fucked. Where are the Metallica ones? If you collect them all, you make Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> the score story. They just make one <laughs> ancient dragon. Make Tiamat. Um, there is... Uh, well, no, it's after Waterwalk gets off. Um, and, you, and you're saying you start walking. And Tess is about five minutes ahead of you. It takes about 20 minutes to walk a mile. Vaughn's broken it. Yeah, I know you're going fast. Um, as you go, the island is burning. I was going to say, I'm significantly faster than all of you. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to be faster than Antaeus. So Antaeus, when, even when you're, you know, maybe five minutes off. Um, you can move all the speed of Antaeus. Antaeus has a five-minute head start. Sure. Like, he'd catch up to me eventually, but I'm still yeah. going to get there first. Um, uh, there is a rumble of thunder, and the wind picks up, and it begins to snow. And you can now, as you get closer, you can hear the screaming on the island as you can see every tree that was there, every field, anything that could possibly burn is just a blaze. I'm moving faster. The entire island is just on fire. You see people running down the, the roads, you know, burning. You see some of them are ripped open, some of them are wounded. As you get closer, you can see they're just diving into the water as best they can. Um, it is just destruction wholesale. The wind picks up and thunder continues to rumble. Lightning flashes above, and you can see actually strikes the, the roof of this dome. Um, and there's a huge sort of like shattering sound, and you hear rubble begin to fall. I rush towards the dome. Okay, he's trying to make his way towards the dome as well. Okay, um, so as, as, I mean, as you work your way, you two being in front, working your way up the dome, I mean, there are people running down the streets, sometimes ablaze, sometimes not, sometimes wounded, sometimes not. Vaughn's well, focusing on the people off the shore. Okay, what do you want to like, do? Trying to keep as many wounded alive as possible. Okay, um, I mean, some of these people are in better shape than others. The worst ones are, you know, dead or dying. The best ones are covered in burns. Um, or, I mean, actually, it's not true. Some, some people manage to run. Um, but this island is just in chaos. Um, as it goes on, uh, occasionally, if you're all making your way towards the temple, it's easy, even easier to see. Uh, you can see two winged forms circling above. One of them spitting flame out from the staff, the other lightning. At the dome? At the dome and around, and anyone they see, just death and blood and fire. Warren is probably stopped partway through helping people as he can get yeah. out of fire and out of the way and get point them towards the shore. Yeah. Um, how long do you want to stay? I, I mean, like, I rush closer to the dome. How yeah. far in the air are they? Like, I mean, they're... Just to have an idea. Uh, the dome is about 250 feet high, so they're probably at, you know, 275. But they swoop in. You can see the dome has partially caved in in one spot. Um, the, uh, as you reach inside, the doors that were still open, you can see the statue is partially collapsed now. And as you get closer to it, you see an enormous bolt of lightning strike it and sort of course through the entire thing as you watch it begin to deform. The sword, that hand holding the sword, just, like, splits off and <laughs> falls to the earth. Um, there are gold cloaked figures strewn all over this room. It's not only really burning because it's made of stone, mm -hmm. but you can see many of the bodies are seared and there's just, you know, the I'd doors like to, have been cracked open. I'd like to rush and like look for anyone alive. There are people crawling around. Um, <coughs> you hear a voice suddenly yell out, Ah! It's good to see you! You've come to join! And then flying down through the hole in the ceiling as snow just comes tearing down and the wind is howling comes this red draconic humanoid form and it lands. As he lands, he picks up his staff and just stabs someone on the ground with it and then pulls it out again. Haven't what? you gotten your fill? What? No, there are still living people here. Can't you see? Look, there's one over there. And he just fires a bolt of flame out from his staff and strikes the person crawling away. You see above, you can see flitting around, occasionally spitting out lightning is a... Uh, a similar form, illuminated by lightning and starlight. Uh, yeah, who I don't fucking recognize. Yeah, it's a very similar blue form. Um, you can occasionally hear a, a sort of howling laughter on the wind. Um, okay, switch shoulder to shoulder with him, Antaeus. Um, so walking past him. Mm -hmm. 
the gold is the, the statue. The, the statue is, statue is 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 the partially collapsed. Um, kind of turns into it. Do you want to do the honors? Okay, we'll um, slowly begin chanting, and then I don't know if I can actually do this. Mm. But he's gonna try. It. What do you want to do? I want to cast Wall of Force. Okay. Centered directly on the statue. Try and bisect it. Let me check Wall of Force. Jeez. I don't think you can do I, that. I think I'm you... almost positive I can't, but Rule of Cool stands. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Rule of Cool ever worked in Sam's campaign? It works occasionally. Yeah, I'm like right behind it. Cool. Most two. Oh. And I see slots that have been used to save six people okay. who are close to death. Yeah, the wands running around, stabilizing people, trying to find if there's anywhere with boats. I have no feeling. So it says a creature is pushed to one side. It says nothing about structures, but like. Make, I a, mean, make a spell casting check. I didn't say necessarily structure. So you and Morin are trying to save people's lives. Uh, Willowbore, what are you doing? I'm just behind these two, just arms crossed, really cool. looking at it. Okay. This is proficiency plus intelligence? Yep. Natural 20. Suddenly, <laughs> 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 so a tumor appears, and you watch as. It's just gonna fucking tear it apart, just have it split and fall to either side. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got his hands just contorted. It's well just done, <laughs> well <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, it's even stone on the inside. And he just keeps stalking around the inside of this dome. Okay, it looks up. Mm. Up is there? Yeah, yeah, there's a blue form there. Yeah. She looks at you and flies down towards you. <laughs> it's good to see you here, too. Thank you for rescuing my brother. It was you, right, Willivore? It was. Are you here? I am here. I'm about ten feet Thank away. you, thank you, thank you. You have done untold good for our cause. Haven't you caused enough destruction here? What? No, we're just getting started. Have pity on these people. Spending pity? Their, spending their lives worshipping a false idol. Pity? Idea. What do you know of pity, gold knight? turns and the two of them just keep going, just slaughtering people wholesale in cold blood. You go outside and you, you watch as, you know, there's just balls of fire erupting among the houses. Buildings are burning, everything is burning. What isn't on fire is coated in ice and ash. How long do you want to stay? Is Juan able to find a place with boats? You find a place that did have boats. <laughs> That's like the first thing. That I figured as much, <laughs> but yeah. Like, hold on. Is the dome like raised? Like, so the, the, the island sort of rises. One side is higher than the other, but it's sort of at like the highest. Like, it's not even a summit really, but like the highest point of the island is where the dome is. Cool. <laughs> um, and the dome is just collapsed inwards. A while more is going to head to the shore and start actually casting water off on people. As, okay. You know, like the ten at a time or whatever that he can do with yeah. the I think it's six at a time, but yeah, I understand. Six at a time. Yeah, yeah. and Teos just, he takes off his helmet, he drops, like, his shield and his warhammer at his side, and he just watches like wide-eyed, kind of like catatonic yeah. almost. In the dome? Uh, like, for, like from just outside the How dome. How much like, of the dome looking, is yeah, still direction. standing? About two-thirds of it. Like, is there still, like, a decent part like, yeah. near the middle arch? Yeah. I'm going to dimension door up to the top and just okay. sit down. Oh, yeah, what would Crimson have been doing doing this? Crimson. It's hard to tell. Well, is, 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 you uh, might legitimately want to test the biggest question. Yeah, in the I, I don't game. know. Like, yeah, like yeah, there's, yeah. there's no decision you could make that I would respect. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I was just gonna sit cross lay on top of the dome, put his loot in his lap, and just stare up in the sky. Yeah. Um, um, Nero. <laughs> through the. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> through the through the hours of the night, there is more fire, yeah. more <laughs> screaming, more blood. Okay, so By the time the sun eventually rises, the clouds have mostly dissipated. The two draconic figures are known to be seen. This entire island is just a smoldering, ashy, smoking ruin. Did we manage to... Did they hunt down the people we sent away? Some of them, but, I mean, you know, you get an hour of walking to cliffs. There's not many places to go. You occasionally can see people here and there walking through the ruins of what once was their home. And their burned fields and their torn down buildings. Just staring, weeping, sobbing. Go through, help as many people as you can. I mean, just anything. 
find people standing in the rubble of what was once their home, just sifting through the ash, trying to find anything to hold on to. You see some people just sitting there, back to a wall, just staring at the destruction. The dome is entirely collapsed. Okay. Or the war, I assume you got down at some point. Yeah. Sort of. I'll probably just be a little outside of it. Many of the roads have been torn up or ripped apart, torn ablaze. Nearly every tree is burned. We need to do something. Half the towers have been torn down. There are bodies everywhere. <coughs> to do something. Sorry? Something. What do you want to do about it? People would, their lives were destroyed. We owe them. What do you think this is? What do you think we're here for? Not this. Do you? (laughs) Not this. The Empire has been doing this for hundreds of years. Why do you think the last chance exists? I can almost guarantee it exists for a different reason than this. I believe we're here to make sure things like this don't happen. Have his mother built it in, secluded away from the world, so that she can act as a foothold for the empire to ravage a land and murder innocents. Do you think? Genocide. Honestly, that the Empire would fund that sort of an operation? Do you think the Empire funded it? I think the Empire currently does fund it, yes. We currently have a deal with them, maybe, but... Who's the last person to take up the offer before us? Nobody. Nobody fucking came out here. Except for the handful of soldiers who lived on the last chance, and that was it. Maybe it's time they did. Who are you kidding, Kay? The Empire found a place to send its undesirables, but it's our job, our responsibility to make something of this. Not, not this, not a city of ash. Fancy yourself a conqueror for the Empire, Kay? Is that what you're here for? No, no. Morin, do you have the necklace? Aye. How many people can it transport? Seconds. That's it. So as many people as can jump through in those seconds? It's about a dozen usually. We should lead them to the last we should lead anyone who survived to the last chance. They how we owe the same way we got here. We have a boat. We have one boat. Of, Water, walk them t- to shore, okay, lead them to the woods. People for an hour. How many survivors are there? Like roughly? I mean, you've seen a few dozen, but they're scattered and disparate and broken. You probably helped twice that down by the shores. Maybe 150, 200 in total. We, we owe them something. Much of the wall is intact, just in general, the wall surrounding them. Most of it, like probably 70%. Probably burnt the towers. Yeah, yeah like probably half the towers have been torn down and destroyed. All the gates have been broken. The path by balcony. How were we supposed to know? We didn't know that what was in that spire. I think we should stay. For how long? I don't care. We can't rebuild their lives. We can't. We can't rebuild their lives. I know. You can spend your whole lifetime here. And so we abandon them? No. I don't know what we'll do.
We'll send as many of them as we can to the last chance using the necklace. Sure. We'll try and see if we can get, the, if we can lead the rest there. They lead a home. The Empire is not going to want them. There's not space. There's plenty of space. Is there? The Empire has block for space. Are they going to take any charity cases? <coughs> These people are all farmers, so they, they can work. I don't mean space in the Empire. I mean, the turn was here, what, two days ago now? If, if we're supposed to believe that? It's Saturday morning. Yesterday? yesterday. It was here yesterday? Probably not good. It, if it stayed around for any time of time, it's not going to be here much longer. There's no other ships to go back. What are we going to do? Give them all of our gold, take all these people there, drop them off somewhere, hope it turns out for the best? Perhaps come spring, they can start tending some of the spare land around Last Chance. The point is, we can't leave them here. I refuse. Uh, what do we do with 150 people in the middle of winter? We save them. We can create enough food for. We tear off our clothes and give them to them as blankets. We try our best to keep them warm. If I could feed 15 people four times a day, maybe. But I know it's not too well to feed them all. Well, as we travel, perhaps get some of them to look for their own food. What food? There's nothing in the aisles. Everything's buried under two feet of snow. How far away was Prospero? Perhaps we leave. 40 miles, 50 miles. 40? 50, 60. We need transport to, to the circle that we made on Captain Hudson. We can transport maybe a dozen people. We should give them the amulet. Certainly close to that. Why not? Because we need it. We need it? We're incapable of walking back to our home? It doesn't matter if we give them, what if we, we give it to them, they don't have anywhere they can go with it. Yes, we do. No, they don't. They would need to go to the And even if they had it, what are they going to do? Walk back to the chasm, jump off of it, and then bring another crowd of people back? That doesn't work. They can't get down the chasm. It's 2,000 feet. So you would like to do nothing again? No, that's not what I fucking said, lad. I'm with you. I think we should do something. I just don't think we should do something stupid. Not doing anything stupid. We can try and lead them to Prospero. We can try and lead them to the last chance. We can try and help them rebuild here. At this point, uh, Fear approaches you. It's like in the morning, she looks like she's probably like 45. Comes up to you and. Rest, I need that. Lord and Nerka. Kestelen, Celestia, Dwarvish. Kaina Raiska. Deakta na go. Kaina has got kind of languages that he's sad. What do we do? Why would Yakto let this happen to us? Can you help us? Why are gods forsaken them? Please, can you can you do anything for us? Can you help? Do you know who those what those beasts were? Yakto was she say it happened to them. Did she say it? She's just wondering why the god has condemned her. Why? What you should do, wondering, wondering what the, those things were. Okay, well, first okay, things first. Songs. You got songs. Okay. We we don't know. Are the songs on Morin? No. Oh. Oh, on yourself? I thought you guessed it on her. No. What? What? Who? What happened? Can you make it to Prosper? I don't know where Prospero is. 
These people have raised here their entire lives. You yeah. don't know what she's saying. Oh, that's right. Can you tell her to start gathering people up? We can do that. We can get everyone in one place. Maybe there's resources on the island. Alright, so we can gather everyone up. We can check if there's anything back here. We can find someone who can communicate with us. Some of them speak Dwarvish or Eldish or Celestial or something. We can find someone who's a leader among them. Hopefully. We can help the wounded. We can where do we go? We can help figure out where to bring them. What do we do? You're going to round up everyone that you can. You're going to go up and round. He points like down to the, 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 the part of the of, uh, Osterloch that's um, sort of flush with the waterline, like before the, the cliffs of the town start. Like towards towards the, the bridge or away from the bridge? Uh, away from the bridge. Okay. And he Where says, Want to orient us? You're going to follow those mountains up. Are we going to go find our colonists? Cross the bridge and go as far west as you can. So we're going to just go back and run by. You follow it to cross it. Okay, what are you telling Wait, we can't just you, can, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you can understand Tay. We can't abandon them. Yeah. You're sending them to their deaths. Sending them to Prosperum. Their deaths. They have they no food. They Do have you know no where Prosperum is? Aye. Part of the west. There's a road leading to it. If you can make it that far. Why do we not go west then? And southward onto Capenza? Go that way. Why is it that way? Much more danger. Is it? Send them back towards the young team, that's not good enough. Yeah, that's what I suggested. Alright then, we can we gather, sure we gather, gather everyone up then. No. Tell her to gather everyone up that she, she can. I will just remind you if you're sending them that way, that goes straight past the bone fort. The one time Sam oh, tells shit. us about information about oh, locations, we know where it is. We know where it is. That's why we <coughs> have to go with them. So yeah, we have to go with them. Work. We have, to, we have to go with them. That's a hell of a journey. Aye. But are you going to abandon them yet? No. All right then. Our other option is we stay here for several days and send them in groups to the last chance using the amulet. I say we send them to the captain's and portal. That would take? That is just as much of a death march as you already tried to send them on. Either one of those would take weeks. Aye. Or, or I think we should walk them. That's the best option. Where? Both of them. It's the last chance I don't want. We can spend. We haven't rested, fuck. Nope. nope. We can spend maybe some time today, some time after rest, ferrying them to Orientis. land, you with our boat. And I can get someone to walk as well. What's faster? Going to Orientis or going to Piano and across the bridge? Piano is more dangerous. Mm. Alright. Osterlock, we'd have to go through the Bone Fort, but we're around it. They're gonna need supplies. Aye. We can, we can try and forage. Try and ration. I can, if we rest, I can sell them all the food. Mm. Not enough, but it's not good. Right. Okay. Tell her, tell her to gather everyone up that she can. Gather up as much resources as she can, they mm -hmm. can. Bring them within the walls. Find people who can speak tongues we can speak and we can start start bringing them somewhere you're to gather up everyone you can find all the resources food anything you need to travel um, we don't have any food our granaries and storehouses are burned whatever we can whatever you can then Whatever you absolutely need to survive, if you have anything left. Blankets, even just fucking cloth. Blankets, clothing, Clothes, anything you can find. Anything. What if those things come back? That's what they're not coming back, but... They won't come back, yeah. Their job here is done. Alright, I'll, I'll... Ask her her name. What's your name? My name is uh, Vasa. You probably heard that. Vasa. 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 Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll try. 
and then start ferrying your people out to one side to be determined which one. And then Where are we going? Are we going to Prospera? Certainly sounds that way. Prospera? Where are we going? Maybe. Have I done that better than a lot of towns? Yeah. Unless Prospera has fallen. The last chance we have supplies, tents, and bedrolls. We have not enough supplies for mm. tents and bedrolls for 150 people. And Isla's not going to let that happen. Yes. Can is the pyramid cleared out? <laughs> <laughs> There's not, regardless of whether or not it fills back thing. up. It doesn't also, want. It's not. We're it's not noting. To we have no idea how the pyramid reset. Correct. So true. <laughs> no clue. No. We had 150 new canaries for dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Um, so at this point, Vasa turns and, and starts talking to anyone she can find. In case you're occasionally like, kind of look at a, a body and we'll keep going. Um, at which point you hear footsteps approaching. Fast and light. Um, you see a woman towards you. Uh, tall and elegant and lithe. She's dressed in um, sort of like noble's clothes, but of a sort of road-worthy traveling variety, uh, dyed in reds and oranges and golds. What are you? Um, her hair is sort of this red blonde color tied back in a tight knot. Human? Up. Yeah, human. So. Did I? Does Kate recognize it? Yeah. You know who this is. Both of you do. Uh, this is Tana. Oh, shit. Case that's one. <laughs> so, I see you decided to let him out. Less of a decision. Is a than yeah, she's been gone. I didn't really know what you? I was doing. Oh, okay. My name is Tana. Okay. I am a representative We've of the Draconic Council. Daughter of the Scorch Man. Precisely. Cool. Hasn't this lamb seen enough destruction? I just came to see it myself. I wasn't sure what they told us were true, but it seemed like it is. Did I get your own cleanup? More or less. Damage control. Wow. She looks at you, so you're not killing them? people in this land were condemned for a crime that they themselves did not commit nor were complicit in. Okay. We do not kill the innocent. Um. Or rather, I do not. Well, you're... I, I mean, I guess. You don't have to. I don't know what you're going to do with, what, like, 50 people? I don't know what your plan is. I'm very curious to see, though. Uh, can you please Sam approached us as a character in the game <laughs> just to taunt us? <laughs> so what is the plan? The current plan is to... What? Why? Them. Why are, are you telling her? We're okay. allies, don't you know? As far as I was aware, we had a non-aggression pact. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. Right? I mean, you did just let... The winged insert incinerator out. I mean, what was that? The winged incinerator. Yeah, that's yeah, accurate. That's accurate. <laughs> didn't exactly know what I was doing. Certain facts. You let him out, right? and you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine you gathered from the fact that we mentioned no, nothing about these fucking islands that you knew we didn't know what these things were. I mean, I assumed you knew what that was. Why would you assume that? I guess it was a mistake. My mistake. Did you know he was trapped there? We had an idea. Did you know idea was trapped? We have some ideas. The other ones aren't nearly as useful as those two, frankly. Hmm. 
kind of just like starts staring through the rubble a little bit. So you said the plan was to gather all them up and then do something with them? Take them somewhere? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Um, the current plan, as I understand it, is to move into Prospero. Hmm. The, on, on Fiorano? Why there? Because we heard it's an empty ruin. And at least half there right. are workable structures. You're half right. It's there. All kinds of bad things. They're fine bad. Um, murderous, vicious, brutal, angry, hateful, uh, evil, villainous, monstrous, horrifying. Dragons? Sorry? Dragons? No. We don't live in cities. What do you take us for? Is that true? We can listen to it. You have been to this. Oh. No, I guess you get that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Not been to Prospero? <laughs> no, we've, we've like been to the, the city that they... Yeah, that they, well, they don't live. live. It's not really we a city. Saw it it's a cell far. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get? Like ten. Ten? Yeah, it's hard to get a read on anything she, anything she says. She's quite <clears throat> composed. I mean, you're certainly welcome to take them there. It just feels a rather, how do I say it, roundabout way of making sure they de- they're dead. Got any better suggestions? Oh, I was just planning to shoot them in the streets with the crossbows. I'd prefer if you didn't. Okay. But I mean, they're your problem now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to simply just take off if you feel like you have the situation under control. Are you saying there's something you could do to help? Sure. Without killing or harming or otherwise maiming? I absolutely could, if I so choose. And what would it take? Ooh, to help a bunch of Yachtin cultists. Innocent and helpless and so... Innocent. Tender. It would take a lot. I don't know your name, by the way. Who are you? Antaeus. Antaeus. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Are you friends with the, uh... What's her name? The other knightly type. The one with the red scarf. Oh, is she? What killed her? Nightwolf. Could you not speak so lightly about friends? I mean, I, I could speak less lightly of your friends. She's just trying to get her eyes out of here. Anyway, you were saying... Quite correct. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm not going to help them. I mean, there's no reason for me to. And what if we gave you a reason to? What kind of reason would that be? What do you want? My father back, Yakto dead. Where is your father? You know. Or does he not know? Is he new? Um, I do not he's know. He's in an enterprise situation. It's we discussed it earlier. Uh, yes, I remember you saying something quite a far. Yes. Far to the west. Anyway, I mostly just came here to see the delightful ruin myself. Unacceptably ruined. You should see the statue. What happened to it? Melted. She turns and starts Logan. walking up towards the temple. She kind of walks inside and then steps out. Just offers a little lost chance then. Anyway, I'll be off. She starts walking down towards Good the coast. Point. Wait, towards the coast? Yeah. Are there people towards the coast? Yeah. She's not pleasant. She's a dragon. What did you expect? Something that acted so scaly and emotionless to look more scaly and emotionless. Why? They're powerful, magical creatures. They can show up however the fuck they want. So we're putting them in the last chance then? Sounds like we don't have a choice. 
All right. Bit slack in the door, man. I'm not leaving him here. Yeah, we can't. I'm not okay. You just cancel. Cancel see me. There's a number of places we could start from, but that doesn't help me survive through the winter. Mm, under spitball. I have no idea what to do. I don't think there's anything to do, but we're going to the last chance. Try and feed them as best we can. Send some of them to the Empire. Set some of them up somehow. Well, like in like tents or something outside the last chance, so they still be somewhat protected. Yes. Let's just gather them up. Tell them what they need to hear. Tell them the plan, and then we'll step ourselves. You guys, we just burnt down Erie. That's not true. We murdered everyone in it, except for you guys. We're going to take an eight-hour nap, <laughs> and then we'll take you home, okay? Make sure we don't die. <laughs> If I Keep watch for us, okay? <laughs> if, oh, fuck. if I was a different character, I would just be picking through the fucking ruins and yep. like looking for shit. That, you know, that's we're going to wait and the swamp and we're going to hear a frog human it's just tearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's free time! Jesus Christ. Alright, what's the plan for dealing with the orcs? Because we have to go past them. We have to bring them past. I mean, we can just go places. along the southern coast. Uh, that's too long. They'll die. That took us nearly a week. That's true. We yeah. nearly died. So you can't just walk across water. The best option is to get them to the coast around here. Can go to the cobblestone, walk down yeah. that way. I agree. Uh -huh. Yeah. Gonna have to. We'll have to make them understand that they need to forage uh, for food along the way. Right. It's gonna make. Um. So it, it's worth mentioning that the. The long ship that your dwarven boat can summon can hold about 15 people. Maybe 20 if you pack them tightly. Alright, that's yeah. something. We can't sail it, but... So there's roughly 50 of them? We can sail it. Right. Can there is. I mean, because, you know, you probably saw 150 people alive last Jesus night, Christ. but a bunch of those got water walked out into the water. When they're gathered up, some of them may have died to get the concrete number. Yeah, we'll get Some of them might not, be, might not be willing to leave. Okay, walks down to the coast to take stock. Um, their I'm bodies floating in the water. I think <laughs> he wanted to count up. I mean, I want to count the oh. people who are alive. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> down on the coastline? You're just going to walk around the edge of this island? Yeah, yeah, I just want to kind of walk yeah, around and, and, and take it. Hey, can I go take stock? Yeah, okay, you find a total of like 350 gold on the assorted corpses. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that an investigation check? I'm going to walk around other parts of the island opposite where Kay went and try and just count people okay. and gather them up um, and herd them to an area. So I'm going to say you spend the next several hours doing this as Vasa collects people. Um, so you're going to be around noon. Um, between the ones that Vasa managed to find and the ones that you managed to pick up and bring back in some capacity, you probably have... 40 people assembled. There are others you can see around, but they're not willing to leave. Yeah. Any of them speak Dwarvish? Uh, yeah, last a handful speak Elvish or Dwarvish. Right, so do you have any hidden supplies of food, clothes, blankets, anything? This dwarf looks at you. No, no, no such things. I mean, we have some, but it's right. most yeah. of it's burned. Can you gather up whatever? Shouldn't we leave some for those who are staying? Aye, so... Is there any way you can convince them to come with us? We've tried. You've tried. They know that they're going to die here. As it stands, it's the middle of winter. You have nothing. I mean, we're leaving with nothing either. Right, well, there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance, I. So, rounding everyone up mm -hmm. in, say, the dome? The remnants of the dome. The remnants of the dome. Okay. So the central location of the salt. So between the, we're about we're probably forty-five of you total, with you guys and them. Well, I was gonna check in the, priest dormitories beneath the, 
a lot of them collapse. The floor is broken in places. The staircase isn't super accessible. I mean, you could dig through it eventually, but it would take time. All right, so we have a boat that can fit maybe 20 of you. If I can keep a couple of you walking on water. So we're going to head to the dock. How, how many can you keep floating in water? It's going to take... It takes me a while to cast it, but if I can keep... For an hour and stagger, I can keep 60 of you up. So we can keep probably whatever can't fit in the boat up. We don't even need the boat if you can keep 60 of us up, can't you? I can't do it for long. I can only keep, it takes me 10 minutes to do it. You only have an hour. So some of you could, should sit in the boat if we can. Can any of you drive the boat? We have a few sailors, aye. Right. So the plan is we need you to gather up as much as you can of supplies without leaving everyone just staying with nothing. We're heading to Osterrock, we're heading to the... To where? Osterrock, Orientus. Oh. To the opposite coast of it. It'll be a hard journey, but we think it's the safest place for area. All right. We're gonna need to rest for a while, to have the magic, to make this happen safely, to keep you as fit as we can. All right. We'll see if we can gather while you are resting. It'll take us about eight hours. All right, so we'll meet back here at six for the sunset. What's and your name? My name. Hi. My name is Groomer. Groomer. Good morning. I'm sorry this happened to you. We're just destroying this camera. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened to you. Hey. Uh, we'll do what we can for you. We'll see you here back at six o'clock. How tall is this? Day is? The dais was about 10 feet high, and is now in places 10 feet high, and mostly less than that. Okay. Everybody's still in this dome, more or less? No, they're scattering the eclipse okay. wise. Caleb, get up on the dais and okay. start casting hut. Okay. Uh, the dais is this not, not going to be flat, and also has it's some not. yachting feet still on it. Mm, okay. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> we'll do it just in front. Them okay. On the levelest ground you can find. Okay. So we're going to take a middle of the day rest? Yeah. Alright, let's just go. Okay. So you all hunker down. Are you, are you setting watches or are you just. Or it's just laying on the ground. Okay. Yeah, I've been a lot. I'm going the fuck to bed. Okay. So, uh, eight hours pass, roughly. The sun sets by the time you all sort of wake up or arise or otherwise. Fuck, sunset. It's six o'clock. Fuck! No, it's after that. It's eight o'clock, actually. So, can we regret that? It's. it's so fucked. Like, if you fuck up your, your sleep cycle in this game, it, you're... Can we, can we retcon to not yeah. long rest then? So you want to just stay up for the rest of today and then sleep at night? Yes. Jesus. Anything you want to be doing over the course of today? Helping people gather okay. yeah. things okay. as best we can. Okay. Okay. Really okay. If you're searching for supplies, make an investigation roll. If you're searching for survivors, make a wisdom set. Or make a perception roll. And if you're looking for trying to just convince people to come along, make a uh, persuasion roll. 21 for looking for survivors. Okay, you pick out a handful more. Yeah, that's it for that, right? Yeah, if you're looking for survivors. 18. 18. I'm not looking for anything. Okay. 22 for supplies. Okay. 15 for persuasion. Okay, so you end up collecting about 10 more people um, across three of you, and by the end of the day, you have supplies that for these, you know, maybe 50 people you have total are going to last you a day, maybe. Uh, for this for this time, I try to find a mostly or like, if possible, an entirely unburned, but like a mostly unburned will do tree. Okay. Somewhere, um, and I'm simply gonna sit in front of it. I'm gonna be in prayer. Okay. Um, until it's time to go to sleep, I carve some like symbology and things into it. <gasps> Mom. <laughs> Heart down. <laughs> Papa and Plain Collar, we're here. It is plus E M for Eva. Earth Mother. Earth Mother. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so then you all sleep. Are you guys keeping watch tonight? Okay. How much damage do you think uh, 50 villagers can do to leave the sunny no. <laughs> If they decide to kill us, we fucking deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> what? They can't get in. They can't. No, 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 no,
We learned that with we learned that with up or shut up. We learned that with with the village elder from last campaign. <laughs> we do shut the that. fuck up, Sam. <laughs> it was a great moment in our last campaign. It's no. No, please, please, please don't need to relive it. It's we don't need to. I need to hear yeah, this. We need to torture our three streamers who are still watching. <laughs> I'll put it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you you sleep through the night. Uh, why is it so hard to be a good person? Tonight because it's lame. <laughs> it's one of the items that the DC and the Discord. I just want to be a generally good, good person, man. Yes. Um, the night passes <gasps> as, it, as you all rise in the morning. You collect your 50 odd people. What do you do? I imagine none of them can understand us. Some of us. Some of them What is the war saying? Rumor. K cast tongues and stands up in front okay. of the, on the dais with everyone gathered in there. Okay, everyone, the plan is to ferry you over on a boat uh, to the island you call Orientas. We'll be taking you to the eastern coast where we have somewhere safe that you can stay for now. Somebody raises a hand. Yeah. Um, are we going to the colonies? The colony? There, there is no, no colony. colony. What? There is no, no colony. colony. You were lying. You, you could literally, literally just, just say it was wiped out. out. That, that is evil. There's like a, a series of whispers to the crowd. Wiped out? Like, can we send them it to it? I didn't say wiped out. Oh, it's just, in the mind, like, what? Did we send them to where it was? What if we should just tell them? Why not? That is, we have to was a lie, too. Uh, okay. What if you should tell them that we have to was a lie, too? One thing at a time. That's not. We should have done that. You're right. They probably figured it out. Yes, uh, these people are dumb and dumb. It's selfish. I agree with you. So, women and children first, carrying over on the boat. The injured as well. And the injured. And you who can help Sandoval. Okay, so you get a smattering of sailors plus a bunch of wounded people, and they all hobble down to the shore. Other, other some of you that can walk. Come with me, I can send ten of you for an hour, so you have to be quick. But Where are we going? Follow the boat. For an hour? Where's it going to get in an hour? At the end of course. That's, That's all we need, just to get you across the chasm. All right. No way. We, can send, we can have him stop on the Asha Isle and then okay. head for the moon's body. Uh, actually, one, one of us should, should go with him. Just I, yeah, yeah. Sure. I will go. If someone else sure. wants to, I'll go with him. You can just walk, catch it. Actually, yes, I can just go. So you should just side. help point people in the right direction. You gotta guide them as you can. I will go. Okay. I will war walk people okay. who are left over. So you send. Send out who is falling. Okay. So twenty in the boat, roughly, and then ten, and then ten, and then ten. So over the course of about an hour. Yeah. So over the course of about an hour, you managed to get everybody onto the moon's folly. Sure. And how far away is? The walkable coast of Orientis. maybe two miles. So that's like forty minutes of walking, probably. Mm -hmm. All right. So half of us go with them. Half of us go at the end group. All right. I'll send them. Okay. There. Is anyone going with them? Is the boat going first or is the boat going second? The boat's probably going first, right? With someone. Yeah. yeah I'll go with them. Well, well, you're walking people, right? I, I thought I was walking with the boat. I'll go on the boat. You should, should walk with the first group of people. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah I'll go with them. So, so, you, yeah. so you're walking with the first group? Yep. Okay. Make, Make sure you keep a sailor or two with you to bring the boat back. We don't need to bring the boat back. Do we not? Wait, do we have everyone? Uh, yeah. So you send three groups across, and then you send the boat last. Or send a boat somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, you all reach the far side of Orientis. Or rather, the close side of Orientis. Far side of the Far side of the Last <laughs> <Chance>. <laughs> What? Um, last the terrain here is. You sort of right in the fringe between craggy, forested, snowy hills and swampy, icy, sludgy swamps. Wonderful. We get everyone. Safely on shore, out of the boat, recompact the boat. Should we find a tumble stone and carry it? No, Just don't recompact the boat. Why? Because we can tip it over and use it for shelter for some of them. 
Well, we can just. It's got a sail and a mast. Yeah. You're gonna. Can we fold up just the sail and mast? No. Sorry. We can... If it gets fucked up, can we just crush it back up and then refold it? And... It'll open up, crushed up again too. Okay. Okay. We just have two huts. And that's it. Otherwise, you just have to. Two of us can get to twenty people, right? Mm-hmm. Including us, except us. I'll sleep outside. I'll sleep outside too. Need need somebody to keep watch. K, K is, um, I guess, to the the easternmost side of our setup. Okay. Do you uh, intercept anything coming from? Okay. The woods? Uh, so are you on the? Are you in the hills right now, or are you going to be down in the swamps? Okay. Bones, for yeah. sure. Um, you notice here and there they're infrequent, but here and there they're definitely like bones hung from the trees on rope. So are we doing like one hut here, one hut on the other side, and just people in the middle? Or? So that, that's 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 in the alarms where you can along the, okay. the woods. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so it's currently been about three, uh, four hours to get to here. Uh, oh, so we still have time. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Are okay. we just going straight east, or are we going northeast a little bit? Or we can't see the cobblestone town. Not really. We should go northeast. Northeast, I. Yeah. Let's go. Try to skirt the hills, find the tunnel stone. Hey, we should be as somewhat spaced out along. The Bear in mind, because you level. have a bunch of people, and because you have injured, you're going to be traveling extremely slowly. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, that was, we don't have How slow exactly? About a mile an hour. Oh, I didn't want to ask. Jesus. It's not. And then over rough terrain, it's going to slow even more. Oh, God. If the rough terrain, terrain is rocky, rocky shit, then right I can here. get ahead of them. Careful. <laughs> Jesus. What's we true? committed genocide, yeah. and now we're marching them across uh, the country. We were complicit <laughs> in genocide. There is a difference. <laughs> Boy. You no know, food. Last campaign was really just proto Western Isles, wasn't it? That one was What's different. We were fighting battle. against the genocidal yeah. maniacs, though. Well, we, I mean, we don't have the ability to do it, so. We're but yeah. God, not having a choice in them sucked. <laughs> How. Great food and water is. Is that ritual or no? Hmm? Great food and water is not ritual. No. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, it would be. But have to balance feeding these people or keeping it to potentially save people, right? Which. <laughs> Go for <sucks>. good. <laughs> we have a. We had somebody in Twitch chat, I don't know how long ago, I was just going, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, random listener. Also, at some point, apparently, Ali put in... Yeah, yeah, she was just sitting in shock. Is anyone even still listening? I'm just uh, genuinely let me, curious. Let me check the viewers. I'm, like, partly not listening. <laughs> like, yeah. this is We're still at eight viewers. Eight. Right, so that's all eight of people who... Didn't log home. Maybe. Yeah. So and maybe the one guy. Oh, that's good. It's good. I gotta. I gotta wake up at six thirty. So. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. All right. We're going to walk them for the remainder of things north east. Oh, I really summoned my steed too to help okay. some of the injured along. Okay. Um. Who's navigating? That would be me. Okay. Um. Or crimson. Crimson's crimson now. Crimson's crimson 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, can somebody make a roll for crimson with whatever assistance she has? Um, Wisdom. Not guidance. I'm going to advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Advantage. Sixteen. Advantage. 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 <laughs> Ooh. It's still sixteen. Okay. <laughs> you all get lost Ooh. in the world of goods for six years. Oh boy. <laughs> so, you're about a mile an hour. You make it over the course of the next four hours. About a mile and a half. Jesus. Through the mountains. Holy fuck. Why couldn't I just play a morally ambiguous character? <laughs> Imagine if we had a ranger. That'd be great. By Those this point, any food supplies they have have run out. Can we, how many of them are able to today? They've eaten for today. Good. Can they forage like as an action? Like they can, can, but these woods are these woods and these. I mean, you're into mountains now. They are this, not going to find anything. I mean, it it's the middle of winter and there's not a ton of food or water, and also these mountains and hills are quite dangerous. I mean, with travel rules, it wouldn't slow us down, right? Because that's just something we can do while traveling. Okay. I, also, very very few people are. Provision and survival, like it's the chances of them finding much are low. How many people can you feed with your great food and water? I can feed all of them, but then I'll have nothing in case we're attacked in the night. That's fine. But they've, they've eaten for today, so. Wavon's gonna talk to Crimson and okay. 
convince her to share her ten good bears. Yes, <laughs> actually. Make up, make up the reason she can feed everyone. I just texted Allie oh. and she said that if Juan asked her, she would say yes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I will not have to persuade a player character. Thank you very much. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think Allie was responding. She can feed everyone. It's ten berries, right? It's ten berries per cast. And it's a and first level spell. And each one is enough food for a day? Yep. Yeah. It's most right. of her. I mean, that's, that's food, it's that's not water. Uh, she's got. Uh, water. Oh, she, she, can, she can cast it nine times if she really needs to. And there's what? How many people? Nine times? Oh, yeah. 60, 42, yeah. 60 people? Uh, about 15 total, including you guys. 50 people, including us. <laughs> <laughs> she can cast it five times. We satisfy. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back for them. Uh, it's just food, never mind, but yeah. Can you specify that create food and water is just water? No, I can prepare, can create, or destroy water for tomorrow. You need containers for that. Yeah, the container container open open mouth. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and you can fill one person's mouth really well. <laughs> uh, put your mouth together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Can you fabricate? All right, human set of Okay. Um, I mean, like, awesome. yeah, but hmm? I can fabricate one container that we carry with us. And then just I mean, fill it up and then a, a gigantic container. Ten, 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 ten gallons. Tree, that's a lot of water. Uh, you need one gallon per day, but yeah, water skin is half of that. Do, so it's two water. Two water skin is one gallon. One gallon. Yeah. yeah. How much? Like five by five by five. Yeah, five. five, 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 five foot. How much container do we need to fill ten gallons of water? Wait, how many times can you? Ten gallons of water. Ten gallons. It's not very much. Yeah, like I mean, a regular barrel is like seventy gallons, right? Yeah. So like. This is so a you box. have like a, a big bucket. Yeah, but we need it for fifty people. Oh, and so they can you know, they can take shifts going through the thing. How many? So we could if we if we might be able to like attach it maybe to like the elk or something so that they carry it. It's not a huge burden on us. You only need to cast create food and water twice, right? For for, for just water, you get thirty gallons per cast. Like it's a sixty gallons of water if two with two casts. It's one gallon per person, right? Yeah. Yeah. So two casts. Two casts. Third level spell? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but that also uses. That's fine. It's third fine. Slot. It's I don't have to mark otherwise. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's you have to do it. K is going to be mostly resource untapped, right? Yes. I'm also resource I untapped. I am not able to expend any resources in a way that is meaningful here. Yeah. Even if Allie used every single. or Crimson. If Crimson used every single spell slot for good berries, she's still a circle of the moon druid. <laughs> she wants to be in wild shape, anyways. Sure. Yeah, I know. So that's the plan. We need to feed them too. Good berries. Good berries. For, right, but for the future. Have her save her slots. Yeah. At least some of them. I could feed 30 people with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just two casts of good berry. Yeah, because you're right. Right now it is Sunday evening. Wait, how many pounds of food does a person need per day? One? one? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, two, two casts of great food and water feeds and. Water is everybody. Is enough to sustain up to 15 humanoids or five steeds for 24 hours. Then I would take that ruling. It's 15 per cast. Then. I mean, one food is like the bare minimum. And I if, mean, if, we use if it explicitly says 15 people, I take 15 people. More than the exact. Because the PHB definitely varies on how much food you need per day. Like, there are, like, fairly, like, not contradictory, but, like, definitely it's a gray area. All right, so you cast it twice. You get enough for, what, 30 people? Because it's 90 pounds. Yeah. Um, it should be enough water for yeah, Yes, enough water. Uh, Crimson cast good berry twice. Sure. She's got plenty of spell slots left. We're satisfied on food for and water. Three times. So we need to. We're, We're included in the 50, aren't we? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, are. we are. 50 is included. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Hey, cast sending. Yeah. Who's sending? Tyler. I, oh boy. <laughs> this is not a conversation we need to have ahead of time. Um, it's easier to just. Hey, Mom? I've heard of foot in the door politics. Be like, hey, Isla, um, we found a friend. Can we come in? <laughs> this is Sunday at Better February. Forgiveness than the mission. 15th, 16th, 17th, February 17th at 5 p.m., yeah? Yes. How many days? I can't wait back. for the tap room situation of. Everyone's sitting there, and Isla screams, "What? Okay. <laughs> what do you send to Isla?" Uh, I mean, so <laughs> disaster. 
We fucked up, but like, to, oh, <laughs> filling in the 25 word slot. There are refugees coming we, to the last change. There are refugees coming to the last change. The backup is one of these refugees. <laughs> Out for revenge six, seven, against the Dragon yeah. Council. Yes! That's okay, a legitimate so that's, character. That's eight. We will oh. sustain them for as long as we can. Can. You don't have a character intro. You can said at uh, one point say, can I go on? Active hey, seeking. I'm daddy, I'm ready. Resolution. Like, like, what if one of the refugees just comes okay. up one day and goes, oh, can I, can I join the revolution? Okay. Yeah. Like, you don't have to do an intro. Like, Isla responds simply, how many? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that what Isla sounds like? Hey, Isla speaks with an... Hey, My accent's shit, yeah. but sure, sure. it's supposed you have to be. chance to change your face. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. Irish, yeah, and it's hers That's supposed Scottish. to be Scottish. It's uh. Come on, keep keep going. We're already yeah, low on time. Sorry. Yeah. I will send her again. Okay. <laughs> roughly forty-five. Talk yeah, roughly forty. <laughs> low volume. <laughs> you can make it seem better than it is. You did say roughly. <laughs> Dead otherwise. You just get along. <sighs> <laughs> you can send that? Yeah, you can send a sign. I mean, between the... That's it? Yeah, that's all she says. That was like more. Acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> that is acceptance. Between the cleric and the druid, like, you can just feed people for however yeah. long you need to. That's true. Yeah. Or the the, the living situation is a little bit rougher. The amulet's um, three-day yeah, cooldown, intense. right? So we want an amulet? Is it oh. three-day cooldown? Yes. Yeah, it's been on cooldown cool for like two days now. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you've had it since Saturday. Yeah, it's been off cooldown. For a while. It's off cooldown. Yeah. It fit yeah. twelve people. Do we want? This is gonna take a while. Do we want to just send people through whenever it's off cooldown? Oh, oh, that yeah. thing that yeah. I that I said. Yeah, I think I would like to. No, just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bring they, need, up, they yeah. need to bring the amulet. Oh, do they? No, no, they don't. No, you can just cast. Them oh, so just send. That's like, what we should be doing. So like ten, twelve, twelve. I missed it. Yeah, that's good. Just send people. The injured first. Do you have another sending? Groomer? Groomer. Jesus Christ, yeah, I'm writing it now. Okay. I can cast it. Oh, wow. Three more times? Part, yeah. Four more times? Groomer. She's probably like, all right, I love things. Shut up, up for a second. Gather up with those in here. Wounded. We can send them ahead of us. Instantaneously. How? Magic. All right. All right. It'll make us go faster and they'll have a better chance of survival. All right. When? Now. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done How that. old is he look? Mr. J. He's probably like compared to me. Compared to I mean, you're a woman of like being in your forties, right? Yeah, I'm like halfway there. Yeah, then he's probably like he's lost. He's got my in human years, he'd be eight or ten years younger than you are. So he's mm -hmm. what is that like 150? Like, yeah. At this point, we've made it as deterministic as possible to bring them back. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so you you summon the teleportation circle, right? No, like in game time, we can spend however much time we want. Out of game time, I'm tired. Yeah, so you summon the uh, circle, yes. and you send a dozen through. Yes. Okay. And however many we can, we can fit thirteen. <laughs> Not you can't fit more than a dozen <laughs> wounded people. Not sure. just shove them through. Uh, so that brings your number down to thirty-eight, yes. including sure. you six. Yes. Okay. We should be traveling faster. Yeah, not a ton faster. But yeah. Did you but warn them that we sent them right away? <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Dude, there's gonna be a They're already of, there. They're there's a bunch of dying people on the third floor where nobody Send. goes. We'll, 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 we'll tell the, sure. I, I'm gonna tell whoever is like leading the, the people there. Alright, you're gonna be in a in a tap room. Um Isles is the name of the barkeep. Uh she can hopefully get you situated. She should know you're coming, but might not expect you this soon. The woman rise now. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll see you soon. Good luck. Oh, God, what language is Silas? Okay. Does any of them ever look on like the verge of death? Yeah, I'm going to be healing, worrying, yeah. curing wounds, and yeah. such. These are commoners. They have four hit points. <laughs> oh, we could dispose of them. So <laughs> 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 Kay's just, Kay's just holding Kay's a fireball like it would be so easy. It would be so easy. <laughs> just boom, boom, they're all coming. Dude, that's like, walking to dude. the middle off of a cast spirit guardians and everyone in the 15 foot radius dies. Dude. <laughs> Stop. That's at least like 300 also experience. Also, wall flare, and they just all die. No, also, worth zero experience. Oh, oh, that's or probably good. You know, that is <laughs> very good and in Might be 10, actually. Let's check. Don't check. Don't check. I don't want to know. No, we... Stop. That's, that's 300 experience. I was exactly right. Um, I mean. So there's 38 of them. So 32 of them plus the 6 of you. of killing a town. 
How are you sleeping tonight? Um, is there shelter of any variety nearby? I guess rubble roll. I do have a I'm also looking. Okay. I guess rubble roll. I assume we can't assist unless we have proficiency. 16. Yeah, you can make your own roll, though. 18. 18. Not here. You're in snowy mountains. There's four. I mean, like, you can take shelter underneath trees, but those might have snow coming down. Yeah, we'll do. So we're doing huts in the middle. Wait. People yeah, hold on. Sort of like, hold like, on, hold on, hold on. You're beneath the tree line. I can fix this problem. Please, don't you? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's like a five by five cube. Eight. He's so desperate to try to use stone shape. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fabricate. You can create, fabricate a larger, smaller object contained within. Doesn't fabricate less than an hour? Cube. Oh, ten. I'm thinking of fabricating. I'm thinking of the other one that makes yeah. a bridge. There's two that describe making a bridge, and one of them is fabricating, the other one is the other one that lasts an hour. I was gonna and say, how the hell on earth would you have fabricate last now? I believe that's Phantom Killer. Killer. I'm thinking of because that's the one that mentions bridge. Honestly, yeah, power is so useless. All right, someone help me cut down some trees. Now when you hit things. Yeah, but I have. Hey, we have a silver battle axe. All right, help me cut down some fucking trees. All right, you got a battle axe. That's true, I do. And you have a silver battle axe. No, that's, I what, that's, what I, that's what I said. You have your plus one battle axe, okay. And some of these people have, you know, like, like, like hatchets, maybe. Sure, sure, sure. If anyone wants a scimitar, you can use that. Can we discuss that you can effectively make a dome with wall of stone, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a geometric dome, but yeah. Yeah, it's like a geodesic dome. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. With like a triangular opening in front. How big yeah. of an open area? Um, that would be... Wow. You can do there's, that there's like map yeah. associated with this that's actually relevant, and I hate that. Um, it's 10, 10 by 10 with panels, which is... Dump, Matt. Patrick, what are you doing? I am... We're yeah, going to use fine. gathered wood to... I can create, uh, like, with the eight, eight connected five-foot cubes. It has to be better than the ten-foot cube, right? Gathers more stuff. Yeah. So we're going to just take this wood... Eight five-foot connected cubes is ten-foot cubes. Yeah, but I can do it long as opposed to wasting the that's true. ten feet on that's true. or the eight cubes. Yeah, 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 I hear you. So um, just try and make like a real rudimentary like longhouse lean to kind of thing. Lean to thing with okay. um, chop it down with And how big is it? Uh five foot cubes. I got eight of them. Five by five foot cubes? Yep. Each one of those can hold maybe two people. Yep. If you're looking at Maybe 16 people in lean-tos. That's what I can do. Okay, okay. Can fit 18 people total in the huts. Yes. Hold on. Total or I think I think we can cover the rest of the wall of stone dome. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm almost positive. I'm on the Wikipedia page for a regular icosahedron right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Isn't an icosahedron a d20? Yes. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, folks at home. Holy shit. Um, huh. Is that the mathematically most efficient shape? Yes. Are you sure? Well, a dome is going to be the most mathematically efficient shape, but it has to be composed of panels, contiguous panels. Right, so if it's the contiguous panels, is it? I'm trying to figure out how wide it is. Sure, sure, sure. I, like, this is... Just make the boxes. That's fine. Uh, somebody in Twitch chat, TLA7539, Says, Braden, I can hear your laugh from the other side of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I have a boisterous boy. We can do some dampening before we send it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, just put like a sponge over my mouth. Just put an apple in my mouth, like stuff big. <laughs> okay, so how big how, how big can your dome be? I have no idea how to parse this math right now. So don't make a dome, it makes it yeah. smaller. Um, I'll just make. God. So oh 10, my God. 10 by 10 foot cubes wood, or, uh, panels is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just leave the front, front side open. Okay. Okay. I could just make the, the roof smaller the and I'd be able to fill it up. So, so I'm going to say that I could make, make more. Like a, a <laughs> rectangular <laughs> prism hollow of uh, side length 20. 20 by 10? 20 by 20? Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's... This is like 80% of the session. Uh, that's what? 
I feel like 80 people in Zion, Derry. Okay. A bunch. 80? Like something, something crazy. So we'll just, okay. Okay. Um, so we'll do that. I will cast a tiny hut in the doorway. We've done that power yet, so we all be asked. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they will stay in the doorway with it, like, sort of covering the, the door. Um, Okay. Make it stone colored. Okay. <laughs> it's on, it's on. Okay. It varies. Okay. And are you guys, I take it some of you were staying on watch. I would. Okay. And it is permanent. Yep. That's cool. You better keep track of where that hood is. Yeah, I know. I'm running it down. Nice. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna colonize this fucking I'm gonna make you fucking regret saying that I can make like a 20 by 20 house with all the stone. Okay. Just kidding. I won't. I'll make you regret your existence, Dom. I know, that's why I'm. I already do every time I play. It's thereabouts. Um, okay. Let me make some rolls to see how the night goes and who makes it through the night. I will spend most of my watch we yeah. also want it clear to them they're not to leave. Yes. Yeah. They can't. It's oh yeah. There's like literally, literally jerked. I was gonna lay on hands then. Okay. It is. There is a lot of snow tonight. Okay. Um. As the morning dawns, uh, nothing happens to the night but the snow. Um, so there are 30 eight of you. You're down to about 33, four. Five people kicked it. How did five people die? For death. They don't have sufficient clothing. No blankets, no clothing. They're in an open faced stone building. Is the, the Don't you have an open door? Well, the it's covered. Are the covered. I mean, it's still a stone building on snowy ground. Yeah, that's true. I buy it. <laughs> we will continue on in the same fashion as we did okay. the day before. Fortunately, sick and injured people are more likely to die of exposure, so your travel speed has mildly increased. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If there's are there people who are sick and injured? Whole thing. I mean, some people, yeah. Like, I can heal injury and I can cure disease. Yeah, it takes five points, so you can get some of them. Yeah, so yeah. guys, like, do yeah, end? yeah. I, I was mostly a joke. Okay. Gotcha. Um. Okay. So you're gonna keep heading which way? Same North, way. east. Oh, all prayer of healing. Let's try uh, east by northeast. Right? Okay. Who's navigating? Crimson. Yes. Crimson. Yes. Making the roll. Advantage as well. Guy inside Missouri. Patrick. No, I won't be Or not. Uh, it's a twenty-three. Okay. The one's also keep watch. Yeah. It's a slow pace, just two miles an hour. In the mountains. What? It's huge. This means a good number to go. Can't wait to also not be allowed to be in tap room until like fucking Wednesday. This is actually like perfect for me because I had to take like a week and a half off. Probably Friday. I have a busy weekend, so. Yeah, I have a super busy weekend. I have a busy week right after because of that business plan. We're going to be out for like more than a week and we're going to get like 200 experience. <laughs> you can get more than that. Yeah, 250. <laughs> Maybe it's just free to giant horrifying monster. That's worth something. Walking. Um, so first watch, you keep walking through the mountains. Um, I mean, there's like one more person on this mission than we anticipated in the first place. So that's another like XP cut. Um, you reach <laughs> one o'clock in the afternoon. What are you all doing at this point? You can see the ahead of you. The mountains thin out, and you can see a plane not too far from here. This is one watch. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Maybe another navigation roll. Advantage. Who says tumble stone? Uh, yeah. You can't say. Twenty-six. Can we do all the tumble stone? Okay. Yeah, Crimson's great. Can we say we're going at a fast pace? Like, is it possible? Okay. Um. Um, Try me, bitch. <laughs> I'm I'm just chuckling to myself uh, more than anything else. Yeah, if something comes within like a 
within yeah, 90 so feet of a wand, instantly it's dies. getting aura aura. Um, so, as uh, as you reach the end of your second watch for today, around 5 o'clock, you sort of falling tumble stone on the far side. You can see it sort of bends here, um, off to the left. Um, there is indeed a hill with a fucking try me. <laughs> the figure is sitting atop it. With a small flag. Take him. Absolutely. What is this guy? It's a fucking arbiter. We could oh we could rip this guy a new one. One of you should explain what an arbiter is. An arbiter is a warrior of days gone by served at, honestly it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. They uh, it's serve the Iron Kingdom ostensibly, um, which is diametrically opposed to the gold. But we can destroy him right now. This is yeah. guy you fucked up before and you he bitched yeah. out. He, he begged for his arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we gotta kill him because the shit only really appears when you kill him. <laughs> Probably sh- well, honestly, we should. But not right now. If, if, he, if, he, if he tries to fuck shit, he's gonna get shit. How, how far are we from the last chance? We're gonna. Oh, we're, we're like, like the, the Arbor Hill is here, actually and the last chance is here. We've gone that gives me two days. No, no. <laughs> we're we're okay. getting there. If we are within probably a day and a half, or no, we're easily within a day's march by ourselves. Yeah. So it's what Monday, Monday right? The end of Monday, yeah. Great. Yeah. Is it tomorrow that we get to teleport again, or is it Wednesday? You teleported S- Sunday night. Yeah, we went to Sunday. So Wednesday. Fuck. Sorry. Yep. No, we should we should have done it earlier. Um, okay, so you set up the same calling erection buildings and stuff? Yeah. Okay. It's been sort of off on snow all day. Give someone my bedroll. Can I gather wood? Can you specify that there's like a small hole in the ceiling for, for smoke to escape? Can I gather wood to set a fire yeah. inside? Cool. Just got some bad rolls. <laughs> um, so as the morning dawns, Nothing's gonna bother you in the nighttime. It's too many of you. Um, as morning dawns, we're at 33 before, you're down to about 26. How are we dying so much? It's cold, it was snowing and blowing all night. I gave them that my bedroll. That's, that's one, <laughs> that's one, maybe <laughs> two people. Yeah, fire. Fire is enough. So that's, you're down 26, that's 20 people. They had, wait, they were warm and they had shelter. I mean, they have a stone building with a big bonfire in the middle. Which is not nothing, but it's also not a ton. So you keep marching? Yep. Okay. Um, at this point, you're sort of on the eaves of the forest, um, along the river, fairly fast traveling. No, we didn't. So you sort of follow that bend around the hill. Um, this point, you're sort of like on like on one side of of the uh, river is sort of forest, trying to be deciduous, um, and then on the left side or on the other side, on the left side is sort of snowy fields. Um, which way are are you gonna? Uh, you keep following it. Um, sorry, I'm just for about two hours until it bends to the right, and you can see it just goes on forest on both sides. Okay. Um, the course of the next two hours or so. Bring it to the end of the first watch. Well, actually, at the end of the th- like three and a half hours, um, you notice there's a spot on the river now where there are several. Uh, the river is partially frozen, but there are several uh, tree trunks that have been set down, now frozen over and stuff, but set down to form sort of a up fording bridge sort of thing. We're uh, on the southern side of the river. As you enter into these woods, there is an odd whistling in the wind. Okay. So, so I don't want to bring up more bad news. That guy's coming back to the last chance to give Willibor a drum, isn't he? Yeah. He can't get too close to the last chance. I have a feeling he yeah, that is. We'll find out. We're going to have the remnants of the place that he said he wanted to, like, literally wipe off the map. Mm-hmm. Would you recognize them? Probably. We should make sure they don't wear the octane robes. Yeah. All right, we have just... 40, 30 refugees from... You've never been to the last chance. What is he doing? Whatever. Keep going. It's... We can't stay in the last chance. We can set the boat. So are you going to cross the river here or are you going to keep going? Um, we'll test the ice. Does it seem... Yeah, it's quite solid. Okay. Okay. Um, so as you cross the river, uh... Which way are you headed now? West. So far on West. Still calling river east. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Let's go don't back. do that. Yes. Sam yes. will just assume you mean west. west. Yeah. East. Um, <laughs> where we live. 
Well, how really how is Sam supposed to know that when we spent the past three days trying to get home, we didn't suddenly change our mind? At the end of your really. second watch, about five o'clock, you find yourself reaching the coastline. I Walking through narrow really grapevine trees. The Mouth River is right to your right. Do you want to push on tonight? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's an hour away if we're walking. It is currently Monday evening. How fast have we been Monday? going oh, it's Tuesday. relative to our normal? No, it's Monday, isn't it? That's, yeah. It's a lot faster now you're on the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Oh, last night was one day. No, it's not Sunday. I think it might be worth it. At least it comes. There you go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm going to do a slow pace. Do you normally walk three miles an hour? You've been walking two so far. How far away are we? Where are we right now? We're. What's, we're what's more. Oh, fuck. It's like a two hour walk. So I was going to say, it would, it'll take two hours. A normal speed. I this, is, this is a meta game question, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. Do will these NPCs operate under the same like pushing rules as we will? Not quite. Okay, then so I'm assuming there is a <laughs> yeah, significant yeah. chance they die from pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Here and yeah we have to it's try. two rules where they might die versus one rule where they might die. Let's let's set up. We'll set up, set up several, several fires. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, how are you gonna keep those fires going all night? Okay. Crimson will cast plant growth to grow a bunch of fucking table. Okay. So using a combination of druid magic and your stone huts and the lean twos. And so, like at the end of the day, the people who are the furthest away from like warmth, like the fires and shit. I'm going to use my two spell slots to choose six people and cast aid on them. So they just gain a bunch of temporary hit points for eight hours, which should last the rest. Yeah, that like doubles their hit points if they're commoners. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It, That's yeah. substantial, actually. Jeez. Okay, let me make some rolls for the night time. Okay. Wind is blowing, but the snow has stopped. I'm going to stay up the entire night just trying to keep people alive. Like okay. Um, one person dies. Exposure. Everyone else dies. 20 high, you total 19 refugees. Right, As morning dawns, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, so you walk up the coast, I take it? Yep. It takes you about two hours, so Tuesday at 11. Yeah. Tuesday at 11 o'clock, you arrive with 19 refugees, plus the dozen you sent ahead of time, or 31 token. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, does Isla talk to us when we get there? I don't know what she's going to say yet, so we'll do that over Discord. Okay. Anyway, viewers, thanks for tuning into our stream. It was great. This, this, uh, this got bad. We love you. We do love you. We appreciate you as well. Kay is a genocidal maniac. Kay is confused. Kay has a lot of damage from his childhood. He's dealing with He's horror motives. Anyway. Will Burr is also the one. We're all gonna. I'm not apologizing for him. He's a fucking maniac. The XP for my two guys. Um, well, we actually get XP. I don't know what the XP on that is gonna be, so we're gonna cut the stream before I figure that out. Uh, in the meantime, we will see you all on Saturday for hopefully something a little. Cheerio! Cheerio! Yes. Thanks. It's evil people. Maybe.